Hey everyone, welcome to X Play 1000, a six hour celebration that means it's six freaking hours. Yeah, I know, it's long, but we're kicking things off with a marathon of your top 10 favorite X Play episodes ever as chosen by you, the fans, at g4tv.com. And it's all leading up to the biggest night in television history since last week. It's our X Play 1000th episode at 6 p.m. Yeah, we are going to be your host for the entire marathon. We're going to reveal X Play secrets during each and every episode. And throughout the day, we'll get your two cents yeah. on Twitter and video viewer mail. Now, if we feature your viewer mail, we have a special surprise for you, a Morgan Webb autograph magazine. Why you would want such a thing, I don't know, but it's that's, pretty. What, that's what you get. Let's get this thing started with our number 10 episode. It is the robot episode, yes. which is a real corker. It sure is a corker. We filmed it right after the Fear and Loathing show in the desert, it, which, which is the thing that kicked off this insane trend of doing these big special episodes. I kiss a robot in this one. What were we thinking? All right, can I have everyone's attention? It appears that some of our viewers are feeling like our opinions are getting in the way of our reviews. So, in the interest of objectivity, I'd like to introduce you all to your new coworker. Wow, a robot! Yes, a robot. And you're fired. The robot's getting your cube. Oh my god. Now! What's the FV stand for? Actually, it's a Roman numeral. It stands for five. Oh. Can we call him Adam Five? What happened to the other four? I want to live. 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 Are you a mech-like killing machine not quite cool enough to make the Transformers League? Then pay attention. Huh? Nothing says loving like something from the Gundam. Here it is, Mobile Suit Gundam versus Zeta Gundam. Gargantuan robot hit everyone's been waiting for. I'm just kidding, this game sucks more bolt than RC on the weekend. Combat is frequently confusing. Yikes. Thankfully, the war zones are conveniently marked with orange day glow paint. Up top, you'll notice a battle gauge. Every time a team loses a Gundam, the gauge goes down. The first team with no more gauge loses. Isn't there an easier way to say it? How about just hit the X button until the round is over? That's better. I'll bitch slap you back to the atomic age, Robbie Rustass. When you win, you get a disco celebration. Good, the mission's a success. There's a nice variety of arenas for your Gundams to lock lightsabers and plasma swords in. Like the lunar service we've never been to and a Babylon 5 office park. You'll occasionally lose a limb and knock down a building or two, but overall the graphics are simplistic and offer very little to get excited about. Just about the only thing Mobile Suit Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam has going for it is the giant fighting robot. Mobile Suit Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam, Gundam's a two out of five. So what do you think, Gundam? Doesn't this look fun? Why are you standing up on that monitor? I know how you feel. Ooh, the download MP3s? Can I cook? Can I take it home? Will he raise my baby? I cannot believe you people. Look at you. Fawning all over that robot. I, for one, don't trust it. <laughs> I mean, come on, what's the worst that could happen? Here are the reviews for the rest of the year. source for the entire network. Flip this switch and you shut it all down. You know, just click and then click. All right, let me show you the water supply. You know, Adam Five is the best thing that's ever happened to X-Play. Well, I still say he's a jerk.
What are you drinking? Coffee. Why are you drinking coffee? Because I'm tired and I need to wake up. But you are already awake. That's it. You may have everyone else fooled, but I'm on to you. I know what you really are. One of these days you're going to make a big mistake and I'm going to be right there ready to shut you down. Coming up, Adam Five learns to laugh. Humans are all like, I'm mostly made of water. Robots are all like. <laughs> Is this device functioning properly? You suck, robot! Now that every pizza is just 10 bucks at Pizza Hut, you would not believe how much money I save. Well, my parents' money. Right now, any pizza at Pizza Hut is just $10. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any toppings, only $10. Only at your Pizza Hut. In this home, a family grows. Children learn and play. Bonds are built. But before it was a house, it was a detailed drawing on a plan. The bachelor degree program in construction management in the School of Drafting and Design at ITT Technical Institute offers educational opportunities that can help students prepare for challenging and rewarding careers in the construction industry. There's a demand for individuals with knowledge and skills to manage construction projects. The construction industry needs professionals who can oversee construction projects in accordance with the plans and specifications. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of many, this dream became a home. There are still many more to be built. ITT Technical Institute School of Drafting and Design. Education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. Spit out your stry gum and chew another piece already, or we'll find you. Got the gum. The ridiculously long-lasting gum. New Stride Uber Bubble. Why just watch films and TV shows when you can learn to make them? Get behind the camera and turn your obsession into professional opportunities with the help of Collins College. Their Bachelor of Arts degree in film and video production can teach you about this exciting industry. You can learn skills in production camera operation, or video editing. Call Collins College today. Call now for a complimentary brochure. Call 888-823-0999. That's 888-823-0999. Call now. My favorite X-Plane moment is when you guys were reading all the hate mail you got after the Full Metal Alchemist review with the, the screaming intern and the drunken link. You guys suck. Jeffrey, it's after midnight. What are you doing? I'm buying car insurance. Right now? Yep. I just logged on to thegeneral.com. At The General, you can get an instant online quote that includes a low rate, low monthly payment, and a down payment as low as $59, even if you have tickets or an accident on your record. Okay, all done. Great. Bring me some cheese puffs. <laughs> For the best car insurance rates online, go to The General and save some time. It's no surprise that millions of Americans get married each year. But what might surprise you is that 2% of those newlyweds met on eHarmony. That's an average of 236 people a day. People who were looking for someone they could really connect with and found something much deeper on eHarmony. Only eHarmony matches you based on deep dimensions of compatibility. And that means you'll find something more meaningful from your first date onward. Try eHarmony.com today and review all your matches absolutely free. G4 celebrates Valentine's Day with a lineup of romance-free shows. Give me that, yeah, Watch out. Guilty pleasure yourself with a marathon of cheaters. You even clean the sheets before I come home? Then it's off to Sin City. It's amazing. For the 2010 Adult Entertainment Expo. 
Sasha Gray co-hosts. It's pretty fun. Celebrate a romance-free Valentine's Day starting at 9 a.m. only on G4. Man, that guy's in bad shape. Yeah, poor guy. His girlfriend left him for a robot. <laughs> well, that explains why he hates Adam Five so much. Why does he cry? Should I call a doctor? Well, he's just a little broken-hearted. If his heart is broken, how is he still living? It's just a figure of speech. It means his girlfriend left him, but he still really loves her. What is love? It's a human thing. I'll teach you later. I understand you suffer from a broken heart. Perhaps I can be of assistance. This heart appears to be functioning properly. Wake up. Are you a robot left behind? Are you a robot that wants more out of gameplay? Do you feel video games have abandoned robots to the proverbial scrap heap? Leave those robot dreary dreams behind you. These are games you've never considered, but my dear automatons, you should have. These are games for robot bastards. Robots love Mega Man. Mega Man is to robots, but Brett the Hitman heart is to wrestlers. The best there is, the best there was, the best there will ever be. That's why any robot worth his rush should slowly, methodically amble on to the robot store and pick up the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Tekken 4 is just one of many Tekkens that have titillated and tickled for years. But robots haven't paid attention. Robots just assume the game is only female life forms and bears to fight with. Not the case. We give you Combot, a robot not afraid to throw down with the ladies. In Tekken 4, Combot represents the robot race by taking down the quote unquote man. Which brings us to the mightiest of them all. Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee has all the monsters that have terrorized Tokyo for years, similar to how Will Smith has terrorized robots for years. But it also has Robotum's own movie monster, Mechagodzilla. And he's pissed. Nobody intimidates Mechagodzilla. From I Love the Godzilla 90s to Rodan to Godzilla 2000, all cower in the sight of this laser blasting, gas passing, foot stomping mecha. There's also a Mecha King Ghidorah, but that's just silly. Mega Man, Combot, Mecha Godzilla, these are their games. These are their lies. These are their robot lies. Robot gamers, find these games. Play them. Teach them robot love. You damn robot bastards. You win. What happened? Did Adam Five do this? Whoa, whoa, back up, back up. Robots don't kill people. I mean, there's a perfectly logical explanation. I mean, he probably did it to himself. Sessler, what? did you teach Adam Five to kill? No. I'm gonna kill you until you're ah. dead. You know what? I'm gonna kill you some more. You love it when I kill you. This is the most fun I've ever had. There's so much pleasure I come from taking your life away. This is fun. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, it feels so good. On a completely unrelated note, I think we have to remove Adam Five's brain. Okay. Big mistake.
Wait, 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 wait. There has to be an explanation. What's to explain? We want his brain. Brain! Look at him. He's resting in his bedroom. You mean the X-Play holding cell? I mean his bedroom. Adam Five, did you kill Paul? Yes. Mm, that sounds troublesome. Mm. But why did you kill him? If humans love and love causes pain, all humans must be destroyed. <laughs> His logic's undeniable. All right. Here's how we're going to get the robot's brain. Morgan and I are going to hold him down. Morgan, it's very important that you have your foot at his throat. Got it. Then Leffler's going to come with the tongs. Where'd Leffler go? Oh, no. What's going in there? I'm going in there. Look, he's gone. Let oh, no. no, no, Leffler, hang on. Hang on. It's too late for me. Tell Adam Five I loved her. A Adam Five was male. Really? Oh. No! Once upon a time, in a commodity-addicted, diversion-starved kingdom known as America, a plastic bundle showed up in the living rooms of suburbia. The year was 1985, and for 24,900 pennies, you got the Nintendo Entertainment System bundled with two controllers, two games, two? A light gun, <laughs> and Rob, the gaming robot. Rob embraced his role as a happy mechanic of adolescent joy, employing his limited skill set as long as his batteries were regularly charged. But as we know, children, skies cannot always remain sunny. Rob began to forget his childhood role. He started to think he was better than a toy. He began spinning discs for the neighborhood robots. Rob's parties became the bits and bites of legend. The sharp fluids of human inebriation began to commingle with Rob's vital lube. A mix that would prove most lethal. Dirty robot, dirty robot, drink, drink. After a while, Rob began to crave that which only humans could have. Rob wanted sensuality. Late one night, Rob and a robot of ill repute named Blogort began working on something no robot in history had ever had. It's magnificent. Other robots coveted Rob's bundled arrogance, yet they secretly wished for his downfall. Sick. He's sick, I tell you. What are you doing? Touch my dongle. I hear he is bisexual. Ah, uh, look at him. No, Rob, no. I am burping. No. Better games came around and kids forgot about Rob. With his usefulness at an end, there was nothing left to do with Rob but melt him down and fill the cavities of grumpy old people. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Wait, doesn't he have a remote control? Yeah, but I gave it to him. Okay, now why is he doing this? Well, I don't know. It's a robot. Maybe that's what... There are two types of robots in the world. Those that need to kill and those that need to be loved. This robot wants both. It's unstoppable and it's going to go on killing and loving killing. Loving, killing, and loving, killing. Loving, mostly killing, till there's no one to kill or love anymore. Ever. But surely there must be some way that we can stop it. No. Really? Well, there is one way, but you're not going to like it. Look out, Adam Five is in the room. I don't see anything. Crap. Ah! This is Titan 1 4. No signs of life. Titan 1 4, hold your position. What do you got? Unmanned aircraft is identifying enemy sniper. Copy that. Let's move. Hey, 
Phoenix Reaper 1 1. Sensors coming off target. Learn more at airforce.com. I see you have the Verizon network. Yeah. You know, if you had AT&T, you'd have the nation's fastest 3G network. And you'd be able to download songs faster, download videos faster, and you could talk and surf the web at the same time. You got a little map in your suit. When you compare, there's no comparison. AT&T, a better 3G experience. Buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. Finding everything okay? I work for a different insurance company. My auto policy is just getting a little too expensive. With Progressive, you get the name your price option, so we build a policy to fit your budget. Wow, the price gun. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wish we had this. We just tell people what to pay. Yeah, we're the only ones that do. I love your insurance. Bill? Tom? Hey, it's an office party. The freedom to name your price. Only from Progressive. Call or click today. Hey, buddy, I appreciate the ride, you know? No problem. Mind if I take a shortcut? Yeah, sure. I knew the Subaru Legacy was the smart choice. What I didn't expect was the fun. The Subaru Legacy. Feel the love as we count down your top 10 favorite X-Play episodes ever. Now, you're about to witness the amazing ending of the robot episode. It all leads up to X-Play's 1,000 at 6. I met my wife on a blind date. It's my family that kind of got me started in the career path that I'm in now is in uh, ITT Tech. My wife was responsible for me going there. You know, we were actually driving right by ITT Tech. She said you should go in and just check it out. That definitely jump-started a lot of opportunities for him. It's nice to, to work uh, normal hours for a change and be home for dinner and be able to spend more time with my family. Uh, I know they really appreciate that. It allows me to provide for them in ways that before my education I don't think I would have been able to. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. Get an education that can help you reach your goals. ITT Tech has information on financial aid for those who qualify. Call 1-800-372-4052. If you had a choice between going between going bald and a fuller head of hair, which would you choose? Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. You wash it, you cut it. It's your own real naturally growing hair. When it comes to hair restoration, no one in the world has more experience than Bosley. The results look completely natural and are affordable on nearly any budget. Bosley Hair Restoration is a relatively simple outpatient procedure, but the entire process can't be explained in 60 brief seconds. So to find out more about this clinically proven permanent hair loss solution, call the toll-free number below to receive your free no-obligation information kit. It'll answer all of your questions about hair loss and hair restoration. Every day you wait, you're losing more hair, so don't put it off any longer. The phone call is free. The information is free. You owe it to yourself to find out the facts. Choose hair. Choose Bosley. Call 1-800-634-7223. That's 1-800-634-7223. Own a piece of G4. Download to own this show now. I hope this works, old man. It's our only chance. All right, I'm logging on to his frequency. Would you like to play a game? I will make the first move. On the bottom! No, but over there, maybe... Bottom! Over there, maybe, oh, there at the bottom! Okay, maybe here. No. I, that's not bad. Here. Bottom. You have lost. How do you lose at tic-tac-toe? This game cheats! With the arrival of 3D came a renaissance in video game robotics. Store shelves now offer a plethora of mech titles. 
But hey, anyone can pick up the latest Gundam tie-in or save up for Steel Battalion and its 800-pound gorilla of a controller. So for the connoisseur of Chrome Colossi, here are a few lesser-known mech masterpieces. For those who dig the turn-based stuff, Front Mission 4 may be your robo-poison of choice. This long and involving turn-based strategy game features hulking mechs, teeth-rattling weaponry, and the coolest mech intro sequence ever. Zone of the Enders The Second Runner is the criminally overlooked sequel to a pretty average action game. This game takes the framework of the original Zone of the Enders and cranks everything up to ridiculously high levels. It has a new art style, improved combat, and is unquestionably one of the best looking games of this generation. If you like your robots fast, furious, and full of pretty, why the hell haven't you played this game? Don't just sit there, go get it! Some of us would like to see a Zone of the Enders 3, you know. Finally, an obscure little gem that giant robot fans absolutely must play. Robot Alchemic Drive captures the scale and power of 40-meter titans slugging it out in urban environments like no other title. The majority of the time, you control your monstrous super robot from the perspective of the main character. You actually have to use the shoulder buttons to move each leg individually to walk and move the analog sticks around to operate the arms for punching and blocking. This is awesome and is worth putting up with the mind-bendingly awful story. I'm on my own now. I'm getting by. Somehow. Alright. And yet, despite the horrible acting, Robot Alchemic Drive sometimes serves up a heaping helping of comedy gold. Robots kill people! A robot killed Grandma! If ever greater words were uttered in a video game, I have heard them not. Grandma! You can always win when you go first. Well, now Adam 5 is going to kill us. Oh god, he really is! It's too late. He's already here. Oh my god, we're all gonna die! There are two types of robots in the world. The type that wants to kill, and the type that wants to be loved. 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 I'm going out there. Morgan, no! No! She's kind of crazy. The killing stops here. I cannot allow humans to suffer, so they must die. Love does not compute. I know it doesn't, but that's what makes us so wonderful. I mean, love hurts, but it's what makes it stronger. You know, love, love is inside all of us, even you. I do not feel this love. That's because love is about sacrifice. Sacrifice? You need someone to make the uh, sacrifice for. Adam-5 has no one to love. That's not true. That's not true. I love you, Adam-5. I love you, too. Oh, that's gross. Honey, the disposal's backed up again. Yes, dear. Remember, love is about sacrifice. Yes, dear. You suck, robot!
You know how in the end of that episode, um, I was kissing the robot? And I pretended it was Brent Spiner, so I actually did get something out of it. Now for number nine on our countdown. Uh, yeah, this is the homemade episode. We had just moved to L.A. from San Francisco, and we did not have a studio, so of course we shot it in Adam's apartment. Yeah, you're going to see some boxes in the background. Those are my actual moving boxes. Get full of this crap. Enjoy. Come on, Morgan, sit on the couch. Adam, we are not shooting a show from your apartment. This isn't Cribs. Well, come on, look, they haven't finished the set. We have some good games to review. We got NCAA football, Malice, Mega Man. Malice came out, what, three years ago? Our viewers are much too critical to put up with this low-budget version of X-Play. We have a doing three review. Oh. Their production values couldn't get any lower. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Hello, and welcome to this lo fi edition of X Play. Now, we may not have a set. We may not have a budget. We may not have the poison journalistic acumen of Carson Daly and Ryan Seacrest. But what we do have is Doom 3. The game we all have been waiting for, and waiting for, and waiting for, and then waiting well, for. Well, the wait is over. Here's our review of Doom 3. Been waiting for. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. People of Earth, have no fear. Apparently the gates to hell are located on Mars. So as long as we don't colonize Mars, we won't have to worry about this. Or this. On the other hand, if we stay safely tucked away here on Earth, we won't get to do any of this. Or this. That's right, kids. Doom 3 is finally out. And is it everything we had hoped for? Not really. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This will only take a second. Yeah, and I'm gonna need you to go ahead and come in on Saturday, too. Doom 3 won't cure cancer. Nor will it make you irresistibly attractive to the opposite sex. Hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. Or even the same sex. What Doom 3 does do is deliver a visceral first-person shooting experience that's only mildly disappointing. Let's talk about the graphics. I like them. I like them a lot. While I wouldn't exactly call a blood-smeared hallway pretty, Doom 3 has some of the most impressive visuals ever, thanks in no small part to the incredible real-time lighting effects. It's all shimmery and shadowy and, well, God, just look at the screen, will ya? It's freaking amazing. Even the monsters look beautiful in a grotesque, rotting corpse kind of way. And those monsters shoot up real good. This is Doom, after all, so we were expecting tight, focused shooting action. And that's what you get here. Now, let's talk about the story. It's nothing special, but unlike earlier versions of Doom, it has taken great care to create a believable environment this time. Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. Right from the get-go, you'll feel immersed in a place that actually feels like a real place. And, oddly enough, that's the biggest problem with Doom 3. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. The gameplay in the original Doom hinged largely on the player entering a room, whereupon secret doors would open up and out would pour a bunch of demons for you to kill. Much of Doom 3 works the same way. In fact, I think it's safe to say that most of the monsters in Doom 3 are totally gay. Why? Because they appear to have spent their entire existence in the closet. What worked in the boxy, surreal setting of Doom just doesn't hold water in the hyper-realistic world of Doom 3. Fortunately, not all of the monsters are hiding from the player and their sexuality. There are a good number of creepy monsters and genuine scares. It's here where Doom 3 shows its full potential. It's just too bad there aren't more moments like these. Still, the shooting portion of the game is rock solid and the visuals are fantastic. If you can lower your expectations going into the game, you're gonna have a great time. X-Play gives Doom 3 a four out of five. Four long years of development and it still plays like the original Doom. Way to innovate, guys!
Well, the gameplay is empty, but, you know, it looks pretty, and we're in L.A. now. That's what it's all about. Style over substance. Right, Adam? My career is over. It's not over. You have to introduce the next review. <laughs> then it's over. This is our review of Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>
Call 1-888-GET-2121. That's 1-888-GET-2121. Or visit 21st.com. I tried the other energy drinks, and what made me switch was the size of the drinks kept getting bigger and bigger. I just wanted energy. I didn't want to get bloated. The two ounces of 5-Hour Energy really does make a difference. With the other energy drinks, it was kind of a sugar high. I felt on edge, and that's not what I'm looking for before I go on a mountain bike ride or a run or a swim, and I never felt that with 5-Hour Energy. It gave me a boost, and the boost lasted, and I never crashed. It, uh, it gives you that sense of alertness. Nothing works like 5-Hour Energy. My favorite X-Play character, Grabnar. Grabnar, Grabnar, Grabnar. You need to make more Grabnar. And my favorite X-Play character is, who else? The Canadian guy. His whimsical ways, and he says, oh, and wee, wee, wee. This guy is Donnie Holdman. He was a staff sergeant in the U.S. Air Force. Christopher Holmes, he used to deliver flowers, if you can believe that. And this is Michael Chacon. He used to work construction. What do these guys have in common? They all ride Harley-Davidson motorcycles. They all used to do something else. And they all follow their dream to Motorcycle Mechanics Institute. Today, these guys are all in the Harley-Davidson program offered at MMI. They're training to work on an American legend, Harley-Davidson Motorcycle. MMI has the only 24-week training program developed with and approved by Harley-Davidson University. It's designed to set you up for a career working in Harley-Davidson dealerships, and it works. MMI places more Harley-Davidson technicians into jobs than any other school. I'm John Rafi, a Harley-Davidson instructor here at Motorcycle Mechanics Institute. These students will tell you, this is not work, the passion. Keep the legend alive. The Harley-Davidson program at MMI. Visit mmitech.edu or call today to receive a digital brochure. They're back, your international sexy ladies. An all-new season of exotic ladies from all over the world, getting up to the craziest and sexiest things you can imagine. Joining your favorites from season one will be a horde of hotties from new countries. <laughs> season two of the International Sexy Lady Show premieres March 1st, only on G4. We've spared no expense to bring you Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. There. Uh, lies. Blatant lies. Oh, my God. Welcome back to this super lo-fi edition of X-Play. Yeah, since we don't have a set yet and games keep coming out, we've decided to assemble this show out of crushed hopes and broken dreams. And you know, what else epitomizes crushed hopes and broken dreams like a very low-budget X-Play? What? Backyard wrestling, of course. So, I don't have a backyard. <laughs> We're here to check out some backyard wrestling and... We're going to be interviewing some of these nice guys, uh, you know, for the new game that's coming out, Backyard Wrestling 2. I mean, I thought they'd be kind of a fun bunch to play around. This should get kind of interesting. Backyard Wrestling is the trailer park trash of the WWE. I don't know what's worse, doing this for money or being a hanger-on like Insane Clown Posse. There are certainly some colorful characters in backyard wrestling. Real nice, too. This man goes looking for pain. This is Pondo. First things first, the name of this show is X-Play. This ain't like some gay porno thing, is it? You promise? Promise. Interview, welcome. I'm not even paying him any attention. You know what I'm saying? He come back here, get me out of my corner while I'm sitting over here drinking, doing my thing, and all of a sudden, here comes Mr. Interviewer. Here comes Mr. Announcer. Here comes Mr. Get on my damn nerves. The only time I've been in the backyard wrestling, there was like five little kids out there trying to do what I do, and I kicked all five of their asses. My memory is bad. I have 40 concussions. I cracked my skull twice. I broke my back no, twice. Shit. I broke my arms. I broke my sternum. I have no sight in my right eye. I love to take little skinny, uh, ugly shirt, uh, middle-aged guys holding microphones in my face. So I'm gonna do this fucking interview for you. So what? 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 Um, do you like it? 
and I love to just pick them up over my head, throw them onto the concrete, and make them bleed all over the place. What do you think about that? Oh, that sounds good. You know, I like to do the same thing, too. I like beating the shit out of people and not being taken to court for it. I like beating the shit out of people and they can't charge me for it. I like doing the OJ to your ass and I can get away with it. Pondo is, is really good to me. What? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. It doesn't take long to figure out that backyard wrestling is not for the meek. But what makes these time bombs tick? I never could have guessed. How do you withstand that kind of grief and pain? It's called retardation. I've been that way since birth, and it's worked for me so far. Somebody I have a gift, you. a gift from God, a gift from devil, a gift from somebody, but I don't feel pain. <laughs> yep, these guys are straight up nuts. I have to give them credit, though. I'm not about to do this. Or this. Or this. And I don't think I'd do this either. I never would have guessed a scene like this could bring out the ladies. But boy, oh, mama. The reason for all this madness? I know this is working in backyard wrestling too. There goes the neighborhood for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Featuring more wrestlers, online play, and the same no-holds-barred combat of the original, Backyard Wrestling 2 will give fans of the subculture plenty to gnaw on. Okay, so that's Backyard Wrestling. I want you to see one thing here. I have a souvenir. That's blood on my shirt. I am now standing in a mess of real broken glass covered in blood. I came to find out about Backyard Wrestling, and I have. And I've learned a lot about the depths of the male soul. Since our new set is under construction, we thought it'd be only appropriate to bring you a game that was supposed to be a launch title for the Xbox. And it's been under construction for the past three years. Which means the developers are late by what, 36 months? Way to blow it, guys. <laughs> Here's a review of Malice. She said blow. Do you want another bottle to the head? No! Back in early 2001, when the world didn't mind us so much and it was still hip to be unemployed, a little company named Microsoft introduced the Xbox with footage of Malice. We were very impressed. I remember saying, wow, I want to play this game now. What was that? And I didn't. For three and a half years. And apparently, there's no real need to now. It's incomplete, uninspired, and thoroughly disappointing on all levels. And Paul Allen didn't even work on it. So, the game is about, um, well, okay, you play her. Hello. She's running from crows with guns. She escapes. Hi. And meets this bad guy who's apparently met her before. Ah, uh, my dear Malice, we meet again. He bites her head off. Now we find out that she's a goddess. No goddesses. It's said on the door. No goddesses. And this clock wants her to save the universe by collecting logic keys. Malice, you must find these keys. If this sounds insipid, it's worse. I found it easier to comprehend episodes of Dragon Ball Z running backwards while children stab my ears with stale pixie sticks. But the fun doesn't stop there. If you're really into generic platforming action, you're kind of in luck. Because Malice makes chewing dry kashi feel like a flavor jamboree. There is combat, but as you can see, it's as involving as pleasing yourself with oven mitts. You get a few weapons. Well, they're clubs. This one looks like a ham hock. You do acquire new powers as you play, like running fast and summoning a shield. But they're really only useful to keep the other buttons from feeling abandoned. This game's so easy, you could play it while being sucked dry by lampreys. You spend the game doing very little, except collecting crap that unlocks other crap that you collect. Sometimes there's a puzzle, which primarily serves to remind you what it's like to fire a synapse. Also, the game's preposterously short, which is usually a drawback, but considering the fact that you'll only be playing this game if someone super glues the controller to your hand and amputates both your legs, its brevity is a blessing. 
So, what's the upside? Well, it's kind of pretty, and it isn't so broken you can't play it to completion. But other than that, it sucks, and is appropriate only for people who don't watch this show or have a morbid curiosity in checking out the crash site of a development trajectory comparable only to Brooke Shields' Brenda Starr. A two out of five. Mmm, nice Brenda Starr reference. Why don't you throw in a Mark Trail gag in there while you're at it? You know, I learned to take this kind of abuse in my own living room. Ew! Are these yours? Or do I? Find out when we come back. If you're looking for the love of your life, you could try your luck on dating sites, or you could graduate to eHarmony. eHarmony isn't a dating site. It's a relationship site. We go beyond the pictures and paragraphs to match you on the deepest dimensions of compatibility, like intellect and values, things proven to be the foundation of successful long-term relationships. If you want love, don't settle for a dating site. Go to eHarmony.com. Get started today and review all your compatible matches for free. I was working in the automotive industry back in Detroit, and I was laid off from my position. And my outlook was not looking very good. I had no formal college education. I didn't have that first step that you need in order to be successful in this country in regards to a career field choice. I had to make a positive change and uh, that negative became a positive. I chose ITT Technical Institute because they could get me the training that I needed and uh, help me get working in the career field that I wanted to join. I think my wife and children are very proud um, of the fact that I went back to school at 40 and uh, was able to be successful. Two years ago when I was laid off, you know, there's a lot of fear. What am I gonna do to provide for my family? And uh, I don't worry about that anymore. I don't. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. Morning movies. Morning. You've all been picked. You're all heading out. Netflix members have made a list of the DVDs they want to see. They'll receive their movies, it's you guys, in about one business day. Now with never a late fee, they can keep you as long as they like. And now for no additional fee, they can watch some movies instantly on their TV. Let's move it, people. You too, romantic comedy. Netflix. Rent as many movies as you want for only nine bucks a month. No late fees ever. You're watching The Homemade Episode. This is number nine on our countdown. Up next is number eight. What could it be? A Christmas special. One Where I Die, which is most episodes. We like to fulfill people's dreams. You know, one could argue that this is the best episode of X-Play ever made because it doesn't have all of that, that quality that usually distracts you from the show. With the new Geico Glove Box app, you can get help with a flat tire. Find a nearby tow truck or gas station. Called emergency services. Collect accident information, or just watch some fun videos. It's so easy, a caveman can do it. Unbelievable. Where's my coat? It was swayed with a friend. Download the Glove Box app free at geico.com. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What's up? We're shaking. Popping. Cracking. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Brother. Dude. Cheers. What's up? What's up? Hey. Bro. Hey. Hey. Daddy. Darling. Sweetie. Buddy. Beautiful. Aww. Buddy. Now you can call who you want, when you want, for a whole lot yeah. less. AT&T introduces unlimited calling nationwide for only $69.99. AT&T. This Valentine's Day, buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. If you had a choice between going bald and a fuller head of hair, which would you choose? Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. You wash it, you cut it. It's your own real naturally growing hair. When it comes to hair restoration, no one in the world has more experience than Bosley. The results look completely natural and are affordable on nearly any budget. Bosley Hair Restoration is a relatively simple outpatient procedure, but the entire process can't be explained in 60 brief seconds. So to find out more about this clinically proven permanent hair loss solution, call the toll-free number below to receive your free no-obligation information kit. It'll answer all of your questions about hair loss and hair restoration. Every day you wait, you're losing more hair, so don't put it off any longer. The phone call is free. The information is free. You owe it to yourself to find out the facts. Choose hair. 
Choose Bosley. Call 1-800-634-7223. That's 1-800-634-7223. Heroes returns to its roots with an epic battle between good and evil. Don't miss an all-new episode tomorrow at 11 on G4, your cable home for heroes. Dreams. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to this lo-fi edition of X Place. Yes, while we're building our new set in LA, we're doing the show from my apartment in Southern California. And while most grown men don't sleep with stuffed animals, guess who sleeps with the cutest little face hugger ever? Don't wait. But it's so little and cute and face hugging. <laughs> Look, we have one more game left, and it comes from EA Sports, so we all know it's going to be good. How good? Find at Winterview NCAA Football 2005. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Horny toads, hokies, and gamecocks? No, it's not the latest anime porn game. It's time for a little college football. Like a seventh-year senior, EA's NCAA Football 2005 is assured and focused. No longer wasting mom and dad's dough visualizing world peas and founding campus clubs for medicinal marijuana, but instead buckling down and getting on with getting on. It's in the game! Going into its fourth season for the PS2, the college franchise has already proven it is more than a campus clone of Madden. The latest version places its emphasis on subtle refinements over sweeping changes, which is what tends to happen when the gameplay is as seasoned as Joe Paterno is old. You're absolutely right. The look of the game remains the same, so you may wonder, why upgrade? To keep you enrolled for another semester, the team at EA has taken the sense of atmosphere to a whole new level. No, that's not the effects of the seven beer bongs from the tailgate party in the parking lot. That's the new home field advantage challenge of being the visiting team. I feel sorry for that poor kid. When you step into a hostile stadium, crowd noise is deafening and rabid opposing fans will have your players shaken in their boots like a freshman with an out-of-state fake ID at the beer stand. That one's just too hot to handle. If a player becomes too rattled, expect dropped passes, blown coverages, and various other mental mishaps as monumental as the University of Colorado's recruiting tactics. Are you kidding me? Of course, you are probably wondering how you're supposed to know when a teammate has lost his composure before a game spirals out of control like the dreaded freshman 15 on your new girlfriend from the dorms quickly survey both teams by flicking the right analog stick at the line of scrimmage. You'll know at a glance which players have a good matchup and which players would be better off on the sidelines making a fresh jug of Gatorade for the rest of the team. That was the super duper special. The 2005 edition also adds the big hit button that can unleash a devastating tackle. The drawback? If you miss, you're giving the ball carrier an open lane towards the goal line. And it bit him <laughs> right in the backside. Another feature you've got to love is the ability for players to celebrate. After you show up the opposing team, why not rub it in a little with choreographed taunting? Okay, what about the cons? The biggest issue is that the basic look of the game hasn't changed at all. And this season's game still doesn't offer the ability to create custom plays only custom playbooks. Two words for you, Kirk. Dumb call. That said, it is pretty cool that in mascot mode, Daniel Boone can tussle with a weird badger on crack looking dude or a horned frog from bush country. Weird. All in all, with a home field advantage atmosphere that's unrivaled among its peers and the return of the addictive dynasty mode, online play and create a school features, EA has upped the college pigskin ante with NCAA football 2005. It easily makes the grade with a four out of five. He needed oven mitts for that one because it was a hot tamale. So NCAA football is easily the best college football game out there on the market. I mean, you've got to love a game that gives you the home field advantage because your fans will rattle the opposing players by distracting them. Stop that and cut it out. But your toys are so cute and emasculating. Just, just leave my house. Go. Is this because I broke a bottle over your head? Go. Okay, Mr. Side, Dr. the mean lady is gone. Okay, wanna take a walk? Sure.
Now we're in the wardrobe room. This is where clothes are born. This is something fresh out of the mother's womb. I picked it up for Adam. Very cute. Um, so congratulations, you guys made it through one hour. Uh, we have four more hours left before x -Play's grand finale, our 1,000th episode. Next up is the Japanese episode. Okay, here's a fun fact. Uh, in the sushi belt sequence, I actually ate all of that sushi. Yeah, because in Japan, even if it's a really crappy sushi place, it's still incredibly rude to spit something out. So I did something even more dishonorable. I threw it all off. One of the reasons. Quack, quack, quack. Hey, what you doing? You know, I'm watching Japanese TV. There's this one game. Hey, hey stop caring. Hey, you've got to try this. What is it? Oh, come on, be adventurous. Try it, try it, try it. Huh. That's amazing. What is it? Oh. I got it off this guy in the street. It's called like Boo Boo Goo Goo Fugu Fugu. Fugu? Mm hmm. Like poison blowfish? Mm. If you don't prepare it correctly, you lose it and die? I was gonna comment that the television was eating away at my brain. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, the staff is dancing. Minasan, so ste yokai kaiju san, X ray super happy fan show e yoko so. Adam Sesla san to Morgan Webb san ga, Nihon gente ban, monosugo e game o shokai shimas. Cho kawaii dami ninjo chan ga, cho kyo let na parodi o okri shimas. Adam to manabu, honkaku wa shoku. I'm Adam Sessler, and we're outside the world-famous Ninja Restaurant. And I thought, what better way to try out martial arts cuisine than to bring along a real ninja? <sighs> Morgan, is that you? <coughs> oh, maybe it is. Then, <laughs> This evening, my mystical guest has ordered sashimi created in an evil laboratory. Now, I, <laughs> I've ordered something a little bit simpler. Mm. Can't wait to get into it. What are you doing? Oh, ah, that's not funny. Oh, it's a cute, adorable little cheesecake frog. All right. Well, I think what we've learned today is that the art of silent killing can be turned into a tasty theme restaurant. What do you say, Ninja? でも私の乙女のような心はずたずた。Yes, the ultimate smorgasbord of wacky manga characters explodes and jumps superstars from the Nintendo DS. Now listen, anime fans, I know we haven't always gotten along, but I like anime, and this time we're gonna make it up to you. You swear! The characters from this game originated in the pages of popular Japanese manga anthology Shonen Jump. So if you love fanboy favorites One Piece or Naruto, you're in for a slice of heaven. Sorry guys, no full metal up this time. The coolest part of Jump Superstars is the deck system. Before each bout, the bottom screen lets you set up a deck of character cards. During the battle, you can reach over to the touch screen and pick helper cards. Some cards let you unleash special attacks, while others make characters swap in to deliver quick combos. It can be hard to fiddle with the touch screen as you play, but with some practice, you'll be delivering bizarre moves in no time. Yes, that man is using his nose hair as a weapon. You can choose from all your faves, like Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! Or Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. 
or okay we have no idea who the hell these people are some of the characters are from series that haven't come out in the states yet so it's okay if you're confused isn't that the sunny delight label if you don't read the language you may be confused by some of the inexplicable manga cutscenes, like this one where a japanese schoolgirl is sad Aw, cheer up. The game also allows you to have four-player death matches with download play from just one cartridge, making you the most popular otaku in your Japanese class. So what are you waiting for? Time to import this gem from Japan right now. We give Jump Superstars four Naruto's out of five. Show Super Happy Sumoe Yokoso. Corner kara wa Adam Sesura-san desu. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the cheer team. Available only in Japan, this mystifying cheerleading sim is, well, mystifying. We're not going to waste time discussing how odd this game is or how you can't get it in the States unless you know the right peeps. Let's just get right to the action. Japan is a beautiful city, beautiful scenery, beautiful people. But it has more self-esteem issues than Kobayashi has hot dog eating championships. That one's for the Japanese fans in the audience. All 300 million of you. It's up to you with the help of this cursed and dunceless cheer squad to help those in confidence crisis. If a secretary needs help impressing her sexy boss. If a young boy needs dodgeball tips. If a horse needs that extra incentive. The cheer team is here. With your help, of course. Just tap the circles to the funky beats and help those in need. Like the chef, who just wants to run a clean restaurant. The teacher, who just wants to be one of the girls. Kinda. Or the pottery lover, who just wants to be Patrick Swayze. And of course, slave abuse. Um, let's move on. At least we think that's what's going on. We don't speak Japanese. Heck, <laughs> we barely speak English. But you don't need language to enjoy Osu Tatake Owenden. All you need is a DS, a trip to Japan, and your bestest cheer. Take it, fellas. After years of foul mouth abuse, Raddy has decided to find inner peace while in Japan, foregoing the noisy confusion of Tokyo for the quiet serenity of Toyo. こんにちは。ビーチ。次回は西岸のスーパーハッピーお化けがなんとアダムの口から登場。ビーチ。ビーチ。ビーチ。ビーチ。ビーチ。ビーチ。ビーチ。ビーチ。ビーチ。ビー
the world of opportunities is yours to explore. At ITT Tech, we know that while technology presents new and exciting possibilities every day, it's the people behind it who matter most. ITT Technical Institute School of Criminal Justice, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. G4 celebrates Valentine's Day with a lineup of romance-free shows. Give it to you, Watch out. Guilty pleasure yourself with a marathon of cheaters. Do you even clean the sheets before I come home? Then it's off to Sin City. It's amazing. For the 2010 Adult Entertainment Expo, Sasha Gray co-hosts. It's pretty fun. Celebrate a romance-free Valentine's Day starting at 9 a.m. only on G4. So I found this great new game in Japan. I can't speak Japanese, but I call it the magic roundabout. All right, look at this. These are scores for these types of foods. And if I can eat enough of them and hit the right score in the allotted time, I'm a winner. Of course, we're all winners in life, but I want to see what I get. Here we go. Your first thought is going to be, hey, this has nothing to do with the Wolverine state. And you're right. Your next thought is going to be, Wow, this must be some crazy survival horror adventure game like Fatal Frame, and that's where you're wrong. While it's true that in Michigan for the PS2, you play as a cameraman covering the gruesome deaths of a city under attack by mysterious forces. The bottom line here is that you're a cameraman, and cameramen do this. Lots of this. Through the eye of the Zaka TV camera lenses, you can choose how you want to tell the story. There's nothing that builds suspense like talking. Focusing on scary things also builds suspense like dead bodies and ghosts. Look, it's my social life floating by. You'll also find other scary things in Michigan like dolls. Ah! A bowl of fruit. Ooh! Kit magazines. You can score immoral points by kicking people, watching the reporter die, or just goofing off by filling file cabinets or a box. No, a wooden box. Speaking of which, you can live out your Van Nuys dreams by photographing random porn left behind or just by lowering your standards. Lower. Oh yeah, you're also going after one of the greatest enemies ever created. Crotch monsters. I'm sure it's something different in Japan, like terrible flour. As a cameraman, it's your job to watch over your young and beautiful reporter. Don't worry about her, though. If she gets bumped off, a younger reporter will just take her place. The game is more about how you view the story around you rather than you interacting with it. Sometimes you want to look away, but under the unblinking eye of the camera, you control how the story unfolds. Michigan is a great idea that just ran out of film before the final cut. That's why we give this little import a two out of five. Roam free, crotch monsters. Roam free your manifestations of adolescent male anxiety. Morgan Webb. 
Holy shnikes, you are Morgan Webb from X-Play. I was a little skeptical before I started using Dove. I was dancing with this guy. I was like, oh no, sweat, um, hair, prickles. Now I don't have to worry about anything showing. I mean, do you see anything? And that's the thing too. It's smooth. I don't have to shave as often. I have one less thing that I really have to worry about. It feels fabulous. I would give it to everybody. I would give it to anybody. I don't have any more pricklies. <sighs> Attention drivers statewide. If you are insured with Allstate, Geico, State Farm, or any other car insurer, you may be overpaying by hundreds of dollars. Find out how to get immediate savings through 21st Century Insurance. What would it take to get you to switch your car insurance? If we told you that you could save $474 a year, wouldn't you pick up the phone? Start dialing, because you could save that much. People who switched from GEICO saved around $481. From Allstate, $526. Your savings could be higher, like this driver who switched. Or this one. And no other company gives you 21st century security advantage that includes roadside assistance at no additional cost. Immediate savings available through 21st century insurance. Call for a free rate quote today. Call 1-888-GET-2121 for a free rate quote. You could save hundreds of dollars. That number again is 1-888-GET-2121. Call now or visit 21st.com. Why just watch films and TV shows when you can learn to make them? Get behind the camera and turn your obsession into professional opportunities with the help of Collins College. Their Bachelor of Arts degree in film and video production can teach you about this exciting industry. You can learn skills in production, camera operation, or video editing. Call Collins College today. Call now for a complimentary brochure. Call 888-823-0999. That's 888-823-0999. Call now. I'm just hanging out in my dressing room, but I wanted to let you guys know that you are watching the Japanese episode. And one of the things I love most about Japan is the food. I love the ramen. I love the sushi. I love all the weird things they serve on a stick. They're amazing. But one of the worst meals I ever had was also in Japan. Mexican food, the enchilada sauce, pretty much tastes like fish. We rely on a future Hall of Famer. Oh, and a diving play, Rodor! Tending to the Garden State success, but refuse to be intimidated on our home ice. We also seize the opportunity to announce our arrival. Watkins, what a chance! What a goal! And quiet the critics. Zetterberg, oh, he scores! Devils, Flyers, Red Wings, Blues, only on Versus. Better and Greatest Better Pizza is not a slogan. It is a way of life. Papa's in the house. It's first and ten at Papa John's. And as an official sponsor of Super Bowl 44, for the first time ever, you get all large pizzas for just $10. Your choice of toppings, your choice of pizzas, $10. Even specialty pizzas like the Works, the Meats, and the Six Cheese, just $10. It's first and ten. Order now at PapaJohns.com. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Japan! Oh, Japan! With your jointing children and rollicking people! How your words may spring luxury on a fastidious herbalization! One flatulating dangler scribes happiness for one cup of spoon. Please feel the world of the sound that wind plays. Can 
a lucid gatekeeper of the Algid warns a frozen save is not possible. I'm frozen, frozen with consternation. A group of Ursus Horribles ponder who is the real thing. Find it early and send it. There are many companies. Find me, find me from someone. And the solitary cousin cannot domineer his glee when he implores. Laugh when pleasant, enjoyable. Mother! An ethnically bankrupt dramatist attempts to reinvigorate with black regain. Shocking! An amatory stenographer finds delight when he formulates the f***ing body. F you, Jack. I'm all tight. Perturbation! This bellicose scribe imbibes a chord when he vociferates. The takedown of weapon allows insight into the interesting technique. Bang! How? Bang! I salute you, you purveyors of discomforting linguistics. The Japanese. The Japanese. Do we have any math fans in the house? I said, do we have any math fans in the house? That's more like it. Well, if you're a math elite and you read and speak fluent Japanese, then we've got the game for you. Brain Teasers for the Nintendo DS is a collection of mini games that work out various areas of your gray matter. After only two hours of playing this game, my medulla oblongata could bench 350 pounds. Brain Teasers has a wide variety of mind-twisting challenges in store for you. Here's a little bit of math mixed in with some math. Some memory-building exercises that are sure to make your cerebellum feel the burn. And like every good gym, it's even got a disembodied head to motivate you. Is he making fun of my spandex biker shorts? The problems are actually quite engaging thanks to the DS touchscreen. Of course, that's when it actually recognized the numbers we were writing. Seven times six doesn't equal a kangaroo. Why would I write that? And the visuals here are simply stunning. And by simply stunning, I mean that the interface is the blandest thing you'll find outside of Ashley Simpson's persona. But what do you expect? It's math. So if you have the weak puny neocortex of a girly man, you'll really want to pick this one up. We get brain teasers three minus one times six divided by four out of five. Here we are in Shinjuku. We're outside of the most popular game store here. We're going to try to find out why nobody bought the Xbox. And we're going to find out if the Xbox 360 is going to suffer the same fate. Do you know why you didn't get a Microsoft's 10 pound console? The Xbox ate my dog. It was a little dog, a wiener dog. So why do you think the uh, Xbox failed in Japan? It failed because it did not study hard enough. So what, what does Microsoft have to do to make the Xbox 360 a hit in Japan? If the Xbox were actually the PlayStation, I think it would do well here. What do you think Microsoft can do to make the 360 a hit in Japan? If, for example, Microsoft were to include free weed with the console, then perhaps it may have a chance. What can Microsoft do to make the Xbox 360 a success? I was told that if you play the Xbox too much, you'll turn into the guy on my buddy's shirt. So are you going to buy an Xbox 360? Well, I think if I were to find an Xbox 360 in the dishwater, that would be nice. Yes, very nice. Are you going to buy an Xbox 360? Hi. No. So, uh, do you plan to buy an Xbox 360? No. Uh, yes and no. That's, that's, that's not a good enough answer. <laughs> Xbox 360? All right, well, uh, sorry.
looking at, fool? Yeah, I'm gonna have some tea. What's up? Domo arigato. Hey, they docking boss. Bitches. Mmm, <laughs> that's good, yeah. <laughs> Even though it looks like my vomit, I, I think I'll have some more. A few years ago, I decided to push myself further. College, graduate school, degrees in aeronautics and engineering. And I learned that being my best means getting the best from everyone around me. Becoming an Army officer taught me to set high objectives and quickly rise to meet them. Kind of like a rocket. An Army officer learns to reach new heights and inspires others to do the same. Can you? Find out at GoArmy.com slash officer. For you, it's not enough to be connected. You want more. You want to be the creative mind behind the character, shot, or app. So how do you turn your passion into your profession? Find out at the Art Institutes. Study under talented faculty. Get your hands on the technology professionals use and discover where your ideas can take you. There's a school near you with associates and bachelor's degrees to get you started on a fulfilling career in the media arts. Call us or log on today. Right now you're watching the Japanese episode. I think we can all agree that this is some of my best work ever. Next up is number seven. Now you picked these episodes, so I think it's your responsibility to watch them. The next one, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it is a parody of a famous movie. Stay tuned for the thrilling conclusion. Up next. They say winning isn't everything, but it sure feels good, doesn't it? Like the feeling you get at Rena Center, where credit is never needed. Get an Ashley seven-piece living room group. Your choice, $29.99 a week. Rena Center, where your satisfaction is always guaranteed. Phil, I like you very much, but you don't have auto insurance. Here, log on to thegeneral.com. You'll get an online quote right now. But I'm on a budget. Don't worry. At the general, you'll get a low rate, a low monthly payment, and a down payment for as low as $59. You'll even get instant proof of insurance. Yep. I feel like a new man. <laughs> for best car insurance rates online, go to the general and save some time. I'm a broke college student. Doesn't mean I have to eat like one. Right now, any pizza from Pizza Hut is just $10. Any size, any crust, any toppings. So we can get a Supreme Pan pizza or meat lovers, anyone we want, for just 10 bucks. Now, I don't have to ask my parents for money all the time. So do you need extra money this week? I'm good. You get yourself something nice. That freaked him out. Right now, any pizza at Pizza Hut is just $10. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any toppings, only $10. Only at your Pizza Hut. An all-new season of exotic ladies from all over the world. Season 2 of the International Sexy Ladies Show premieres March 1st, only on G4. There was one thing War of the Worlds was missing. And no, I don't mean a real ending. I'm talking about giant ants. Lots of them. 
It's an entomologist's worst nightmare in Earth Defense Force 2. London is in trouble, and who better to save her than the Japanese? While London is torn to the ground in this mindless shooter, Earth Defense Force 2 reminds us that monster fighting delineates along gender lines. Armed with a jetpack and a will to dominate, our heroine blasts apart her six-legged adversaries with a pretty purple death ray. We give Earth Defense Force 2 three exploding bugs out of five. Chill out, dude. I'll let you handle shoes in Japan anytime you want. Thanks. Next up is number seven on the X-Play Marathon. It's the Breakfast Club episode because it's so timely. Yes, but this, to this day, I don't know if we're entirely convinced Kevin Pryor has actually seen the movie like he claims to have. He lies, though. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. this show also marks a Sessler milestone, my first day driving on the freeway. We're so proud of you. We filmed it at Venice High School, which is also rumored to be haunted. Really? No, but it sounds interesting that way. Okay. Saturday, March 4th, Bushnell High. Detention. Five students enter with absolutely nothing in common. But by sunset, they will be changed forever. I want to congratulate you for being on time. Excuse me, I think there's been a mistake. I mean, I know this is a retro parody show, but I don't think I belong here. We're gonna try something a little different. Since you all like playing video games so much, today, you're gonna write a review. Is this a test? You will not speak, move, or sleep. That way, maybe you can find out something about yourself. Excuse me, sir, I write reviews all the time and I haven't managed to learn much. Sit down, Sessler. Thank you, sir. My office? Right across that hall. Any monkey business is ill-advised. Any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Does Gunpei Yokoi know that you raid his wardrobe? <laughs> Who? He invented the Game Boy. So you like to play games, boy. Let's play a little game. It's called Russian Roulette. You first. You think I won't? I think you're a gutless turd. Do it! I want to see how tough you are. This one bullet crap. <laughs> three bullets. I want three bullets. One, two, three. Oh, so you really are a tough guy, huh? Tecmo succumbs to the man by bringing us Tecmo Classic Arcade. All in a neat little package so those pompous, selfish, doofish pigs from the 80s can look back on their lame little childhood to remember when everything was, oh, gumdrops and lollipops and puffy little white clouds. F that. I hate nostalgia. It reeks of greed and money and principles and education and government intrusion. And I hate it all. Oh, well, this game's got Swimmer. I love Swimmer. All those dweebs and wasteoids got into hoity-toity frogger bullcrap, but 
Swimmer was one of those on the outside looking in. We went under the logs like true outcasts, not over them. I hate Frogger. Strato Fighter was trying to be like Defender. Like Pretty in Pink was trying to be some kind of wonderful. You could totally see the difference. I hate everybody! Oh, Bomb Jack. Yeah, you know a teacher came up with this one. It looks fun, but then they try to slip history lessons into it. Oh, yeah, like we're supposed to know that this is Egypt. Or Rome. Or Shermer, Illinois. Who cares? Star Force was trying to be that game that ate all the nerds' quarters down at the pizza place. Yeah, I kicked that guy's ass. Then I laughed in his face. Then I ate his pizza. And then I slept with his girlfriend. And then I got a burning sensation in my scrotum. Don't you understand my pain? Tecmo Bowl was probably the most popular game here. You could pretend you're a superficial jock by playing football. Yay! Touchdown! Go team go! Go team go! Oh, you'll never do anything after high school football except work in a gas station. But today you scored! Yay! Tecmo Cup was for soccer fans, or what I called them, pussies. I shouldn't forget about pinball action. Like this could ever replace the romantic notion of true pinball. You know, my dad used to take me to the arcade and we'd play some pinball before he got so drunk and beat my mom and gave me emotional trauma, the kind of trauma I've been whining about for years. Oh, hey, there's Pleiades. Yeah, I don't know what it means, but I bet it's Swahili for cheap Galaga ripoff. Throw in Rygar, which was serviceable, and some other games that remind me of other more popular games, and that's pretty much what Tecmo Classic Arcade has to offer. So, for this lazy, quickie video game package put together for a quick buck, I give Tecmo Classic Arcade two teenage pseudo-rebellious attitudes out of five. Yeah, I'd give it one, but that's what you'd expect, isn't it? And I never do what's expected, because that's how I roll. That review sucked, Pierre. Next time I come in here, I'm loading six bullets. Coming up. Yeah. The Breakfast Club takes a lunch break. It's sushi. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What's up? We're shaking. Popping. Cracking. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Brother. Dude. Dude. What's up? What's up? Hey. Bro. Hey. Hey. Daddy. Dog. Sweetie. Buddy. Beautiful. Aww. Buddy. Now you can call who you want, when you want, for a whole lot yeah. less. AT&T introduces unlimited calling nationwide for only $69.99. AT&T. This Valentine's Day, buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. Papa's in the house. It's first and ten at Papa John's. And as an official sponsor of Super Bowl 44, you get all large pizzas for just $10. Your choice of toppings, your choice of pizzas, $10. Order now at PapaJohns.com. Got the gun. The ridiculously long-lasting gun. New Stride Uber Bubble. My name is Wilfredo Siliezar. Um, I'm a graduate from ITT Tech. Um, my name is Manuel Silazar. I also went to ITT Tech. We were the first two to actually uh, have a, a degree out of our entire family. I never thought my younger brother would made it this far. It's one of the biggest accomplishments of my life to graduate from school. Everything that he uh, put himself to do, he achieves it. After I saw that he was uh, doing great in his job, uh, making good money. Uh, I saw the need that he needed in education. I was going to some top uh, times. Yeah, I saw the type of work he was doing. He wasn't happy. Moved him in to my house and uh, within a few weeks he was already started in, in his path uh, to his new career. He started with nothing and now he has everything. I'm proud of you. You know, we'll both take care of my dad. Thank you. You're welcome. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute. Education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052. If this is what you think the life of a campus cop is, think again. Because when college life gets out of control, these are the cops who try to keep a lid on the chaos. Get drunk! Ride along with the men and women who patrol college towns and universities across the country. Shut your party down, now. Campus PD, all new Wednesday at 11. Part of G4's Junk Food TV. What do we 
having? You know, standard brunch. Soup. Apple juice. PB and J with the crust cut off? I'm allergic to crust. Here's my impression of life at Big Adam's house. Oh, son. Yeah, Dad? How's about a game of Oregon Trail? Oh, gee, Dad, but I've got homework. That's all right, son. It's educational. <laughs> all right, what about your family? Mine? Yeah. Oh, that's real easy. You lazy, no good Nintendo playing, freeloading sucker with a f***ing hard on for a bitch named Zelda. Oh yeah? What about you, huh? What games do you play, Dad? Space War. No, Dad. What about you? Space War. No, Dad. What about you? It's kind of a weird conversation to have. Bull, it's all part of your image. I don't believe a word of it. You don't believe me? No. No? Did I stutter? You believe this? <laughs> yeah, it's about the size of an Atari cartridge, huh? Do I stutter? See, that's what you get in my house when you beat your old man's high score in Gravatar. You shouldn't have said that. How was I supposed to know? Just read your review. I hate you, Dad! Welcome to the wonderful world of Midway Classic Arcade 1, 2, and 3. A total of 50 games between the three. Let's do this! Lame, ass, and kill, and kill, and kill! Sucks eggs. More like Pussy Boy. Would Pussy Boy deliver Balls. Meh. Okay. Suck. Your intensity is for stupid. Lame. Weak. Stupid. Weak. Lame. Wet and lame. Awesome. Named after your mom's blow. Rock. Stupid. Boobs. It's like your mom. Long, boring, and a slut. Sweet. And kill, and kill, and kill, and kill. Sucks. Next. Ninja robots. Toasty. Pig. Take that, mom. Lame. Monkey. Twice as lame. What the f Yes. No. Weak. Stupid. OK. Still sucks. What the? Wait, I didn't say anything. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. It should be X play high rules. So in conclusion, if your old and retarded Midway brings back the games you grew moldy with in 1 and 2, while sticking old racing crap in 3. That's why I'm giving Midway Arcade 1 a 3, 2 a 3, and 3 a 2 out of 5. Bitch. Stick around. Adam gets emotional. F you. F you. <laughs> Sir, debris heading towards our comm satellite. Impact may cut off communications with ground forces. Launch avoidance maneuver. Twenty kilometers in closing. Collision averted, sir. All objects are accounted for. Good job. Learn more at airforce.com. Could switching to GEICO really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Does Elmer Fudd have trouble with the letter R? Shh. Be very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Okay, cut. It's I'm hunting rabbits, Elmer. Let's try that again. Shh. I'm hunting wabbits. Cut. Rabbits. Wabbits. Rabbits. Wabbits. Rabbits with an R. Oh, this duet is starting to wub me the wrong way. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more.
This winter, the world's greatest athletes are coming to Canada, along with two of gaming's greatest superstars. Use your Wii Balance Board or play with up to four friends. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Available now. Rated everyone. Why just watch films and TV shows when you can learn to make them? Get behind the camera and turn your obsession into professional opportunities with the help of Collins College. Their Bachelor of Arts degree in film and video production can teach you about this exciting industry. You can learn skills in production, camera operation, or video editing. Call Collins College today. Call now for a complimentary brochure. Call 888-823-0999. That's 888-823-0999. Call now. The world's a confusing place for this little guy. He was born yesterday, but he knows the BK Double Cheeseburger is bigger than McDonald's for just a buck. He's got the big stuff figured out. The rest is just details. The Dollar Double Cheeseburger only at Burger King. Kevin is absolutely amazing in this episode. Unlike me, Kevin can actually act his balls off. Yes, and I have to pick them off. That's my problem is I never had them in the first place. Maybe I could borrow Kevin's. Are your credit cards maxed out? Just making minimum payments or even behind on your bills? Call us now. Freedom Debt Relief's mission is to help you get rid of your credit card debt. We could reduce your debt up to 50% while you make just one low monthly payment. Now you have a choice. We offer the successful alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, or taking on new loans. I had over $25,000 in credit card debt. Then I called Freedom Debt Relief and got my debt cut in half. I was debt free in less than 24 months. I went through a divorce and ended up with $17,000 in credit card debt. Then I called Freedom Debt Relief. They were able to settle all seven of my credit card bills with one low monthly payment. This program has saved our clients over $100 million. Don't pay another credit card bill until you've talked to us. This is a unique program that will get you relief and on your way to being debt free. Make the most important call of your life today. Call Freedom Debt Relief now at 1-800-230-6659. That's 1-800-230-6659. So, what's going to happen to us? I mean, I consider you guys my friends, and you, you guys are my friends, right? You want the truth? Yes, I want the truth. No. Gee, thanks. Adam, I can't be friends with everybody. You don't know the pressure I'm under. I don't understand pressure. <laughs> F*** you. You. <laughs> you know why I'm here? Do you? I found a gun in my locker. Why did you have a gun in your locker? Parents are always on my case. You always play games all the time, so why can't you make them? I programmed this pawn game with the paddle it was supposed to bleed. <laughs> but blooped. <laughs> blooped. Killing yourself is not an option. Yeah, man, you know, we, we've all felt alone. But we're here for you. Yes! Kill myself? Well, I wasn't gonna kill myself. I actually had a detailed plan to kill everyone in the school. Let me show you. See, the bomb was gonna go off here, which would flush the students down this hallway to the underground spike pit I had dug, and that's filled with deadly ass. I put a couple of grenades in, and then I spend the rest of the time picking off students one by one. Now, of course, everyone would try to go to the doors, but I locked them ahead of time. It's kind of cute you guys would think I would kill myself, so I'll let you live and go ahead and write that review. Taito is a Japanese company started by a Russian man in Japan in 1953. Despite being a collaboration between a former and current enemy of America, they have made some games, both good and bad. I would like to share my opinions with you. The most famous game is Space Invaders, where enemies from space invade, and you must stop them. Think of Manifest Destiny. They are America, and you are an Indian, and in five minutes, you are dead. It's not that fun. Another game is Bubble Bobble. This game is fun. You are a dinosaur who blows bubbles and captures creatures in them. Then you pop the bubbles. I know that creatures appeared on Earth millions of years after the dinosaurs, but the game is really fun. The game has a sequel. It involves rainbows. The kids in the remedial classes might like it. Also, there's a game called Elevator Action. You shoot people in a building that want to shoot you. I don't know why, but it's pretty exciting for a level. Most of the other games are not as well known. 
New Zealand story is about a Kiwi bird saving his buddies from a walrus. It's not very realistic. Birds don't wear shoes. Ninja Kids is about some ninjas who are kids and fight the Satan. I don't like the fact that the ninjas don't wear black, but I like how the stuff around them breaks. It's pretty realistic. Many games in this collection look like other, better games. And there's one game called Super Kicks. I don't understand if this is fun or not. Also, the light gun games don't use the light gun. I mean, come on. That's like filling your trapper keeper up with college ruled paper and forgetting your mechanical pencil. While these games are accurate reproductions of the original arcade games, they're not very compelling. Then again, my parents still like to listen to music that doesn't sound like information society. Title Legends gets a three out of five. So, uh, why are you in here? Me? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I shoved the Genesis cartridge up uh, Larry Lester's ass and taped his buns together. <laughs> See, Larry's really hairy, and uh, when they pulled the cartridge out, most of his hair came with it, and uh, some skin, too. Oh, my God. And it also ripped a hole in his descending colon, entering the peritoneal cavity, where it got entangled in his small intestine. When they pulled it out, it, it tore his superior mesenteric artery. And the paramedics, they did all they could. They, they filled him full of fluids, but there wasn't much they could do. He spent the next five days in a chemically induced coma until an abscess formed around a retained piece of the cartridge, and it grew out a resistant strain of bacteria they usually only find in monkeys. And they were forced to do surgical decompression. They moved him to a nursing home four months ago, and the doctors say that He's fully aware of his surroundings, but he can't move or speak. And the only way he can interact with this environment is by blinking his eyes. And all of that is because of me and my dad. I mean, he just says, you gotta be the best. You gotta win, win, win. Such a dumbass. <laughs> Stay tuned because sex, drugs, and homework are being assigned. She's ready. Need a lift? Hey, buddy, I appreciate the ride, you know? No problem. Mind if I take a shortcut? Yeah, sure. I knew the Subaru Legacy was the smart choice. What I didn't expect was the fun. The Subaru Legacy. Feel the love. You know what 2.30 in the afternoon feels like, right? Sleepy? Groggy? Dying for a nap? What do you do? Run for the coffee? Grab a soda? But how long does that last before you're back for more? Try this instead. Take one five-hour energy, then see what the rest of your day feels like. Sure won't feel like 2.30 anymore. Or 3.30. Or 4.30. Five-hour energy. Hours of energy now, no 2.30 feeling later. If mom says you're great, then you must be great, right? Oh. You're watching The Breakfast Club episode, which is our number seven episode as voted by you, the fans. There are only six more to go before X Place 1000th episode at 6 p.m. And I bet one of them is in Homeland for the holidays. Because you don't like me. I didn't want anyone to know that I was secretly having someone else find someone for me. When you own your own business, there's no time to go out. So I went on eHarmony to let them find Mr. Right for me. Review all your matches for free. eHarmony.com Attention drivers statewide. If you are insured with Allstate, Geico, State Farm, or any other car insurer, you may be overpaying by hundreds of dollars. Find out how to get immediate savings through 21st Century Insurance. What would it take to get you to switch your car insurance? If we told you that you could save $474 a year, wouldn't you pick up the phone? Start dialing, because you could save that much. People who switched from GEICO saved around $481. From Allstate, $526. Your savings could be higher, like this driver who switched. 
or this one. And no other company gives you 21st century security advantage that includes roadside assistance at no additional cost. Immediate savings available through 21st century insurance. Call for a free rate quote today. Call 1-888-422-2441 for a free rate quote. You could save hundreds of dollars. That number again is 1-888-422-2441. Call now or visit 21st.com. Own a piece of G4. Download to own this show now. I am so glad you're letting me give you a makeover. Hey, look, it's Morgan's Review. Sonic Gems Review by Morgan Webb. Detention Hall. I was really excited to review Sonic Gems because a game about emeralds sounds like it would actually be interesting. But it turns out this is really about a blue hedgehog with an unhealthy obsession with plain gold rings. Really, if I was going to have to travel all over the world collecting rings, they'd at least have to have settings and actual gems in them if you expect me to run. Anyway, Sonic Gems is a collection of the best Sonic games of all time that weren't good enough to get into the other collection of the best Sonic games of all time. This explains why the only really good game here is Sonic CD. Some people consider Sonic CD to be the best Sonic game ever, but those people can be safely ignored. It is really good, though, and holds up surprisingly well for a 2D game. We're stuck with the U.S. music, but who wouldn't dig a catchy anthem like Sonic Boom? Sonic the Fighters is a watered-down Virtual Fighter clone that has never been released in America before. Turns out we weren't missing much. But it's weird enough to be interesting for a while. If you've ever wanted to beat up a Sonic character, here's your game. Sonic R is a racing game originally on the Saturn, which means about four people have played it before now. The gameplay is slippery and kind of difficult, but the real draw here is the music. I know, it's no Miami sound machine, but what is? The rest of the games are Game Gear titles that are nice to have as reminders of why we play Game Boys today. Special recognition should be given to Sonic Spinball, which may be the worst version of anything. Ever. In conclusion, Sonic CD is a lot of fun. A couple other games are good distractions, and the rest should probably be put in a video game vault of shame, stacked next to the unsold copies of Bubsy 3D. I give Sonic Gems Collection a 3. Out of five. She's ready. Mr. Vernon, we accept the fact that we had to devote an entire episode to retro games for whatever reason, but we think you're crazy. Seriously, no one needs to devote an episode to these games. That point aside, what we found out is each gamer inside of us is a brain 
an athlete, a kook, a princess, and a TV host. Sincerely, The Breakfast Club. Not another suicide pact. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Pretty dirty. I know, it's cool, isn't it? You're standing up because I don't want to sit in the chair. They keep videotapes here, too. Okay, well, um, there's only three hours left. Next up is the April Fool's episode, which has a joke that really doesn't play very well in reruns. Okay, so this is the episode where I fake quit the show to make my own show, Meet the Sass, and people seem to actually think that I have left. That's fun. Yeah, we get emails every single time. It's less funny now. But people, don't worry. Adam won't quit. This is all he has. I know, it's cool. Today on this shocking edition of X-Play, could the show ever get bigger than this? Star Wars, Yu-Gi-Oh! And a review of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. This one is for the ages. It's game time. Welcome those people who host this show, Kevin Pereira and Morgan Webb. Hello, everyone, and welcome to X-Play. On today's show, we have a review of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. The Star Wars game that finally lets fanboys kill Jar Jar. And more games for cheap bastards. Because discount gaming is nothing to be ashamed of. Especially when you work on a show this cheap. I mean, we got the set at Ikea. Yeah, it shows, it shows. Plus, we also have Yu-Gi-Oh! 7, because for some reason, uh, people out there actually care about Yu-Gi-Oh! I guess they just like cards and boys who look like girls. Mm, gross, yeah. gross. But, and this is the most important thing, we have a preview of Adam Sess new talk show. Yeah, if you were wondering why Adam isn't here, it's because he left X-Play mm. and me to launch a new late night show on G4. Actually, it's funny you should you should mention that because I'm, I'm launching a new program on G4 too. It's called Attack of the Show. That's great, Kevin. <laughs> it's on every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, Morgan. Good for you. It's That's, that's 4 p.m. Pacific okay. for you folks that live on that. Uh, Can we get back to the Sessler and his stupid world. new show? Sure, sure. It's just that the, my show is, is all about games and tech and hacks and, okay. and comics and there's Okay, yeah, so not only did the disembodied voice leave, but now Adam abandoned me too. Well, we've also got live bands, and then there's Kevin okay. Rose, where you're going to hack a soda and machine. And now I have guest hosts for the whole episode. But there's celebrity interviews? Is got, it me? What? Am I the reason he left, or is it because we have to preview another Star Wars but game? We, we also make fun of Tara Reid, which is something that everybody else does. On May 19th, 2005, the Star Wars saga comes to its conclusion. It's Georgie Pie's last chance to annoy us with kid-friendly marketing tie-ins. Which brings us to LEGO Star Wars. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that beyond Ewoks, beyond Jar Jar, this is the most blatantly pandering marketing tie-in of all time. And you know what? It's gonna rock. LEGO Star Wars runs you through a shortened version of the prequel trilogy, in classic hack-and-slash LEGO style, if there is such a thing you'll play all the major action scenes of the movies. There's Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan negotiating with the Trade Federation and battling Darth Maul. Mace Windu giving Jango Fett a radical blockectomy. And Yoda kicking some Sith booty. In between the platforming and droid slashing levels, you can try your hand at Lego pod racing or pilot a clone trooper ship through the Battle of Geonosis. There's some Episode 3 stuff too, but we don't want to spoil it for ya. The LEGO theme transcends mere marketing gimmick. The game has its own quirky beauty, and seeing the little LEGO folk meet their maker is endlessly amusing. Oh, look, his head popped off. And since everything is made of interchangeable parts, you can use the force to rearrange the local architecture to suit your needs. Best of all, Legos don't talk, so we're spared the awkward Anakin and Padme scenes. Not even blocks of plastic are stiff enough to match that acting. You know, I think more movies should have Lego tie-ins, like, say, 
the Princess Bride. My name is Lego Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Or how about the Godfather? Nice horsey. Nay. Where was I? The main storyline is short. You can blaze through the game in less time than it takes to watch the movies. But that's only half the fun. Easter eggs abound throughout the game. Who knew Kaminoans could boogie like that? And to collect every last scrap of Lego bling, you can go back to any level with any of the main characters. Then you can cash in your bling for even more characters. But admit it, every single Star Wars game would be better if you could team up Yoda and Darth Maul. And there is something even better than that. In co-op play, you can ignore the baddies and just knock the blocks off each other. Which means that Lego Star Wars is the first game where you can finally kill Jar Jar. You said people gonna f***ing die. And die. And die. And die. Thanks. I needed that. With all this tiny block-filled goodness, I think we can safely say that LEGO Star Wars will be the best LEGO game ever when it's released this spring. At least until they come out with LEGO Deliverance. Squeal like a LEGO pig. Yeah, we went there. Yeah, at least you didn't do a LEGO version of Schindler's List. <laughs> we thought about it. Oh. You know, it's funny that you just looked at a LEGO version of Attack of the Clones because, uh, I don't know if I told you the title of my new daily live show is Attack of the Show. Attack of the Show, huh? <laughs> Online fans giving you a lot of crap about that one, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fans can be cruel. They usually spell the word cruel with two O's. Sharp as pillows, I think, is yes. the, the term. I bet they'll only appreciate Fessler now that he's gone. Yeah. Speaking of which, we have an exclusive look at Adam's new show later in the program. Mm -hmm. And speaking of new programs, mine is on live every day at 7 p.m. Eastern. So you say. Which is 4 p.m. Pacific. Attack of the show. We're uh, attacking people. Here's one of Fessler's last reviews for X-Play. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! It reruns at 12 Eastern, 9 mm, Pacific. Mm -hmm. Just, just saying. What is it about the night that weakens the bonds of rational thought? There's one secret that I have held for some time now. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Like the butterfly dagger, Elma in a gear free deck, Konami comes back with Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 Trials of Glory World Championship Tournament 2005 or YGO7 TGWCT. 05. Seven Trials gives you more of what you want. Advanced ruling with more than a thousand different cards from the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon to the Invasion of Chaos sets. 24 duelists and 20 spaces for customizable decks. This is the most hardcore dueling action to date. Massive Wootness. Gone are any cards requiring spell counters like Breaker, a staple in all my decks. No scapegoats, no Berserk Gorilla, no Lava Golem Burn. I guess the game can be forgiven for bringing the most broken Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End, to the field. The game begins by letting you choose from three starter decks, Joey, Kaiba, or Yugi. I chose the non-evolution Kaiba starter deck, Sans Lord of D. The question attacks you more times than the BLS with a field full of sheep tokens. Only the most elite could... No, not now. You pick opponents by walking straight up to them. The dog proved a disappointing duelist with an equip deck. I side deck a heavy storm that owns noob equip decks. Put it on the table, Yugi, and we'll see who has the better deck. Instead of winning card packs after beating duelists, you win dueling points. Like second place on a Saturday match, you trade points for new packs from Solomon Moto Shop. Uh, no. The password system now requires you to spend points to input cards. I was planning on designing one deck after my Chaos Warrior hybrid that's taken me top eight in over five local tourneys. Now it takes three to five duels just to unlock one card. Don't make me rageki you. I hand out slops to the ban list that takes away two random cards a week. If I wanted my cards taken away, I would just steal money from my mom's purse again. Slops of the lame graphics. Slops of the tired music. Slops to this guy. I got something you can eat. My blue eyes white dragon when I school you back to kindergarten. I give this a two out of five. Stop it already. Oh, Fessler's bitter nasal voice. I almost miss it. You know, he, uh, he was a good man, Morgan. 
Good man. Yeah. You know, it is ironic that in his last review for the show, he admitted to being that which he hated most, a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Life's funny like that. It is, it is. Mm -hmm. So, um, you're gonna watch my new show, right? What? It's Attack of the Show, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific. Stop attacking yeah. me with your show, Pereira. I'm just saying, like, we got, we got DB Tuesdays, we got First Fifties, we got some dark Security. tits. Security! We have live bands, I think we got some midgets on unicycles, and Help. leotards with flamethrowers. I got a cane from eBay. Anybody? You can buy it now, you can put in a bid, but we're gonna tell you all about it. Coming up, more games for cheap bastards, because we spend all our money on gas. Entertain your mouth with the unique melon mango experience of Tic Tac. I'm Anto Williams. Would an extra thousand dollars come in handy right now? Then I'd like to talk to you about Money Mutual. It's your trusted source to over 60 lenders to get you up to a thousand dollars fast. That big medical bill? Paid. The car? Fixed. Breathing room till payday? Done. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month. No credit score required. Need cash tomorrow? Go to MoneyMutual.com today. Do you need some help? M&M's, have them at your Super Bowl party. Hey, look, we're on the guest list. Ah, uh, that's the menu. As technology advances, the world is booming with new challenges, but also with new opportunities. The field of criminal justice has benefited from many advances in technology, and new jobs are emerging. Introducing the ITT Technical Institute School of Criminal Justice. At ITT Tech, you can now earn a degree in criminal justice. We teach the fundamentals of the criminal justice system and can help you develop the skills to respond to and prevent crime. The world of opportunities is yours to explore. At ITT Tech, we know that while technology presents new and exciting possibilities every day, it's the people behind it who matter most. ITT Technical Institute School of Criminal Justice, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. I do not care about this episode because Adam's name is in the title and mine isn't. I have already put a call into my agent and I have been assured that the situation will be remedied promptly. All references to this episode under its current title will be removed from G4's official tape library, and an intern will be sacrificially fired to appease me. No one knows that we're up here. See the movie critics are calling terrifying, intense, and harrowing. Help! We're up here all week. We're gonna die. Oh my god! Oh my god! How would you survive? Also, rated R opens Friday. Something amazing is happening at Verizon Wireless that will change the way America talks. Something big, something bold, something new. Nice. Introducing nationwide unlimited talk from Verizon Wireless. Now $30 less than ever before on America's largest and most reliable wireless network. Now buy one Samsung Intensity and get one free. Verizon. Papa's in the house. It's first and ten at Papa John's. And as an official sponsor of Super Bowl 44, you get all large pizzas for just $10. Your choice of toppings, your choice of pizzas, $10. Order now at PapaJohns.com. They're back, your international sexy ladies. An all-new season of exotic ladies from all over the world. Getting up to the craziest and sexiest things you can imagine. Joining your favorites from season one will be a horde of hotties from new countries. <laughs> season two of the International Sexy Lady Show premieres March 1st, only on G4. For the first time ever on G4, two girls with long hair on screen at the same time, Tina Wood and Morgan Webb.
That's our intro. Hey guys, welcome back to X-Play. In case you're just tuning in and wondering where Adam is, he left X-Play to host a late night talk show for G4. That's right, and later we have a preview of his new hard-hitting program, but right now, Morgan is trying out new co-hosts, and I just want to say that I am so excited to be here on X-Play. This is, wow. That's, that's great, Tina. You're wearing my shirt. Hey, let's take a call. Hey, how you doing, caller? We don't have any live callers on this show. We fear them. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that. No, it's totally okay. So, like, what do you do? Oh, we review stuff. Adam staples himself in the crotch, or at least he used to before he totally left me. Hey, let's take a call. How you doing, caller? Tina, we don't take live calls on the show. Sorry, you know, I'm just used to, like, my own show. You know how it is. You were on it a couple months ago, remember? Yeah, I remember. You dropped a refrigerator on me. Ooh, I forgot about... Hey, caller, go ahead with your question. We Shoot. don't have any callers. My bad. You know, I'm just used to doing, like, the witty banter with my co-host, Laura Foy, and, you know, talking to people that I can never see. Ghosts? No, callers, silly. Oh. Hey, you there, caller? There aren't any callers. <laughs> hey, caller, you there? I can, I can almost hear you. Okay, okay. Can you hear me? Hi, Tina. Hey, caller! Can you just intro the next segment? Yeah, sure. Here's the Cheap Games from Cheap Bastards presented by EB Games. Not quite a cheap game. Greetings and salutations, noble owner of excessive thrift. Do you consider your wallet a holy tomb where dead presidents lie in undisturbed sanctity? Fear not, Johnny. X-Play presents Games for Cheap Bastards. Sponsored by EB Games. Hey guys, you know ladies love cheapskates. Not so much. Let's open up with a double title wallop that will go gentle on your wallet. Your eyes orbited your brain when you first laid eyes on beautiful Joe's beat-em-up exploits. Joe's lost in the movie, searching for his kidnapped gal pal hidden within the expansive labyrinth of the game. On his way to reuniting makeup sex, he'll put the men's Olympic gymnastics and boxing teams out of work through a visually assaulting array of acrobatic ballistica. The game's trademark VFX mode allows Joe to slow time, combine attacks, and to generally use the opposition as a pugilistic dance floor, beating out his own wee river dance of doom. Beautiful Joe 2 continues the candy-coated carnage, only this time, the girl stays in the picture. She's got her own special sauce, of course, and her and Joe cook well together. Brace yourself. Each Jose is now under 20 bucks for the PS2, and it would be a crime to pass these legendary titles up. People waited an eternity for Warren Spector's follow-up to Citizen Denton's downward deliverance known as Deus Ex. Deus Ex The Invisible War craps you out into yet another dystopically doomed tomorrow. You'll choose sides, waste irradiated wildlife, sabotage and kill the clergy. Your hybridized mutinoid will also be resplendent in the extrasensory bling of tomorrow. There's also an element that lets you have fun with physics. There's not much you can't pick up, and hey, who doesn't love tossing crap around? All this for the spectre-saddening PC price tag of $9.99. Zelda never gets old. We're tired. Hell, she doesn't even get her period. She's a video game character, silly. Rise and regard, adventure fan. One of the most beautifully animated games of all time is finally showing up at a price we can all afford to frame. Let us cut this title into little bits and spread it against the pixeled sky so that all may be in love with gaming. Okay, Shakespeare may not have written it, but an artist must have imagined the legend of Zelda The Wind Waker made all the more breathtaking by the diminutive ducketry of 1999. A more welcome assault to the senses has never been more cheaply gained. So pry open thine wallet, short change. Your games have arrived. I'm Adam 2.0, a younger, hipper version of Adam Sessler. You know, you really do look like him. Thanks. I was clothed in his image with a few modest improvements. I have a USB port. Do you want to know where it is? Ew. What? You can stick a dongle in Ew. it. Ew. See? That's exactly how you would have responded if the original Adam had said that. Damn, you're right. And I can introduce segments just like the first Adam Sessler. Here's a review of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Oh, hello. I'm Patrick Stewart. 
You may know me from Star Trek The Next Generation and X-Men 2, X-Men United. Excuse the appearance, I'm here filming another damn classic. But it's not about me, Patrick Stewart. I'm here to talk about an exciting, fascinating video game for 2005. But it's not on the Xbox. Oh no. This is Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Fully engage. Sam Fisher is a man on a mission. Many missions. And this latest operation takes him to a place he'd never thought he'd visit. The Engage. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory makes its long-awaited and not really anticipated debut on the Engage. Dozens of people across the world have never been happier. Surprisingly, it's not all completely bad. Well, mostly, but not completely. Engage! Everything we've known about Mr. Fisher, Big Sam from his friends, will also be known on this new journey. Sammy will do that sneaky, stealthy thing he does oh so well. We've seen it before, but it's never been so engaging as it is right now. Get it? Engaging? Engaging? I know, that was a bad one. Speaking of bad segues, the bad guys in this game aren't really bad. More like they just don't care. Someone there? They don't even notice Sammy, unless Sammy really does something stupid. Sure, there's multiplayer abilities here, and sure, there's deathmatch modes, and sure, it's technically decent, and it's Splinter Cell, so what else can we say? Hey! You. If you've got an end gauge, why not take a chance and pick up Splinter Cell Chaos Theory? If you don't have an end gauge, well, the sun will still shine tomorrow. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory for the end gauge gets three Sam Fishers out of five. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that animated comedy romp. I'm Patrick Stewart. Take care. Oh, and make it so. Good night, everybody. Well, that was like Patrick Stewart 2.0 with a rubber head. Not every clone can be as perfect as Adam 2.0. 2.0? Out of five. Next host. Tick, tick. Tick, tick. Coming up, a sneak preview of Adam Sessler's exciting new show. My f has more life than the PSP battery. Ever feel you might be missing hmm. something? Like, oh, say, hundreds of dollars in tax savings? Thank goodness there's TurboTax Federal Free Edition. The easy online way to do your simple federal taxes and get the maximum refund guaranteed. Just answer easy to understand questions. TurboTax quickly learns about your unique situation and guides you step by step, then puts the numbers on all the right forms, does the math, and helps get you the maximum refund you deserve. No doubt about it, TurboTax Pre Edition is the fast, easy, free way to get your biggest refund possible. With TurboTax Pre Edition, you also get free online help and free audit support tools. Doing your taxes has never been easier. And best of all, with TurboTax Free Edition, you don't pay a penny because it's free to prepare, free to print, and free to e-file your federal tax return. And when you e-file, you can get your refund fast in as little as eight days. So why not give it a try? Millions of others have already used TurboTax products. Just listen. I thought the Free Edition was fantastic. I wasn't expecting that, so when I saw that it was free... Bonus. <laughs> TurboTax holds your hand and guides you through every step of the way. If I had a question, TurboTax beat me to it. It was really simple. I got a lot of cash. <laughs> and that's because of TurboTax. I would never go back to a tax store and pay that kind of money again. No wonder TurboTax is America's number one brand of tax preparation software. The Wall Street Journal found TurboTax easier to navigate and understand. In their tests, TurboTax came out on top. USA Today said, in our annual test drive of tax software, TurboTax was again the winner. Isn't it time you use TurboTax? TurboTax is the easy way to do your taxes and get the biggest refund you deserve. Visit GetTurboTaxFree.com, where it's free to prepare, free to print, and free to e-file your federal tax return. That's GetTurboTaxFree.com. Do it now and get your refund fast in as little as eight days. What? I said no more Polish women. Oh, hey, meet the cess is something that I happen to dream of. I know that's scary, but you know, that's my subconscious. Hey, I also dreamt up episode number five, which is coming up. It might be scary, too, so do not go anywhere.
got to go. The ridiculously long-lasting gum. New Stride Uber Bubble. They say winning isn't everything, but it sure feels good, doesn't it? Like the feeling you get at rent center where credit is never needed. Get an Ashley seven-piece living room group. Your choice, $29.99 a week. rent center where your satisfaction is always guaranteed. I'm Anto Williams. Would an extra $1,000 come in handy right now? Then I'd like to talk to you about Money Mutual. It's your trusted source to over 60 lenders to get you up to $1,000 fast. That big medical bill? Paid. The car? Fixed. Breathing room till payday? Done. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month. No credit score required. Need cash tomorrow? Go to MoneyMutual.com today. Stop your auto repair bills now. If you own a car, any make, any model, a service policy from StopRepairBills.com can save you thousands of dollars. Just call now or go to StopRepairBills.com. When you own a car, SUV, or truck, sooner or later it will need repair. And that can cost you thousands of dollars right out of your pocket. Just one transmission job could cost over three grand. A new engine could cost over four grand. But you won't have to pay a cent. Call now or visit StopRepairBills.com and put that money back in your pocket. This isn't a dealer's warranty. It's much better and costs less because you only pay for the coverage you need. You even choose the repair shop. Then we get them paid directly, so you don't wait to be reimbursed. The sooner you call, the sooner you're covered. Call 1-800-530-4920. A free five-minute call can save you thousands in auto repair. Call 1-800-530-4920 and stop paying repair bills now. returns to its roots with an epic battle between good and evil. Don't miss an all-new episode tomorrow at 11 on G4, your cable home for heroes. Once again, your explosive hosts, Morgan Webb and Johnny Extreme. Yeah! Off the top rope and into your ass! It's X-Play Extreme! That was right in my ear. That's so you can hear me to the max! Welcome back to X-Play. We still have guest hosts. To the extreme! Yeah, they get it. Are you ready for some TV so hot it's gonna feel like you took a tray full of cookies and baked them up in your ass? Ew. Then get ready for Adam Sessler's new show. It's gonna punch your balls off. Extreme! Yeah! Now you. Tired of all the fun and entertainment in your gaming television? Then we've got the hardcore program that strips the fun off of the games and focuses on what's really important. Adam Sessler's opinion. This is Meet the Sess. The fun stops here. It's insightful. My has more life than the PSP battery. Nintendo is a Japanese company. Funny how a company named Rare hasn't put out a good game in five years. It's unbiased. I hate all of these games. He's not afraid of asking the tough questions. So you like Xenosaga? Yes. What the f is your problem? He doesn't pull punches. <coughs> he doesn't hold back. We're going to raise money to fund an army and hunt down those steely-eyed insurgents that are green-lighting the Mega Man games. Do you want to know how to fix Social Security? You send robot jackals from the future to consume the geriatrics of the present. Trust us, he doesn't play happy grab ass with his guests. <laughs> Just because Grand Theft Auto San Andreas sold six million copies in no way proves that gaming has gone mainstream. You know, if I ever said something that stupid, I would shave my ass and shoot myself. The critics are unanimous. It's like the groundless sophomoric conjecture and proclamations presented by delusional posters on gaming message boards have come to life. Thank God no one's going to watch this crap, because this guy's an asshole. Adam Sessler. Do you like <laughs> RPGs now? <laughs> He's heard you call him gay, retarded, uneducated, infantile, humorless, bald, and illiberal. Did I hurt your feelings? But he's never heard you say, shut up. Meet the sass. If I cared about your opinion, you'd have a television show. The fun stops here. That's right, you ball sniffers. Meet the sass is going to hit the airwaves this spring, so watch out for it. Now get ready to drop your socks and grab them. Oh. 
After playing Halo 2, this is my solution to everything. I'm dying! To the extreme! Adam, I miss you. To the extreme! You are watching the top 10 X-Play episodes of all time as voted on by you, the viewers. Now up next is number five, which is Star Wars Celebration 3. Which I believe people voted for because it had Star Wars in the title. Yes. You Pavlovian freaks. Well, believe it or not, the big fight scene at the end was actually not filmed at LucasArts, but it was filmed in the G4 loading dock. Can you believe that? Now, the rest of the show was filmed on location in Indianapolis at the convention itself. That was back in the time when we could afford plane tickets. Yeah. Now we use our imagination. Well, I am not imagining going back to Indianapolis. I'll tell you that much. I'm in Cleveland. <laughs> Adam, wake up. When? Wake up. When? I'll meet you at the elevator. <laughs> Star Wars celebration. Yes, the Star Wars celebration is where people who like Star Wars get together and they celebrate. They primarily celebrate by buying a lot of stuff from other people and dressing up in outlandish costumes. Like, what are you supposed to be? I'm, I'm Lando Calrissian. I thought you were supposed to be Liberace. No, 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 it's Lando. You know, his, his entrepreneurial spirit, it's always been an inspiration to me. I, I would say he's like a brother. Huh. Well, since it was the third and final prequel, this is the third and final Star Wars celebration. So if you're the really big Star Wars fan, how are you going to cope with the loss? Whiskey. It's one way. Star Wars Celebration is where anything and everything Star Wars merges into the Voltron of Jedi nerdgasms. If it's part of a galaxy far, far away, you'll find it here, either in miniature or full size. So we're here with sand people. Why? Why not? I think it's very clear that the dark side is all about family. Who made the costumes? Uh, it was actually a, a little help from both. It finally came together at last minute. You're not so much Boba Fett as, like, Boba Friend? It's kind of a, uh, a character from a fan fiction. Ah, okay. Fan fiction cosplayers. Can't live with them. Can't stuff them in a sack. And so what are you going to do next year when there's no more Star Wars celebration? Um, well, I mean, we actually we do a lot of community services and fundraisers and stuff, so there's always things to do. Are you enjoying yourself? Maybe. Maybe. You're like me. What would be like your celebratory behavior to sort of honor the event? <laughs> Were you like in the audience on Arsenio at one point? So what do you think is like the next thing that people can start celebrating? Like Shrek celebration? I mean, what's like the next franchise you guys might get all excited about? All of us. Any, any ideas? I think there will still be a Star Wars celebration, even if there's not another movie. There's always right. more stuff to buy, right? Always. <laughs> oh, yes. The curtain may be falling on the Star Wars saga, but no force on Earth or in space can stop the merchandising. We're here with Jordan, who is one of the people that works at Hollywood Heroes Collectibles, and you sell a lot of Star Wars stuff. We do vintage toys, modern toys, movie props, and original artwork. Wow. Uh, what, what is the most expensive action figure or, like, toy from, like, the old original era? Well, right now I'm working on putting together a set of the original 12 figures, and that's going to go for about $16,000. Jesus Christ. If the gigantic custom Rancor or a vintage Death Star playset are too rich for your blood, there's plenty of small, affordable stuff for the saner fans. This is a very special Darth Vader. It was made specifically for Star Wars Celebration 3. James Earl Jones recorded dialogue specifically for this Darth Vader. This is huge, and you know the best part is the button is on the outside of the box, so you never actually have to open it to play with it. See, it works. See, it works. See, see, I, I do look, look like him. Everyone else is just a bunch of idiots, clearly. Gene, shall I go home? Hey! You 
guys both draw these incredible cross sections of Star Wars speeders and ships and that kind of thing, but you guys somehow make them look functional. How much technology did you have to create to make these work? Uh, quite a lot. We uh, Everything that you see in the movie, we, we have to paint absolutely exactly, represent it perfectly with all the, even the scratches and the paint are in the right places. But anything you don't see, we get to make up. So all our hyperdrives and, and stuff are, are all created by us. And how much is actually based in real technology that exists today? Oh, not a lot. <laughs> when we first started, it was, it was we decided to really create technology that we needed to, um, to actually work. So we needed acceleration compensators for extremely fast aircraft, otherwise the pilot would just turn into mush. And hey, for the price of those original figures, you could buy 800 copies of this book. $16,000. $16,000. You can buy the toys, you can buy a car. Make your choice. Some serve their community, some have their own ideas about Stormtrooper armor design. But most Star Wars fans are coping with the end of an era the same way millions of Americans cope with hardship. Retail therapy. Anyone want to buy a Lego Wookiee? What is a Wookiee? <laughs> That's a Wookiee. This book is totally unnecessary. Mm, I want one. Hey, it's cool and all, but it's no quarter scale. Jar Jar Binks, take him into bed with you and... So there's a lot more Star Wars as me coming up on the show. In fact, this whole show is Star Wars, as you may have guessed. Yes, we have a review of a game based on Episode 3. And we're also looking at the new Galaxy's Expansion Pack, Rage of the Wookiees. And we're taking a look back at all the Star Wars games throughout all of history. So back to the Plessy Stone era. Yes, so stay tuned. Coming up, beware of wowsing a Wookiee's wrath. Of wowsing, of, of making a Wookiee. Do you need some help? M&M's, have them at your Super Bowl party. Hey, look, we're on the guest list. Ah, that's the menu. My name is Wilfredo Siliazar. Um, I'm a graduate from ITT Tech. Um, my name is Manuel Silazar. I also went to ITT Tech. We were the first two to actually uh, have a, a degree out of our entire family. I never thought my younger brother would have made it this far. It's one of the biggest accomplishments of my life to graduate from school. Everything that he uh, put himself to do, he achieves it. After I saw that he was uh, doing great in his job, uh, making good money. Uh, I saw the need that he needed in education. I was going to some tough uh, Times. Yeah, I saw the type of work he was doing. He wasn't happy. I moved him in to my house, and uh, within a few weeks, he was already started in, in his path uh, to his new career. He started with nothing, and now he has everything. I'm proud of you. You know, we'll both take care of my dad. Thank you. You're welcome. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052. I see you have the Verizon network. Yeah. You know, if you had AT&T, you'd have the nation's fastest 3G network. And you'd be able to download songs faster, download videos faster. And you could talk and surf the web at the same time. You got a little map in your soup. When you compare, there's no comparison. AT&T, a better 3G experience. Buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. Entertain your mouth with the unique melon mango experience of Tic Tac. Sometimes I like to come here when I need to be alone and cry. Or take a sh Can you go now? Watch the Star Wars episode. Go. There's no guarantee that your glasses will survive the excitement of the rodeo or the ultimate intergalactic fight. 
or even a relay race. There's also no guarantee that you won't break your glasses while trying. That's why the Walmart Vision Center offers glasses starting at $38 with a free 12-month guarantee. If they break or get damaged, they will replace them for free, no questions asked. So you know you're covered no matter what. Save money. Live better. Walmart. Better and Grease Better Pizza is not a slogan. It is a way of life. Papa's in the house. It's first and ten at Papa John's. And as an official sponsor of Super Bowl 44, for the first time ever, you get all large pizzas for just $10. Your choice of toppings, your choice of pizzas, $10. Even specialty pizzas like the Works, the Meats, and the Six Cheese, just $10. It's first and ten. Order now at PapaJohns.com. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. What's that? You'll be my orgasmatron? There's only one place you can get your fix. Adding lots of knowledge to your bag of tricks. Oh, culture movies, music, so much to know. And all of this product's on attack of the show. Wipe no, no, that no, smoky no, haze no. away from the TV and come get some. Every sled from big to small, they got them. Oh my goodness, it's Olivia's bottom. Animal studs, gadgets, and balloon humping. Oh no, look out, this chocolate pie jumping. Jumping, 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 jumping. That is more fun than you know. On the weeknights to seven, you know you want more. Attack of the show, it's only on G4. G4. Welcome back to X Play at Star Wars Celebration 3 in Indianapolis. I'm celebrating right now. Woohoo. Okay, it's Wookiee time because we're standing next to a Wookiee. And you may have noticed that Wookiees are being put into everything Star Wars because they're trying to salvage the credibility because a Wookiee is credible. Everybody loves Wookiees. It's true. So now we have an expansion pack for Star Wars Galaxies. It's called Rage of the Wookiees, and it's all about our furry friends here. Yeah, do you, do you think it's the Ferragamo purse? Just watch. Star Wars fans, are you still waiting in line? Have you taken off your official IG-88 headgear and gotten back to the normal world? Have you witnessed the ending to one of the greatest movie serials since Jim and Michelle got married in American Wedding? Have you? Well, let the Star Wars merchandising machine roll on with a look, just a look, just a quick little peek at an expansion pack for Star Wars Galaxies. But this pack is unlike any other. This one has cookies. It's time for the Wookiees to have their day. This is Rage of the Wookiees. Or is it Rave? Rage of the Wookiees brings the action to the Wookiee planet of Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk is, of course, where Life Day is celebrated. Those of you with the legal bootlegs of the Star Wars Holiday Special know what I'm talking about. Mr. Lucas has tried to ignore the Star Wars Holiday Special for many years. Too bad he doesn't feel the same way about episode two. Oh! Anyway, it's on Kashyyyk where the Wookiees really come to shine. And man, oh man, do they know how to party. My Wookiee likes to party all the time. Party all the time, party all the time. Your journey will take you throughout the entire planet. You'll be able to enjoy the lush green, the treetop housing facilities, everything a Wookiee needs to get by in this wild and crazy world we all live in. Of course, as with most games of this note, be prepared for a lot of walking. I mean, a lot of walking. Here I go again on my own, going down the only road I've ever known. Like a Wookiee, I was born to walk alone. Well, for those of you that don't like running, there will be some kooky, crazy creatures for you to play around with. Like these things, or those things, or whatever that is. Hmm, look at all those mushrooms. What a long, strange trip this is turning out to be. Hey, there's a lady. Look at that guy walk up to her, then quickly walk away just like a real Star Wars fan. Just kidding, fans. I know where my bread is buttered. Apparently, there will be more than 100 missions in Rage of the Wookiees that will take you everywhere you need to be. If you're into Wookiees, that is. On top of that, a hot rumor, which we won't confirm, deny, or elaborate on, is that you may be able to pilot Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. Yippee! We won't give away anything else so as not to spoil the movie for those three guys that haven't gotten tickets yet. Just be aware that there are some reveals in this game, and it may have to do with cybernetic lens. That's it, no more. Rage of the Wookiees is coming soon. So what? Let's dance! Behind us is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now it comes out in the fall, this is actually the first time we're seeing it, and it really gives fans what they want to do, is run around and shoot things in the Star Wars universe. But it's taken a lot of games for us to finally get to this point, so let's look back on the long road here.
Those simple words started a chapter-based epic that would indelibly influence the way we imagine science fiction. Star Wars gave us an eye-altering armada of spiritualized sources of power and technological wonder that we collectively couldn't wait to take for a spin. 1983 was the year the Star Wars brand left the theater and found its way into the realm of gaming. Star Wars The Arcade Game and Jedi Arena were revolutionary in terms of licensing a franchise outside of a film. More importantly, you got to pilot the X-Wing through waves of TIE Fighters and to then plug the guts of the Death Star with a ballistic dose of doom. Super Star Wars, for its time, was an extremely challenging title. A spring-heeled Skywalker maneuvering through the perils of an angry desert. TIE Fighter enhanced the galactic flight sim experience. It was a golden age for LucasArts in terms of PC game titles. And at the time, this was one of their best. Dark Forces increased both the scope of combat and the size of the galactic realms. It was the title's first take on the FPS, and the story stretched beyond the film's storyline. Rebel Assault 2 combined elements of the film with the game experience with real actors and full motion video. It was the first time that the game franchise was allowed to use costumes and props from the film. Shadows of the Empire brought Star Wars gaming to a new dynamic level on the N64. Facing down the Imperial Walkers on the Arctic battlefield and eventually binding them up for the Great Smackdown was a nice gift from LucasArts. Sadly, All the Glisters is not gold, game fan. Witness the lower depths of the RTS with Star Wars Force Commander, generally regarded as the weakest of all Star Wars games. Success comes happiness in Lucasville. Rogue Squadron 1 and 2 brought Star Wars gaming back to form with total immersion shared between full motion video and gameplay. Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 is almost the collective knowledge of all the wisdom of Star Wars gaming and storytelling. Your destiny is your own to determine, and your power's development is seemingly limitless. The story is engrossing and was truly a seminal title within RPGs. Star Wars Galaxies brought the heroes into the MMORPG universe with questionable results. Yeah, like that. Little help? Anyone seen a bus? Star Wars shows no sense of fatigue, especially with some of its more recent titles, The Galaxy's The Limit. There's a lot of good games in there. And a Buffalo's ass worth of crappy ones. You thought we were going to forget about Force Commander. Uh-uh. We don't talk about it because we're scared you're going to make another one, LucasArts. We are excited about a new game, Empire at War. It's a strategy game by the people who used to make Command and Conquer, so it sounds cool. You know, that is like the largest choking hazard I have ever seen. It's made... <coughs> See, it's... <coughs> I'm just... <coughs> Pat my back. <coughs> Is the episode three game rough like sand or smooth like Padme's? <clears throat> Stay tuned. Got the gun. The ridiculously long-lasting gun. New Stride Uber Bubble. Hey, those gecko ringtones you put on our website are wonderful. People love them. Yeah, thank you, sir. It turned out nice. Got another one for you. At Geico.com, it's easy to get a free rate quote, manage your policy, make payments, or even file a claim. Now that's a ringtone. Uh, yeah, I'm just interesting. Certainly not the worst ringtone I've ever heard. ding 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 Yeah, that might be the worst. Ding ding Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I'm Antoine Williams. Would an extra thousand dollars come in handy right now? Then I'd like to talk to you about Money Mutual. It's your trusted source to over 60 lenders to get you up to $1,000 fast. That big medical bill? Paid. The car? Fixed. Breathing room till payday? Done. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month. No credit score required. Need cash tomorrow? Go to MoneyMutual.com today. Something amazing is happening at Verizon Wireless that will change the way America talks. Something big. Something bold. Something new. 
Airways. Introducing nationwide unlimited talk from Verizon Wireless. Now $30 less than ever before on America's largest and most reliable wireless network. Now buy one Samsung Intensity and get one free. Verizon. Where am I? Welcome, gladiators. It's the epic he deserves. They think you're the savior of this planet. <laughs> Will he save their world or destroy it? <laughs> planet Hall, on it February 2nd. <laughs> Most of this episode was shot in Indianapolis, like we mentioned, and I did think I mentioned that I'm never going back there. Um, but if I do, I'm not going to stay in a hotel that is in the middle of the largest parking lot in America. Um, if I wanted food, I would have had to rent a car. G4 did not rent me a car, though, so I had to lick the mold out of the shower for sustenance. <sighs> On the plus side, all I saw for the rest of the day were rainbows. Hmm. Now, next up is a really, really big episode. It's our biggest episode ever, but you're going to have to wait to find out what it is. Hmm. Once we're clear for takeoff, our flight time to Vancouver will be 2 hours and 15 minutes. This winter, the world's greatest athletes are coming to Canada, along with two of gaming's greatest superstars. Use your Wii Balance Board or play with up to four friends in over 25 events. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Available now. Ready to be for everyone. Looks like we're going to be a little delayed taking off today. like to settle? Now that any pizza at Pizza Hut is just $10, you don't have to. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any toppings is just $10. All your favorite pizzas, any way you want them, just $10. A large meat lover's pizza, $10. A large pan supreme, $10. Any toppings you want, just $10 too. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any toppings. So don't miss out. Get any Pizza Hut pizza today for just $10. Only at your Pizza Hut. Stop your auto repair bills now. Next time your car needs repair, don't pay the bill. Any make, any model. A service policy from StopRepairBills.com can save you thousands of dollars. New alternator, $1,200. A new transmission, $3,000. New engine, $4,000. That's thousands of dollars out of your pocket. But with StopRepairBills.com, you won't pay a cent for covered items. Stop Repair Bills isn't a warranty. It's better because you choose the level of coverage and you choose the repair shop. And they're paid directly, no matter how big the job. New AC, $2,000. New engine computer, $1,800. New engine, $4,000. Now the choice is yours. Pay your own repair bills or let StopRepairBills.com get them paid for you. Call 1-800-273-8216. A free five-minute call can save you thousands in auto repair. Call or log on and stop paying repair bills now. Uh. Own a piece of G4. Download to own this show now. in Indianapolis for Star Wars Celebration 3. This has been a very... Hi. Hi. What are you doing, man? Oh, Dookie, you're that evil fanboy. Two years ago, you gave Jedi Outcast two out of five. This isn't over. We are not the hosts you're looking for. We are not the hosts. Okay, Maybe we said run. wrong last time. <laughs> hey, look, Morgan, so go into a conveniently placed loading dock. I had to save up for the hand. Ew. Come on, Adam. It's two against one. Knock it off, Sessler. And Melinda! Oh! Ah! <laughs> nice landing. Ratty, why are you here? Like I was gonna miss this. I'm just sorry I don't got no popcorn. Oh, wait, I do. Damn. 
Isn't this a lot of trouble to go through for Jedi Outcast? You cut off my hand. Oh yeah, well, there's that. And you lowball Star Wars games all the time. Well, we were supposed to watch Revenge of the Sith right now, but then you come in with all the evil and the fire and the killing. Can we still watch it? Yeah, but you gotta let me up first. <sighs> Here's our review of Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Smile. Hello. Another prequel, another game tie-in. Revenge of the Sith sticks close to the storyline of the film, but video game lightsaber combat is notorious for, well, sucking. Can a hack and slash Jedi game deliver where so many others have failed? Don't worry, Master. I'm not worried. The game follows Obi-Wan and Anakin's past through the events of Revenge of the Sith. All the key hand-to-hand -hand battles of the film are in the game, along with a few extra. Fancy armor's no match for skill. At the end of each level, you're rated on your performance and awarded experience accordingly. You're bigger than me. Try harder. Which you use to upgrade your Jedi to higher planes of enlightened ass-kicking. The combat is surprisingly fluid. With a little practice, you can hack your way through the droid legions with style and flair. These droids are asking for it. A full battery of force powers rounds out your arsenal, allowing you to toss items at bows or simply fry them with the dark side. One of the coolest things about Revenge of the Sith is that the one-on-one -on -one duels play differently than the regular slash em up levels. Fighting Dooku or other saber wielders is more like an actual fighting game. This is for Obi-Wan. With parries, shunts, and a very different feel from the rest of the action. The dueling is robust enough, that the multiplayer versus mode is one of the most replayable modes in the game. You're an embarrassment to the order. That's about the only thing you'll play more than once, though. Revenge of the Sith is painfully short. The single player campaign clocks in at a mere six hours. Most of that time is spent fighting off screen droids you can kinda sorta see. <laughs> killing enough enemies to make the 4,000 ray shields in the game dissipate so you can move to the next ray shielded room full of enemies. There's very little creativity in the level. This is basic hack and slash stuff all the way. If the combat system forced you to stick to intelligent fighting and defense, it would at least be challenging. But instead, you're free to button mash until you win. And you probably will. Wait a minute. How did this happen? We're smarter than this. Apparently not. The presentation is strangely uneven. It's great to see film footage, but why is the video quality so bad? It's great to hear the actors from the Clone Wars reprise their roles here, but why do they all sound so bored? This might be a problem. Can everyone just shut up and fight, please? We shouldn't have trusted you. For every step forward revenge of the Sith takes, it takes another one back. It's probably the best saber combat done yet, but it's all over before you can blink. Do you have a plan B? Rent it, play it, finish it in a day. This will be a day long remembered. Probably not. That's the problem. We really did want to love this one, but there's just too much holding it back. A three out of five. Perhaps I did fail you, but I won't abandon you to the dark side. That's not your decision to make. <laughs> That wasn't so bad, but you still cut off my hand. Time to go to work? Hold my corn, son. All right, wait, why are you doing? Get away from her, you bitch. That's not even a line from Star Wars. Nerd! Look out! Coming right at you, sucker. Oh, look. Oh, where'd I go? Oh, here I am. Oh, I'm behind you. Damn. Fear leads to anger. Yeah! Anger leads to hate.
ready. Oh. Well, we showed that medieval bitch how we do things downtown. Look for Ghostbusters. Quiet, nerd. Ah! Gosh, um, thanks, Ratty. Don't thank me yet. Wait till you get my bill. Damn. Let's go, Morgan. I need a Colt 45. Oh. Okay. One thing we learned is fanboys are persistent. Well, I'm glad this is the last one we ever have to do because that puppet's not going to hold up for another year. That's true. All right, let's just let's just get out of here. Let's hey, Kata, welcome back. Give me your lightsaber. Now. Oh. Okay, we definitely have to go now. All right, we have two hours to go before X Place 1000th. We're right here in the game lab where Sester Soapbox is shot only two feet away. It's a very special place. Mm -hmm. Now, our next episode is one we used to joke about over drinks. So we go, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we did a musical? Yeah, more fun to talk about than to do. Yeah. The big factory scene that you're going to see, it was shot outside in December, 30 degrees at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, two interns actually died during the making of that scene, so you better enjoy this one. Do you want an X-Play paper? What's this X-Play you're speaking of? What's X-Play? Why, it's only the best show on television. X-Play, they review the games the best way. He's loud, she's a bouquet of flowers. I watch them on the TV every day. about Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Well, Morgan Webb, she's so pretty she could raise the dead. Adam's known as Staple himself, and he doesn't trust the feds. When you put the two together, you can't go wrong. In fact, they make me want to break out into song. Like this! Grabnar the Wanderer, Slippy the Fish, Drunk Lincoln Ratty, it's simply the Lish. Aquaman and Canadian guy Intern slave labor Why there's so much love It's quite hard to believe Yes, it is Well, that boy's devotion Can only mean one thing There's money to be made Wherever little boys are known to sing I've got to find this Adam and Morgan Get them to sign the name to a one-time exclusive contract to make the X-Play game. The X-Play game. Ooh, the X-Play game. So, kid, let's recap. Morgan Webb. Well, she's a gamer, that's what I said. Adam Sessler hates Dragon Ball Z. It fills him with dread. All right. Both of them put G4 on the map. They sound just like my favorite type of saps. And soon they'll sign the exclusive contract to make the X-Play game. <coughs> Kid, you really ought to get that looked at. <coughs> The number five slot is a strange little animal called Parappa the Rapper. I gotta believe the skunk over here will bring you blood. Parappa the Rapper was the first rhythm game of its kind, and the super catchy beats invaded our dreams. Got that funky, funky club. Rolling into the number four slot is a strange piece of weirdness called Katamari Damashi. It's not here for the overall bizarreness and opium influenced gameplay, it's the song. Forget it. Well, that's about as much failure as we can pack in a one half hour. This realization of our limits, why, that's pure X-Play. And cut. Great job. That's a wrap. Pardon me, Adam, Morgan. Could I have just one second of your time? Not for you can't 
me pay. Help me, I am the man. the man. Tell me, are you sick of always doing reviews? Well, reviews are what we're good at. And I don't mean to flaunt. But we get paid to play video games. What more could we want? Okay, look. Every single day is the very same thing. You go into work and you score. One, two, three, four, five out of five. Tell me, don't you ever dream of more? Tell me, don't you ever dream? Don't you ever dream of more? I dream of more. You dream of more. I dream of more. You dream of more. Do you dream of fame? Yes. And fortune. Yes. And diamonds so rare. Oh, yes. Can you give us each a pair? A matching hand of bears. Yes, I can give you power. Turn a light, light and a castle in the sky. Oh, can you give us superpowers? Like laser beam eyes? Straight to the top, we won't stop. We'll drop megatons below. We dream of more. We dream of more. We dream of more. You dream of more. Now all that stands between you and your glorious rise to fame. Are a couple little pieces of paper. Sign your name. Sign your name. Sign your name. Sign your name. I've got the papers right here. We'll make the X play game. The X play game. Yes, the X play game. Yes, the X play game. Sign your name. Sign your name. Do you need some help? Hey. M&M's, have them at your Super Bowl party. Hey, look, we're on the guest list. Uh, that's the menu. I'm Antoine Williams. Would an extra $1,000 come in handy right now? Then I'd like to talk to you about Money Mutual. It's your trusted source to over 60 lenders to get you up to $1,000 fast. That big medical bill? Paid. The car? Fixed. Breathing room till payday? Done. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month. No credit score required. Need cash tomorrow? Go to MoneyMutual.com today. Attention drivers statewide. If you are insured with Allstate, Geico, State Farm, or any other car insurer, you may be overpaying by hundreds of dollars. Find out how to get immediate savings through 21st Century Insurance. What would it take to get you to switch your car insurance? If we told you that you could save $474 a year, wouldn't you pick up the phone? Start dialing, because you could save that much. People who switched from GEICO saved around $481. From Allstate, $526. Your savings could be higher, like this driver who switched. Or this one. And no other company gives you 21st century security advantage that includes roadside assistance at no additional cost. Immediate savings available through 21st century insurance. Call for a free rate quote today. Call 1-888-GET-2121 for a free rate quote. You could save hundreds of dollars. That number again is 1-888-GET-2121. Call now or visit 21st.com. G4 celebrates Valentine's Day with a lineup of romance-free shows. Give me a Watch out. Guilty pleasure yourself with a marathon of cheaters. You even clean the sheets before I come home? Then it's off to Sin City. It's amazing. For the 2010 Adult Entertainment Expo, Sasha Gray co-hosts. It's pretty fun. Celebrate a romance-free Valentine's Day starting at 9 a.m. only on G4. X-Play game coming soon. <coughs> Read all about it. Adam Sessler. Miss Webb. How are you, Hi, Billy? Billy? I'm good. I'm I'm awfully excited about your new X-Play game coming out. <coughs> <coughs> 
That doesn't <coughs> sound too good. You should get that checked out. Ah, uh, don't don't worry about it. It's nothing. It's just a little cold. Ah, uh, that's what Jim Henson said. <laughs> Our third place pick for the best soundtracks of all time, the sweet, sweet sounds of Halo. Veteran Bungie composer Martin O'Donnell won over a legion of music fans by combining hard-driving rock riffs with a subtle, angelic choir. If the symphonic sounds of Halo are too civilized for you, you'll be happy to know Grand Theft Auto Vice City Grab the second spot. What other video game soundtrack lets you sample the Me Decade's most diverse ditties? Welcome to the factory. It's your game. You decide what goes in it. When I open up these doors, take the bull by the horns. Heave ho! Heave ho! Sorry, no can do. We've got a game to make. Please, I beg you, madam. I've got cramps all in my thighs. Back to work or I'll kill you with my laser beam eyes. It's time for you to choose the ingredients of your game. Ingredients. Ingredients. The open-endedness of GTA. The humor of Call of Duty. And a soundtrack just like Booty. Space Marines, sexy unicorns. Space Marines on unicorns. And texture polygonal porn. And lesbians on fire. Adam. And Sears catalog erotic desire. And turtles in wheelchairs. In Yiddish slang, like Goy and Schmuck. These are the things, things that we want in our game. Throw in another cutscene. But we already have 184. A regenerating health bar. This game can't take much more. We toil all day and all night. No breaks, no food. Work, work, work. Mean boss lady says she wants panda bears. Mean Mr. Boss. The game is finished. This is weird. This is Titan 1 4. No signs of life. Titan 1 4, hold your position. What do you got? Unmanned aircraft is identifying enemy sniper. Copy that. Let's move. Entertain your mouth with the unique melon mango experience of Tic Tac. 
AT&T covers 97% of all Americans. That's a lot of people. I've collected a few postcards of all the places that AT&T has coverage. Spokane, Washington. Boston, Mass. San Francisco. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dated a girl from there. Warren, Michigan. Didn't work out. Bozeman, Montana. Daytona Beach, Florida. Madison, Wisconsin. The college town. I think we get the picture. If you want coverage, we've got it. AT&T. This Valentine's Day, buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. Better and Greatest Better Pizza is not a slogan. It is a way of life. Papa's in the house. It's first and ten at Papa John's. And as an official sponsor of Super Bowl 44, for the first time ever, you get all large pizzas for just $10. Your choice of toppings, your choice of pizzas, $10. Even specialty pizzas like the Works, the Meats, and the Six Cheese, just $10. It's first and ten. Order now at PapaJohns.com. Better Ingredients, Better Pizza, Papa John's. Nivea for Men Active 3. Nivea's first 3-in-1 shower, shampoo, and shave. It's almost everything men need for grooming. Almost. Active 3 from Nivea for Men. What men want. It's right, so the manger scene we were talking about at uh, 3 in the morning freezing. I had a lot of pity for that because while I was cold and I was only wearing a t-shirt, there was an intern there who was wearing a loincloth and has 1% body fat. He should have gotten the pity, but, you know, it's LA and... Then, Mark Mia, he became my favorite person in the entire world because he brought me in and out burger and a shake at four in the morning. It's an important honor for him because, you know, I'm on TV. If you had a choice between going bald and a fuller head of hair, which would you choose? Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. You wash it, you cut it. It's your own real naturally growing hair. When it comes to hair restoration, no one in the world has more experience than Bosley. The results look completely natural and are affordable on nearly any budget. Bosley hair restoration is a relatively simple outpatient procedure, but the entire process can't be explained in 60 brief seconds. So to find out more about this clinically proven permanent hair loss solution, call the toll-free number below to receive your free no-obligation information kit. It'll answer all of your questions about hair loss and hair restoration. Every day you wait, you're losing more hair, so don't put it off any longer. The phone call is free. The information is free. You owe it to yourself to find out the facts. Choose hair. Choose Bosley. Call 1-800-634-7223. That's 1-800-634-7223. Play game ready to ship this Tuesday with five million copies. Come get your ex. Paper boy, paper boy. I need this paper boy. He's dead. Call an ambulance. Go. I'll call you later. When are they going to pick up the trash around here? Uh, don't they know who we are? <laughs> Gentlemen. It's beautiful. Well, hold on. Don't you want to play the game? No. Uh, I've played enough already. Do yourselves a favor. Destroy it before it's too late. Oh, and your game only works for Dreamcast. Whoa. Oh, what have we done? 
This game isn't fun It thinks it's our son And it's begun An all-out assault We're trapped in this room We smell death sweet perfume X plays mad its doom We can only assume That it's our fault What have we done? Oh, what have we done? Get out your stry gum and chew another piece already, or we'll find you. Got the gum. The ridiculously long-lasting gum. New Stride Uber Bubble. I'm Otto Williams. Would an extra thousand dollars come in handy right now? Then I'd like to talk to you about Money Mutual. It's your trusted source to over 60 lenders to get you up to a thousand dollars fast. That big medical bill paid. The car fixed. Breathing room till payday done. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month. No credit score required. Need cash tomorrow? Go to MoneyMutual.com today. So to see when the game comes alive and Morgan and I get scared, we kind of go, ah, with the Dreamcast controller. What actually happened is we threw the controller into the TV. This was at the very same time that everyone was breaking their TVs with their Wiimote when they were playing tennis. We did it with the Dreamcast. Yep, I almost called Peter Moore. Now, believe it or not, there are still three more episodes of Heel Found more classic than the musical. You'll see all three of them. And right after that, X-Play 1000. Something amazing is happening at Verizon Wireless that will change the way America talks. Something big. Something bold. Something new. Nice. Introducing nationwide unlimited talk from Verizon Wireless. Now $30 less than ever before on America's largest and most reliable wireless network. Now buy one Samsung Intensity and get one free. Verizon. They say winning isn't everything, but it sure feels good, doesn't it? Like the feeling you get at Rent-A-Center, where credit is never needed. Get an Ashley seven-piece living room group. Your choice, $29.99 a week. Rent-A-Center, where your satisfaction is always guaranteed. There's no guarantee that your glasses will survive the excitement of the rodeo or the ultimate intergalactic fight or even a relay race. There's also no guarantee that you won't break your glasses while trying. 
That's why the Walmart Vision Center offers glasses starting at $38 with a free 12-month guarantee. If they break or get damaged, they will replace them for free, no questions asked. So you know you're covered no matter what. Save money. Live better. Walmart. An all-new season of exotic ladies from all over the world. Season 2 of the International Sexy Ladies Show premieres March 1st, only on G4. Hey, Billy. How's our number one fan? He's on the brink of death. Oh. Young Billy was on his way to a full recovery until he played this. <laughs> oh, Billy. Uh, we're, we're sorry. We didn't mean to scare you no. or give you cancer. Adam, we didn't give him cancer. We didn't? Did we? I don't know. Good work, kids. The game sold horribly, and I was able to exercise an escape clause in the contract, giving me millions. I'd love to stay, but got a plane to catch, so good luck with the show, and good luck with the cancer. Well, guess that's the end of X-Play. Yeah. Hey, now, don't give up on X-Play just because of this. Just get back to what you're good at, reviewing stuff. So your game was horrible, your grief deplorable, and from the stage of life you're rightly booed. So you didn't become millionaires, you didn't get your panda bears, but the world out there is waiting to be reviewed. Yes, get off your ass, get out there and review, okay? We're, We're not, not so sure, sure that we can. can. We're, We're feeling, feeling rather meek and small. What right have we to judge? judge? Just do what must be done, shout! Then give your game a one out of five. Do not budge. Say it now. I don't know if we should. Say it. I don't feel ready. One out of five. The X-Play game, a shame, a shame that came one hell contrived. Oh, one out of five. The only game I know that lowers your sex drive. Glory is one. feel better? It's like I can feel the judgment returning to my veins. Let's see. I give this musical a two, it's so nonsensical. It's kind of like the X-Play Mother Load. Well, I give our audience a five out of five for obedience for sitting through this entire episode. That's impressive. Sitting through this entire episode. Well, the doctor gets a four. But your cancer gets a one. And our cameraman but I don't think I have to score For the way I feel So long So prepare to be Prepare to be Workers all get five It's a glorious one out of five. Venerable series in the gaming world, none have mastered the mellifluous mediation of memorable melody quite like The Legend of Zelda. 
Over the years, the numerous links have played out their curiously similar adventures accompanied by a soundtrack as familiar to gamers as a D-pad or an A button. From jaunty tunes that stick in your head for days, to four little notes that represent success to a generation of Nintendo fans. Without question, the one melody that is recognized by anyone who's ever hefted the Master Sword is the classic overworld theme. But whatever the system and whichever the Zelda, the legend lives on and scores the number one spot on our best soundtracks list. Isn't there someone to love me? Why does everyone run away? Mommy, Daddy, love me, love me too. This is it. We are down to our top three fan favorite episodes of all time, the Saw parody. Ah, uh, Saw. Remember how awesome the first movie was? I'm going to go with Tolerable. All right, Tolerable. Anyway, keep an eye out for our friend and awesome actor, Pat Healy, who's not only in this episode, but many of the others you've seen today. Yeah, he's for real famous. He was on 24. Yeah. Hello? Is anybody there? Morgan, is that you? Adam, is that you? I think so. Hold on. Where are we? What's going on? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Someone killed Olivia Munn. Actually, uh, I did that. Why? I thought she was one of the bad guys. Why is her leg missing? I got hungry. Ew. Hey, don't judge me. I had to do what was necessary. To survive. Adam Sessler. Morgan Webb. This is X-Play. We have to figure out what's going on here. Morgan is delirious with fear. You're clearly trapped in some madman's game, and I give it a one. Out of five. Where did you get that? I don't know. It had my name on it. Give it a one out of five. Do I really sound like that? Out of five, out of five, 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 out of five, five. Knock it off! Hey! That tape could have told us what we need to do to get out of here. Hey, is that a key? What is that thing? My name is Memory Card. I assume that by now, Adam has taped over my recording, and that Morgan got frustrated and knocked it out of his hands. You two claim to be experts in video games. Now, are you ready to play my game? You are both wearing Power Glove, which is wired to explode, unless you can name the top 10 scariest games of all time. You bastard! You have 30 minutes, starting now. That is all. I guess there's no better game to start off with than the granddaddy of survival horror, Alone in the Dark. It came out way back in 1992, and even though the graphics haven't aged well, it still has the creepy atmosphere of the Lovecraft stories it's loosely based on. The combat system wasn't very refined, but it did let you pimp slap giant rats. Ooh. Okay, okay. If your tastes are more modern, fear may just be the game to scare your pants off. The first-person shooter takes the creepier elements of Japanese horror films and pairs them with explosive action sequences. It doesn't hurt that it features spooky atmospheric lighting and creepy ghosts who can say more than just boo. She is a prisoner. But not every game needs high-tech visuals to scare you. <gasps> In 1997's Clock Tower for the PlayStation 1, players are on the run from a dangerous serial killer named Scissor Man. Gee, wonder how we got the name. Ah! Ooh, right in the baby pouch. When Scissor Man is hot on your heels, you'll have to choose quickly between hiding, running away, or fighting. Ah. 
Hopefully next time you'll bring something a little more deadly than a bed sheet. Clock Tower is a bit of a hidden gem. A lot of players missed it thanks to the limited release, but it's worth a second look now that you can get it for a cutthroat price. Very good. You are three steps closer to your freedom. What a... Yeah, somebody wasn't loved as a child. Yeah, I can still hear you guys. Awkward. They call a killer memory card. Why is that, Franks? Because he leaves one of them in each of his victims. My God. Is this how they were killed? No, oh, no. It was worse than that. Much worse. Rise and shine, Kevin. Where am I? Every day on Attack of the Show, you sit in judgment of technology. Well, today, technology will sit in judgment of you. That, that actually doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Attached to your head is a virtual boy. If you try to remove it, you will die. But if you manage to play for two hours straight, you can go free. Make your decision. I mean, you kind of made it for me. You can't really take it off. You, you tape my hands to the chair. What? Oh, hey. What is, oh, Wario. Yeah, okay, I remember, I remember Wario. I don't, oh, oh God, that's the, vir I don't remember the virtual boy being this blurry. Oh, I forgot, this is what the virtual boy looks like. Oh God, get the pinball game. Can I at least, can I at least get the pinball game? Oh God, it's starting to hurt. Okay, now that's really starting to hurt. No, seriously, dude, are you there? Hello, it's starting to hurt my eyes. Oh my God, what is that? Oh, that does not feel good. When they finally found the body, his eyes had literally been burned out of his skull. Lieutenant, you're not gonna believe this. Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb have gone missing. All right, get on the phone with every G4 host you can find. We got a killer on the loose. That could just be a coincidence, I guess. That's, I rushed the judgment there. Somebody wanna grab him? How it feels to chew five gum. A winter mint flavor that warms and cools as you chew. Five gum. Stimulate your senses. In this home, a family grows. Children learn and play. Bonds are built. But before it was a house, it was a detailed drawing on a plan. The bachelor degree program in construction management in the School of Drafting and Design at ITT Technical Institute offers educational opportunities that can help students prepare for challenging and rewarding careers in the construction industry. There's a demand for individuals with knowledge and skills to manage construction projects. The construction industry needs professionals who can oversee construction projects in accordance with the plans and specifications. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of many, this dream became a home. There are still many more to be built. ITT Technical Institute School of Drafting and Design. Education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. I'm Otto Williams. Would an extra $1,000 come in handy right now? Then I'd like to talk to you about Money Mutual. It's your trusted source to over 60 lenders to get you up to $1,000 fast. That big medical bill? Paid. The car? Fixed. Breathing room till payday? Done. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month no credit score required. Need cash tomorrow? Go to MoneyMutual.com today. If this is what you think the life of a campus cop is, <sighs> think again. Because when college life gets out of control, these are the cops who try to keep a lid on the chaos. Get drunk! Ride along with the men and women who patrol college towns and universities across the country. Shut your party down. Campus PD, all new Wednesday at 11.
part of G4's Junk Food TV. Time is running out. You still have seven more games to name before you can earn your freedom. How do we know we can trust you? Trust, Morgan? What an interesting question. Perhaps you should look into yourself for the... Oh, boy. Wait, let me no, just... Uh, not cool. Let me just grab the... No, no. Uh, don't. I think I can fix it. Don't just... Just leave it. What? Are you sure? You won't even know it was broken. Uh, do you guys mind doing the next three games? We'll work this out. No, no trust me. I, I know what I'm doing. very sorry for my victims. Why do you always do this? Are you okay? It may not sound like it, but what you're hearing is the sweet sound of success. Coming in at number seven, Siren for the PS2 was a below-the-radar hit a couple of years ago. You can see visions. You're not safe here. Any fan of Japanese horror films like Pulse or Dark Water will fall in love with this game instantly. It has enough haunting imagery for a hundred games, but the real draw was the ability to temporarily see through the eyes of the monsters surrounding you. If the game didn't feature a lame British dub, it would have ranked even higher on the list. The dog's already dead anyway. But trust us, it's still damn scary. Why <laughs> Barker's Undying is looking good in sixth place. Based on the story by the prolific horror writer, the game lets you play as Patrick Galloway, a paranormal investigator and occult expert who comes to the aid of a friend in need. Strange events began happening around the manor. From the first few scares, Undying feels like a classic ghost story. Chilling, thrilling, and a lot of fun. <laughs> you will come to learn fear as I have. At number five, Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem is slowly unraveling our psyches. And yes, we mean that in a good way. Players take charge of Alexandra, a young woman who has to solve the mystery of her grandfather's untimely death and her cursed family tree. There's been an accident. As you venture forth, your sanity meter drops, and when that runs out, you begin to hallucinate. Fear not, for I will keep the darkness away. Sometimes your hallucinations are pretty straightforward, but at other times, the game makers simulate video and audio glitches to throw you off kilter. It's a nifty fourth wall breaking gimmick that keeps you on your toes throughout the whole bloody affair. This isn't really happening! Zach Selwyn, we know that you can act. We know you can sing. But can you dance? Prepare to find out. Show me your hottest moves. Are you ready? Here we go! <laughs> Did you do your best? Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Ready? Game over. This just in. Fresh meat. Oh, God. Poor Zack. Good night, funny man. Bye, con Dios. Ever feel you might be missing hmm. something? Like, oh, say, hundreds of dollars in tax savings? Thank goodness there's TurboTax Federal Free Edition. The easy online way to do your simple federal taxes and get the maximum refund guaranteed. Just answer easy to understand questions. TurboTax quickly learns about your unique situation and guides you step by step, then puts the numbers on all the right forms, does the math, and helps get you the maximum refund you deserve. No doubt about it, TurboTax Pre Edition is the fast, easy, free way to get your biggest refund possible. With TurboTax Free Edition, you also get free online help and free audit support tools. Doing your taxes has never been easier. And best of all, with TurboTax Free Edition, you don't pay a penny because it's free to prepare, free to print, and free to e-file your federal tax return. And when you e-file, you can get your refund fast in as little as eight days. So why not give it a try? Millions of others have already used TurboTax products. 
Just listen. I thought the free edition was fantastic. I wasn't expecting that. So when I saw that it was free, bonus. <laughs> TurboTax holds your hand and guides you through every step of the way. If I had a question, TurboTax beat me to it. It was really simple. I got a lot of cash. <laughs> and that's because of TurboTax. I would never go back to a tax store and pay that kind of money again. No wonder TurboTax is America's number one brand of tax preparation software. The Wall Street Journal found TurboTax easier to navigate and understand. In their tests, TurboTax came out on top. USA Today said, in our annual test drive of tax software, TurboTax was again the winner. Isn't it time you use TurboTax? TurboTax is the easy way to do your taxes and get the biggest refund you deserve. Visit GetTurboTaxFree.com, where it's free to prepare, free to print, and free to e-file your federal tax return. That's GetTurboTaxFree.com. Do it now and get your refund fast in as little as eight days. My favorite X-Blade character is Morgan Von Vett. She's kind of like an evil scientist of video games. My favorite X-Play moment is pretty much any time that Morgan ever hurt Adam. Violence. I like violence. My favorite X-Play character was Disembodied Boy. Better ingredients, better pizza is not a slogan. It is a way of life. Papa's in the house. It's first and ten at Papa John's. And as an official sponsor of Super Bowl 44, for the first time ever, you get all large pizzas for just $10. Your choice of toppings, your choice of pizzas, $10. Even specialty pizzas like the Works, the Meats, and the Six Cheese, just $10. It's first and ten. Order now at PapaJohns.com. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. We rely on a future Hall of Famer. Oh, and a diving play, Rodor! Tending to the Garden State success, but refuse to be intimidated on our home ice. We also seize the opportunity to announce our arrival. Locked in, what a chance! What a goal! And quiet the critics. Centerberg, oh, he scores! Only on Versus. Scariest game of all time, and we succeed in getting out. Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not doing much hanging around. What's up with you guys? Adam! Yeah, hold on, let me call you back, Jerry. Welcome to the 911 emergency helpline. Please say or spell the nature of your emergency. Yeah, we've been kidnapped by these crazy guys put these explosive power gloves on our hands. You have selected violent sexual assault. Please say or spell the object you are being assaulted with. No, no, we've been kidnapped. Kidnapped. You have selected call a flower. Time is running out. If you want to keep breathing, you better keep listening. What's left to say about Resident Evil 4? Well, how about saying that it's the fourth scariest game of all time? Sounds like you thought this one out pretty well. Thanks to jolting surprises and monolithic monsters, this shooter will have you jumping out of your seat every other minute. Even though this game had more thrills than chills, it still managed to work in plenty of unexpected surprises along the way. Yeah! What happened? There was someone over here. Flying into number three is Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly. This scare fest is part survival horror, part Pokemon Snap. Okay, I know that doesn't sound very frightening, but let me explain. In order to vanquish the ghostly apparitions that frequently pop up, you have to take pictures of them. <laughs> What may surprise you is the genuinely scary atmosphere that this very Japanese horror game creates. <laughs> Taking a big number two on the competition is System Shock 2. This ghoulish game is an overlooked gem from way back in 1999. At the beginning of this first-person shooter, you're awoken from a deep space sleep to discover that something's gone seriously awry with your travel plans. 
You're on board the Starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. You can say that again. As if that weren't enough, monsters are constantly popping out of nowhere to try and kill you. The graphics may not have aged that well, but the top-notch sound design is still in full effect. So sick. Uh, oh, okay, what's the worst crime scene you've ever been to? That was a rape. Mm. Oceanside Aquarium, back in 99. Somebody snuck in after hours and repeatedly assaulted one of the dolphins. What? Are you kidding? There are those that say that it was... that it was the perfect crime. Uh, I'm sorry, who thinks that raping a dolphin is the perfect crime? Nobody ever found out who did it. Or that it ever happened at all. Another body, Lieutenant. It's also another G4 host. Damn it, it's blood, but... Uh, so if it didn't happen, uh, yes, I'm sorry, how do you even know... Can you hear me on this frequency? <laughs> Not even make me do it! Batman, you want me to be your new sidekick? Okay. Okay, just as long as the Robin suit has pants now. Thank you so much. Kristen Holt? You've been talking about joining the Justice League for the last two hours. I'm sorry, it's a personal fantasy. What the hell? Did you do this? Not even close. Right now, the room is filling with a deadly nerve gas. Blair, surrounding you are some of your most beloved comic books. Hidden within their pages is the answer for your survival. Well, then why am I here? Kristen Holt. You've always cheated your way out of video games. To your right is a handgun. Inside the chamber are three rounds. Let's see if you can get it done. What the? Why the hell did you do that? You shot me! Oh, I thought you were going to tell me to shoot her. What? No. There's going to be this whole thing where you're going to tickle fight. Pillows and the... You know what? Never mind. Kristen... Kristen, I'm gonna be okay. Just call an ambulance. I, th I think I'll make it. Yeah, but the thing is, you might testify against me. What? No, Kristen, no, you're America's- Gee, what did you do? Blair, hold on. I know you can hear me. I think I've got this. Um, right, so what you wanna do is uh, slow. Check your local listings. Got the gun. The ridiculously long-lasting gun. New Stride Uber Bubble. This winter, the world's greatest athletes are coming to Canada, along with two of gaming's greatest superstars. Use your Wii Balance Board or play with up to four friends. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Available now. Rated everyone. This episode was sweet. Fun fact, I'm a really bad actress. But did you notice how natural Kristen Adams is with a gun? I, I wouldn't cheat on her if I were you. Now, right now you're watching the number three most voted X-Play episode of all time. Up next is number two. I wonder what it is. You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. Ready to unthink the wing? KFC Fiery Grilled Wings, marinated and grilled to seal in the one-of-a-kind taste. Try five wings or a bucket of 20. 
AT&T covers 97% of all Americans. That's a lot of people. I've collected a few postcards of all the places that AT&T has coverage. Spokane, Washington. Boston, Mass. San Francisco. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dated a girl from there. Warren, Michigan. Didn't work out. Bozeman, Montana. Daytona Beach, Florida. Madison, Wisconsin. The college town. I think we get the picture. If you want coverage, we've got it. AT&T. This Valentine's Day, buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. I'm Otto Williams. Would an extra $1,000 come in handy right now? Then I'd like to talk to you about Money Mutual. It's your trusted source to over 60 lenders to get you up to $1,000 fast. That big medical bill? Paid. The car? Fixed. Breathing room till payday? Done. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month. No credit score required. Need cash tomorrow? Go to MoneyMutual.com today. Own a piece of G4. Download to own this show now. Adam, stop dismembering Olivia Munn. Jeez, it's not like she can feel anything. Look, we still have to come up with the number one scariest game of all time, or we're gonna be as dead as she is. Put your pencils down, kitties. Your time is almost up. Are you ready to name the scariest game of all time? Fine. You're not gonna like it. The number one scariest game of all time is Silent Hill 2. In this surreal nightmare simulation, players take control of James, a troubled widower who gets a letter from his dead wife saying that she's waiting for him in the forbidden hamlet of Silent Hill. When he gets there, he finds a mysterious look-alike. Do I look like your girlfriend? Some creepy children. Did I scare you? And enough freaky monsters to fill a thousand bad dreams. The grainy film quality, eerie visuals, and dreamlike narrative make this one of the most unforgettable experiences you can have with the video game. And it doesn't hurt that your arch nemesis in the game, Pyramid Head, is one of the most disturbing monsters ever conceived. I mean, just what the hell is he doing here? With all this going for it, it's easy to see why Silent Hill 2 is the pinnacle of survival horror and the scariest game of all time. Very good, Adam Morgan. You've done the task admirably. But there is one final challenge that awaits you. What game would be complete without a boss battle? I'll be right down. Oh. Oh. Finally we meet face to face. Why are you doing this? What did we ever do to you? What did you do to me? You destroyed me. You turned my life into an everlasting nightmare. Gaze upon your enemy. The gay pirate? No, it's Aquaman. Aquaman. For years you ridiculed my game, Aquaman Battle for Atlantis. I believe you even once called it the worst game of all time. Or have you forgotten? Oh, that game was terrible! Oh, we should have put that on the list! Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Kind of uh, this may be just a joke to you, but your ridicule tormented me for years. Or not any more. Hey, you know what? I never realized what an impact our abuse could have, but, you know, we're sorry. We didn't mean to hurt you. Really? You mean that? Yeah. Oh, of course we do. Yeah. Well, maybe I did take this a little too far. I did kind of kill some people. Maybe I probably over overreacted. But you know what? I'm sorry too. I'm gonna turn myself in and I'm going to write whatever wants it. Scumbag! Hello, officers. I was We got him, Lady Flippers. He's never gonna hurt you again. Oh my god, you killed Aquaman! Aquaman? I thought it was the gay pirate. Superman's gonna be pissed. He was about to surrender. You guys are the worst cops ever. Cop. Cops. Cop. <laughs> yeah, cops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're cops. Let's get out of here. Huh. 
This is the first special episode where we didn't die at the end. Aquaman didn't take off our power glove. Oh. how sorry we are about this whole thing. We thought you were dead. Yeah. <laughs> I was drugged. I could feel and hear everything. Oh. Everything. Wow. Sorry. Yeah. Adam? Logan? Kevin, yeah, you're Logan, Adam, 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 Zach, hey, how you doing? Hey, hey. Yeah, they couldn't save my legs, but they saved somebody else. Blair. 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 Oh. So, uh, is Kristen Holt still on the loose? Yeah, you know, last I heard she was fleeing to Mexico after killing a bunch of uh, Border Patrol guards. <laughs> wow, I just gotta say how sorry we are that, you know, we got Aquaman to try and kill us all. But you know, as I look around this room, I know that despite our disabilities, we are going to go on to make some of the best television possible. Uh, you said it, Blair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, only one hour left until X Play's thousandth episode. Next up is the zombie episode, which includes an X Play first. I pulled my groin on camera. Yeah, the cries of pain, those would be Adams. Now, you may think we're excellent zombie actors, but really we were just tired by the end with all the prosthetics and the teeth and the contacts and everything. Yeah, now we actually filmed at a park where there were children there and right. we scared many of them. So their fear, your joy. Mm -hmm. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you shocking news. The dead have risen and are attacking and eating the living. Officials urge you to stay away from funeral homes, mortuaries, and other areas where flesh-eating zombies may congregate. And now back to Happy Town Radio. You picked a great place for a picnic. This isn't good. This isn't good. This is the part of the film where the bad things happen. Heels. Why are you wearing my shoes? Well, it's a horror movie. What? We'll talk about it later. Oh. oh. I think we lost him. What's happening? Why is that thing chasing us? They say when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk. Ooh, candy! Don't eat that! That's the meat of the dead! <laughs> zombies. They scare the crap out of us. And no one has given us more zombies than Resident Evil. From the unexpected shocks of the first game, to the magnificent terror of Resident Evil 4, no series has dominated the survival horror genre like Capcom's Little Freak Show. It all began with the U.S. release of the original Resident Evil in 1996. Resident Evil. For the first time ever, gamers traveled to the ridiculously named Raccoon City with a group of mercenaries who spouted some of the worst dialogue we've ever heard. Here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. While at the time it was hailed as slickly cinematic, it's hard to believe that this used to pass for graphic violence. Jeez, how much blood does she have? 
Oh, and if you want true horror, you need to look no further than this introductory video of the cast. Hello, it's a game about eating human flesh, not a sitcom. Resident Evil 2 came out shortly after, introducing new characters, a giant alligator, and this. It also featured some of the loudest footsteps in video game history. Then there was Resident Evil Survivor, a game so bad, we don't even want to talk about it. Resident Evil Nemesis was notable for introducing this guy and his famous catchphrase. Then came Resident Evil Code Veronica, followed by Resident Evil Gaiden for the Game Boy Color. And in 2002, a gorgeous remake of the original Resident Evil that featured realistically exploding zombies. Sweet. After that was Resident Evil Zero. It was basically one big escort mission where you had to switch between two characters. Also, your heroes get attacked by Ewoks. That was followed by Resident Evil Dead Aim for the PS2, a first-person shooter that took place on a zombified cruise ship. Then came the Resident Evil Outbreak series. Sure, it had online multiplayer where you could choose to be any one of these sexy singles, but we loved it because characters in it would just yell randomly generated stuff at each other. Help! Yeah! Ooh. Kevin! Leading to inexplicable moments like this. What? Hmm? And this. Here's what I'm thinking. What's up? The next chapter of the series featured zombified zoo animals, including alligators yeah. and this anatomically correct elephant. <laughs> Last but not least is the best Resident Evil of them all, Resident Evil 4. Sure, we don't know if the bad guys are zombies exactly, but who cares? It's awesome. So there you have it, Resident Evil. It gave us zombies and a legacy of groaning. Oh. <coughs> G4 now presents the following public service announcement, paid for by the American Association for the Undead. Hi, uh, my name is David Nyman, um, and I work here at Accounts Payable, uh, where I'm a senior associate. Oh. Mm, great work. Um, I've, uh, I've been dead for 19 or, 19 or 20 years, maybe 18 years. Um, I was actually trampled at a, at a Wham! concert. Uh, I've got the album here. Love those guys, even even after death. After my uh, incident, they let me come back to work, which 
which I was really happy about because it's tough for, you know, someone like me to find work. The thing I want people to know is that I'm a regular, normal guy who happens to be dead. I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like everybody else. Popular misconceptions. Um, eating brains. Uh, you know, everyone thinks it's all about brains, but it's not just about brains. I like corn. I like smoothies. Bree, it's gonna look really good on you. Oh, oh Jesus! Smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be treated with dignity and with respect, just like anybody would. Is there a piece of my face falling off? Gross. Dignity and respect is, that's, that's what I want. Zombies, they're people too. <gasps> Dead people. Hey, Bob. Ew. Do you smell that? It smells like death in here. Actually, I think that's him. Sorry, I have plus 16 funk. Also, I peed myself a little. Even in the apocalypse, I can't get away from the fanboys. Here, take this. You'll need it. Um, exactly what are you doing here? How did you survive? I was at the D&D &D convention when those things attacked. I just finished buying a bronze godpiece and they swarmed us. And all I could hear was that terrible high-pitched scream. Blood and pure dragon figurines everywhere. See, the thing about a nerd's eyes is the black, like a doll's. And when a zombie bites them, they roll back Excuse in their me. head. This is so not your show. Do you think those things can get in here? Please. Zombies don't have the mental acuity to work locks. They have the minds of children. <gasps> a yo-yo! We're doomed. <laughs> Okay, all we have to do is wait for someone to come and save us so we can sing some songs while we pass the time. Actually, due to copyright laws, we can't. <sighs> Adam? What? Are you biting my arm? I'm not biting your arm. Oh, arm is a bitch. Entertain your mouth with the unique melon mango experience of Tic Tac. Something amazing is happening at Verizon Wireless that will change the way America talks. Something big. Something bold. Something new. Nice. Introducing nationwide unlimited talk from Verizon Wireless. Now $30 less than ever before on America's largest and most reliable wireless network. Now buy one Samsung Intensity and get one free. Verizon. I'm a broke college student. Doesn't mean I have to eat like one. Right now, any pizza from Pizza Hut is just $10. Any size, any crust, any toppings. So we can get a Supreme Pan pizza or meat lovers. Anyone we want for just 10 bucks. Now, I don't have to ask my parents for money all the time. So do you need extra money this week? I'm good. You get yourself something nice. That freaked him out. Right now, any pizza at Pizza Hut is just $10. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any toppings, only $10. Only at your Pizza Hut. They say winning isn't everything, but it sure feels good, doesn't it? Like the feeling you get at Rena Center, where credit is never needed. Get an Ashley seven-piece living room group. Your choice, $29.99 a week. Rena Center, where your satisfaction is always guaranteed. How it feels to chew five gum. Your international sexy ladies. An all new season of exotic ladies from all over the world getting up to the craziest and sexiest things you can imagine. 
joining your favorites from season one will be a horde of hotties from new countries. <laughs> Season 2 of the International Sexy Lady Show premieres March 1st, only on G4. Hey, Morgan! I killed one of those zombie nerds! Morgan? So cold. So cold. Colder than the reception we get at a Dragon Ball Z convention? Not that cold. Morgan, you can't leave me here alone. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Hire another co-host. Ooh, there's that. Good call. The darkness is it's closing in. Morgan, I... Shh. You're pretty when you're quiet. And there's something I need to say to you. Something I need to tell you before it's too late. Yes? I don't think anyone watches this show. I know. I've always known. <laughs> No! I'm still alive. Punch Bowl, a future utopia here today, filled with hope, robots, and all the smoldering emotions of a pulp fiction novel. Beware, Suzy Q Public. A new terror has landed in Punch Bowl. Zombies. Dubs the zombie and Rebel Without a Pulse for the Xbox and PC lets you take on a role made famous by Night of the Living Dead and Thriller. As Stubbs, your job is to bring down the ivory towers while spreading the infection. I was thinking more along the lines of opening up people like a bag of chips. The denizens of Punchbowl might not make for an easy meal. Okay, some of them have hit the end of the evolutionary chain. But others will show you what a membership to the NRA gets you. Looks like we got a special one. Stubbs is not without a couple of tricks up his sleeve or lower abdominal cavity. Gut bombs explode in technicolor screams, flinging and infecting those around you. If you start feeling the stress, you can always relieve a little pressure. Need a hand? Throw one of your own. This sure-fingered thing can scout and capture one of the mouth breathers for you to use. Play it cool, or play to kill. It's your ever-growing army of undead that keeps Stubbs lumbering ever forward. These dismembered members know only one thing, to consume. Prepare yourself to take a trip to the edge of terror as Stubbs battles against the military, Nazi scientists, crooked cops, and a barbershop quartet. Sure you don't need anything? A, a cold drink? Uh, no. A cigarette? No. Foot massage? Oh, I'm... what? Swoon to a soundtrack where the tones of yesteryear collide with the beats of today in Soundovision. Get ready for joyrides and military jeeps to bombard opponents to take a ride of fate on a sheep. Join Stubbs the Zombie and Rebel Without a Pulse for all the romance, the comedy, the brain-eating, and all the robot-on-car action you can handle. Want me to look under the hood? No! Be here this fall as zombies take over your Xbox. <laughs> because I won't be. Here, I mean. I'm already dead. Well, that is one dead zombie. Impressed you killed him with a plastic sword. Well, thanks. It... Took a really long time. Well, I'm sure your experience points have gone up. I just can't believe I was too late to save Morgan. Speaking of which, are you looking for a new co-host? Oh, come on, the body's not even cold. Ooh. Ah! Oh! Ah! I need a cleric, preferably level five. Morgan, no! I need a hellstone. Snap. Join the revolution in sleep known as the Sleep Number Bed. It's the bed that helps people sleep better and get back pain relief. It's also a great value.
I think it's one of the, the smartest things we did was to buy a sleep number bed. When we went to Select Comfort, we didn't realize that the prices were so much lower than what we had been expecting, and then what we were going to get was so much better. Learn why the sleep number bed is the best bed and the best value. Call now for a free DVD and brochure, plus a free $50 savings card. The sleep number bed provides ideal support and puts you in control of the firmness. Anytime you like, simply adjust the sleep number bed to your exact preference, your sleep number. And because both sides of the bed adjust independently, it's perfect for couples. Steel springs can cause uncomfortable pressure points, but the sleep number bed contours to your body. Imagine how good you'll feel when your muscles relax and you fall into a deep sleep. Need one more reason to call? The sleep number bed is incredibly durable. Even after 20 years of simulated use, it remains in like new condition. Surprisingly, it costs about the same as an inner spring, but lasts twice as long. It's the bed loved by sore achy backs because it's clinically proven to relieve back pain and improve sleep quality. It actually lifts up the spine, allowing it to stay in its neutral position, so it's nice and straight, allowing the nerve system efficiency to flow the way it's supposed to. This is now the only bed that I recommend to my patients. There's just no denying that the sleep number bed is the best bed and a great value. So call now. Call 1-800-382-4900 for your free information kit with DVD, brochure, and price list. Call 1-800-382-4900 and you'll also receive a $50 savings card just for inquiring about the Sleep Number Bed. Ask about our risk-free 30-night in-home trial. That's 1-800-382-4900 for your free information kit and a free $50 savings card. Call now. All right, this episode spelled the end of me wearing fake teeth and prosthetics and contacts and all that stuff, although I'm about to get roped into it again, so maybe it wasn't the end. You know, and, and it was also definitely the end of fake blood in my mouth, because they always try to make it chocolate flavored, and I hate chocolate. Stop your auto repair bills now. If you own a car, any make, any model, a service policy from StopRepairBills.com can save you thousands of dollars. Just call now or go to StopRepairBills.com. When you own a car, SUV, or truck, sooner or later it will need repair. And that can cost you thousands of dollars right out of your pocket. Just one transmission job could cost over three grand. A new engine could cost over four grand. But you won't have to pay a cent. Call now or visit StopRepairBills.com and put that money back in your pocket. This isn't a dealer's warranty. It's much better and costs less because you only pay for the coverage you need. You even choose the repair shop. Then we get them paid directly, so you don't wait to be reimbursed. The sooner you call, the sooner you're covered. Call 1-800-530-4920. A free five-minute call can save you thousands in auto repair. Call 1-800-530-4920 and stop paying repair bills now. <laughs> I think I lost it. Oh, go! <laughs> RE4, meet the PS2. Ooh, that looks like it hurt. Evil finally takes up residence within the black polymer confines of the PS2. And this time, the dame stays in the picture. This time, you'll get to play more through the eyes of Asian Ada. And this chick's got guns. Here's a sneak peek. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. Leon, what's gonna happen to us? Okay, it's game time. You carry the same blood as our six years. Been a long time, comrade. You can die. Feeble humans.
met my wife on a blind date. It's my family that kind of got me started in the career path that I'm in now is in uh, ITT Tech. My wife was responsible for me going there. You know, we were actually driving right by ITT Tech. She said you should go in and just check it out. That definitely jump-started a lot of opportunities for him. It's nice to, to work uh, normal hours for a change and be home for dinner and be able to spend more time with my family. Uh, I know they really appreciate that. It allows me to provide for them in ways that before my education I don't think I would have been able to. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. Get an education that can help you reach your goals. ITT Tech has information on financial aid for those who qualify. Call 1-800-372-4052. You're watching the zombie episode, which is your number two pick as the best X-Play episode ever. Maybe it's because of the prosthetics, which we're just about to do right now. Well, and your number one pick is coming up now. And in just 30 minutes, X-Play special 1,000th episode. Yes, your number one pick is coming up. And it better not be one where Blair Herder's in it. Or me, 1,000th episode, 30. The world's a confusing place for this little guy. He was born yesterday. But he knows the BK Double Cheeseburger is bigger than McDonald's for just a buck. He's got the big stuff figured out. The rest is just details. The Dollar Double Cheeseburger only at Burger King. Got the gun. The ridiculously long-lasting gun. New Stride Uber Bubble. I'm Anto Williams. Would an extra thousand dollars come in handy right now? Then I'd like to talk to you about Money Mutual. It's your trusted source to over 60 lenders to get you up to $1,000 fast. That big medical bill? Paid. The car? Fixed. Breathing room till payday? Done. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month. No credit score required. Need cash tomorrow? Go to MoneyMutual.com today. Where am I? It's the epic he deserves. They think you're the savior of this planet. They're wrong. wrong. Will he save their world or destroy it? Wrong. Planet Hulk. On it February 2nd. Hulk. Heroes returns to its roots with an epic battle between good and evil. Don't miss an all-new episode tomorrow at 11 on G4, your cable home for heroes. What are they doing? Why did they come here? Instinct. Memory of who they used to be. That or they have nothing better to do. Help! We are totally trapped by Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. X-Play presents Zombies Review Video Games. Today we bring you three great games as reviewed by zombies. Uh, wait, wait, what are you doing in here? No, get back! Ah! Grains, grains, grains. Grains, grains, grains. Plains, plains, plains. 
That was Zombies Review Video Games. Oh, God, no. Not my intestines. Alright, here it is. You voted for it. Your number one pick for best X-Play episode ever. It's our first episode. I don't know why. Why do people always like these episodes? They're always so awkward and weird. Now, it does feature our first review, which is Tao Feng, which is now completely censored because of our misunderstanding of copyright laws. We understand so much better now. We hope you enjoy. Tonight on X-Play. Can you play harder? Tao Fang and the ancient art of ripping people limb from limb. <laughs> Bringing the heat in this year's MLB Slugfest. And a do-it-yourself commando course, courtesy of Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Stick around. It's game time. Now, with a brand new format, but the same wacky hair, here's Adam Sussler. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Disembodied Voice. You're welcome. Yes, and you're welcome to Extended Play, where gaming uh, is... Adam, that's X-Play. Got it. X-Play, X-Play, X-Play. We're going to purge that Extended Play. Long live the X-Play. Shorter, powerful, perky. It's a little bit cute, you know, little X-Play. Now, get this. Instead of shooting the show from the Metro on Gaming Arcade, we are here in an actual studio. This is like a real TV show with a full production crew. That means we're coming up in the world. Now, I'm not saying we didn't have any crew on that old show, but kind of multitasked. I think we have a tape here. All right, one, two. Hello, and welcome to Extended Play. I'm Adam Sessling. No, 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 cut, cut. All right. Hello and welcome to Extended Play. I'm Adam Sessler. Grand Theft Auto is really popular. It's just so quaint now. Well, another thing we're gonna be able to do here on Extended Play. X-Play. X-Play, X-Play, X-Play. I'm, I'm just excited to be in this studio. I mean, you need to look at this place. We have top-notch professionals here. And I'm told we have the top-notch TV equipment. Over there, there's a guy with, with a swingy camera. And then over there, that's that's a guy with the holdy camera. We, we have Word Scrolly, and we have Morgan Webb. Right here, Morgan Webb, playing games, you know, hanging out. Why? Why? Why are you here? They didn't tell you they hired me for the new show? No, why'd they do that? There was a meeting. God, it's good to be up here on Extended Play. Adam? Yeah, I know, it's X-Play, it's X-Play. Well, We've got the new name, we've got the new set, we have Morgan Webb. And that means it's still the place to get dope on Games and Gamers. Every night, we're gonna bring it on with previews, cheats, the stories behind the games, and of course, the backbone of the show, reviews. Yeah, now speaking of backbone, it's very appropriate for our first review of our first show here of X-Play. Now it's obviously back when we were a kid, I used to love to rip the spine out of people and snap it over the thigh, and that would have been the Mortal Kombat. The Immortal Mortal Kombat. That game almost flunked me out of college. Yes, and my grades flunked me out of college. But anyway, that's, 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 that's the old days. The co-creator of the original Mortal Kombat is back with a new game. It's called Tao Feng, Fist of the Lotus. Now, of course, the question is, is it as goy, and especially is it as good as the classic? Take a look. Can't you play harder? Ooh, it's like she's coming on to me. Whatever. Tao Feng. Sounds kind of like <laughs> Chow Fun, which reminds me of <laughs> Wang Chung and makes me want a Ching Dao. Enough word association. Back to the fighting. As you can see, through death button pressing, you can kick, punch, and as here, show a shocking lack of regard for the principles of gravity. Problem is, it just doesn't seem to work all that well. 
things like beef gone bad, the game is truly jerky. Modern fighting games should be a whole lot more fluid than this. Tao Fang seems to be mired in a visual hiccup fit. Many players will have a better shot at mastering the sitar than the rhythm of this game. Exactly. Okay, the game does try out some nifty ideas. That's not one of them. How about unbreakable magic crap for once? All in all, Tao Fang just feels dated. Like Wang Chung. Visually, though, the game's right up to date. Look, nifty shadow. Hello, broken floor. One nice aspect is that the characters actually show wear and tear. Mm, nasty bruises. Ah, ripped clothing. Now, don't plan to get too titillated with these girls. Bet you've never partied with a real dragon. Or mime, for that matter. While the game has a high Betty count, it's not like DOA 3's nice-looking girls who made bad life choices. Here, they look like they stepped off a of Grace Jones album cover and were denied entry to a club. I'm gonna eat you alive! Of course, you pop a couple of Ching Daos, and everything can look better. Uh, hello there. To conclude, for those waiting for the next Xbox Fight Classic, Tao Feng is a functional fighter that will appeal to old school fanatics of the Chow Fun Wang Chong Ching Dao variety. Everyone else, keep holding your breath. The game and that floor routine get a three out of five. Yep, they spent what, three, two, three, three years, years working yeah. on that game, and we reduced it to, you know, Chinese takeout and crappy 80s music in about three minutes. We're, we're, we're gonna make friends here on X Play. Okay, what happens if you're a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan like I am? Well, Still the fact no? Is, well, no, the game is made only for the hardcore Mortal Kombat fans. <laughs> That's what the problem is. So if, you really want, if you're really interested, go rent it. Check it out that way. Cool. Well, get comfortable. I know, I am. Look at this, look at this. It's so good. We've got plenty more on today's extended play. X Play. That's what I said. No, you didn't. It's all in the inflection. Coming up, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Raven Shield. Plus, the adventures of Adam Sessler. SWAT Commando. Papa's in the house. It's first and ten at Papa John's. And as an official sponsor of Super Bowl 44, you get all large pizzas for just $10. Your choice of toppings, your choice of pizzas, $10. Order now at PapaJohns.com. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What's up? We're shaking. Popping. Cracking. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Brother. Dude. Cheers. What's up? What's up? Hey. Bro. Hey. Hey. Daddy. Dog. Sweetie. Buddy. Beautiful. Aww. Buddy. Now you can call who you want, when you want, for a whole lot yeah. less. AT&T introduces unlimited calling nationwide for only $69.99. AT&T. This Valentine's Day, buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. How it feels to chew five gum. There's no guarantee that your glasses will survive the excitement of the rodeo or the ultimate intergalactic fight or even a relay race. There's also no guarantee that you won't break your glasses while trying. That's why the Walmart Vision Center offers glasses starting at $38 with a free 12-month guarantee. If they break or get damaged, they will replace them for free, no questions asked. So you know you're covered no matter what. Save money. Live better. Walmart. Entertain your mouth with the unique melon mango experience of Tic Tac. What's that? You'll be my orgasmatron? There's only one place you can get your fix. Adding lots of knowledge to your bag of tricks. All culture movies, music, so much to know. And all of this product's on Attack of the Show. Wipe that no. smoky haze away from the TV and come get some. Every sled from big to small, they got them. Oh my goodness, it's Olivia's bottom. Animal stunts, gadgets, and balloon humping. Oh no, look out, it's chocolate pie jumping. Jumping, 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 jumping. That is more fun than you know. On the weeknights at 7, you know you want more. Attack the show, it's only on G4. G4.
Once again, here's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back. Now, Morgan, I'm I'm all flush, but how you was your flush. first commercial break? Um, it was not as good as the one we had on the screensavers. What did you do there? We had masseuses, and they would come out and give people you know, just a little rub down during the break. Really? There was a guy who poked me with a stick at Metron. Here, I can't even get a Diet Coke. It really all depends on how you ask. Hold on. Can I have a sip? All right. Back to the business of the show. Squad-based action games are often referred to as the thinking man's first-person shooter, which means that first-person shooters are the dumb person squad-based action game. Right. Anyway, in my mind, there's really only one company that does squad-based action, that? right? Ubisoft. There you go. Ubisoft. Well, they've <laughs> happily graced us with another offering, Rainbow Six Raven Shield. Only one defense stands between the world and all the forces that threaten it. Rainbow an international task force dedicated to combating terrorism wherever it arises. It's Tom Clancy's world. We just live in it. And die in it. And die in it. And die in it. Yes, it's time to return to the wonderful world of squad-based tactical shooters. And nobody does tactical shooters like Tom Clancy. This time, it's the third chapter in the Rainbow Six series, Raven Shield. If you're unfamiliar with the way things work in Tommy Boy's universe, let me give you a few pointers. First off, don't do this. Or this. Mission failed. And definitely not this. Friendly fire! In Raven Shield, it's not the size of your gun that matters, it's the brains behind it. The rule of thumb is one shot, one kill. Contact, threat neutralized. One shot. One kill. Down. Of course, you can die just as easily. So, for God's sake, be careful out there. Mission failed. Your team was wiped out. Levels are strewn with nice little hidey holes, which makes sneaking up on unsuspecting terrorists a bit easier, but also gives said terrorists ample opportunity to ambush your ass. The levels are a welcome departure from the typical Balkan and or Middle Eastern types that we've seen all too often. Starting off in Switzerland, you head over to South America with a brief layover in the sunny Cayman Islands. Good luck getting a tan in that outfit, though. Come on, you've got to get up. The plot is typically thin and generally murky. Both Intel and I are stumped. Well, what do you expect from a guy who looks like the host of Robot Wars and sounds like Ringo Starr? There's something odd about this operation. Your arsenal is also ultra-realistic. Instead of freaky-ass goo guns and BFGs, you have an M16A2 assault rifle and MK23 pistols. One slight departure from reality, though, zooming in with the assault rifle makes sense. But we're a little unclear as to how the pistol zooms. Maybe you're just squinting really hard. There's a reason why they call it a tactical shooter, and this is it. Before each mission, you can plot out a course for your assault in minute detail. Let's see, I'll go here and here. You guys go there, etc. It can get pretty hardcore. But once you've walked down a body stream corridor, you'll be thanking your buddies on Team Green. Or you have the option to just run in guns a-blazing. If your idea of a good use of brains in a shooter is as wall decoration, Raven Shield may not be your game. But if you crave the challenge of intelligent combat, then this is the game for you. Hostile down. We give Rainbow Six Raven Shield a four out of five. One last pointer: tear gas dissipates very slowly. Oh boy, man! The walls are really. All right, so I played this one too. It's a great game, and I, you know I love the first-person shooter yes, to do. begin with. Yeah, the little squad-based action. It really brings a little more challenge to the game. Plus, the commando, you know, cat suits, huddling with guys named Hondo, laser scopes. I mean, what, what don't you love about that? No, I, I love guys named Hondo, though. Actually, I'm like the, the very friendly people over at Ubisoft gave us a chance to actually dress up and play SWAT with actual SWAT people. It's, it's not as easy as it looks. Did you shoot anyone? It was dark. I don't know. Huh. Rainbow Six Raven Shield puts you through some tough missions. Yep, that keeps happening. So I figured I needed more training than the game could provide. I accepted Ubisoft's invitation to come down to a launch event and play through a level of the game in real life. 
It modeled one of the levels after an actual old building at the Presidio in San Francisco. Our night started with training from actual SWAT team members. Low to the ground. You're almost erect, but you're, you're butts down low. And when you walk, it's going to be heel toe. You're going to leave the elbows in front of you to stop and stand up. Step. Step. It's a little uncomfortable. Freeze. You two guys, perfect. Where are you going? I was the partner. No, stay with your partner. Step. Step. Perfect. After spending plenty of time walking around like a duck, I knew I was ready to suit up and get my hands on a gun. Whose finger is on the trigger? Oh, that's just, it's a natural thing. <laughs> okay, so maybe I needed more training. You're a politically suspect, I can tell. Soon enough, it was time to spring into action and we all piled into our sweet limo for the mission. I was obviously teamed up with the best. How do I do this, uh, This is what I've been training for after all those years of playing Tom Clancy games. I was ready. I wonder where we get help. Hey guys, I'm just gonna step in here for a second, take a leak. Whoa, wrong room. Are there any save points around here? This is the ammo. Oh. Not bad. We eventually subdued the terrorists. Or so we thought. That was so... Are you okay? Whoa. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Poor Celso, the cameraman. How's it going, man? Swelling gone down? <laughs> Plastic. Next, letting baseball go to your head. Our review of MLB Slugfest 2004. And head to techtv.com slash xplay for behind the scenes action, video, and full reviews. Ever feel you might be missing something? Like, oh, say, hundreds of dollars in tax savings? Thank goodness there's TurboTax Federal Free Edition. The easy online way to do your simple federal taxes and get the maximum refund guaranteed. Just answer easy to understand questions. TurboTax quickly learns about your unique situation and guides you step by step, then puts the numbers on all the right forms, does the math, and helps get you the maximum refund you deserve. No doubt about it, TurboTax Free Edition is the fast, easy, free way to get your biggest refund possible. With TurboTax Free Edition, you also get free online help and free audit support tools. Doing your taxes has never been easier. And best of all, with TurboTax Free Edition, you don't pay a penny because it's free to prepare, free to print, and free to e-file your federal tax return. And when you e-file, you can get your refund fast in as little as eight days. So why not give it a try? Millions of others have already used TurboTax products. Just listen. I thought the free edition was fantastic. I wasn't expecting that, so when I saw that it was free, bonus. <laughs> TurboTax holds your hand and guides you through every step of the way. If I had a question, TurboTax beat me to it. It was really simple. I got a lot of cash <laughs> and that's because of TurboTax. I would never go back to a tax store and pay that kind of money again. No wonder TurboTax is America's number one brand of tax preparation software. The Wall Street Journal found TurboTax easier to navigate and understand. In their tests, TurboTax came out on top. USA Today said, in our annual test drive of tax software, TurboTax was again the winner. Isn't it time you use TurboTax? TurboTax is the easy way to do your taxes and get the biggest refund you deserve. Visit GetTurboTaxFree.com, where it's free to prepare, free to print, and free to e-file your federal tax return. That's GetTurboTaxFree.com. Do it now and get your refund fast in as little as eight days. My favorite X-Play moment was the announcement of Meet Death, because I actually fell for it. 
My favorite X-Play moment is when X-Play first premiered and started something new. Thanks for a thousand great episodes, X-Play, and here's to a thousand more. Are your credit cards maxed out? Just making minimum payments or even behind on your bills? Call us now. Freedom Debt Relief's mission is to help you get rid of your credit card debt. We could reduce your debt up to 50% while you make just one low monthly payment. Now you have a choice. We offer the successful alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, or taking on new loans. I had over $25,000 in credit card debt. Then I called Freedom Debt Relief and got my debt cut in half. I was debt free in less than 24 months. I went through a divorce and ended up with $17,000 in credit card debt. Then, I called Freedom Debt Relief. They were able to settle all seven of my credit card bills with one low monthly payment. This program has saved our clients over $100 million. Don't pay another credit card bill until you've talked to us. This is a unique program that will get you relief and on your way to being debt free. Make the most important call of your life today. Call Freedom Debt Relief now at 1-800-230-6659. That's 1-800-230-6659. Adam, are you a big baseball fan? Well, that game's played outdoors, so no. Well, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. Um, our next title, if you get your hands on it, I guarantee you're not going to be leaving the house for quite some time. Perfect. It's the aptly named MLB Slugfest 2004. If your idea of baseball is a lazy afternoon, catching some rays, swilling cheap beer, and scarfing $10 hot dogs, You've got it wrong. MLB Slugfest 2004 is a whole new ball game. On to left field. Finally, the jackasses out there have a baseball game where they're actually rewarded for playing dirty. Forget about all the crotch scratching and tobacco spitting. When a player can get beamed on every pitch, oh, he just took a shot there, Jimmy. There's no time for that junk. Oh, that ball hit him. Winds up. Oh, it hit him. By beaming batters, you can send them to the house that Payne built, putting them into a big time batting slump. Now, this gives you a decisive edge. Just don't get carried away. Go head hunting after the wrong guy, and there could be hell to pay. No. Okay, okay, you made your point now. Can we please get back to baseball, folks? And when we say hell, we mean it. This pitcher is one tough cookie. What a hottie. The players will catch on fire, not only making them extra nasty, but giving them superpowers. Not to be outdone, pitchers have a host of insane throws in their arsenal. Sosa takes a strike, 0 and 1. Turbo is a big part of the game, no matter what position you're playing. It'll help you jump higher or run faster. And it does! Touch them all! It's a home run! We're making inside the park home runs entirely possible. The play at home, and Bergeron scores to put his team ahead. It also causes fielders to drop the ball if you slide hard enough. Finish him! <laughs> of course, the fielders also have their chance to spit some tobacco juice in your eye. The big drawback is that Slugfest 2004 is about as shallow as The Bachelorette. From the game modes to the game play, there's just not much to it. It is just a game. If you've got some friends to play with, Slugfest is incredibly addictive at first. But a few weeks into the season, you'll be ready for next year's outing, just like a Brewers fan. Oh no, we suck again. So what do we really think? Well, like Corp Bat, Slugfest 2004 brings excitement to a sport that some believe is dying a slow, painful death. Hey, it's also pretty fun for the pyromaniacs and the sadists out there. For this, we give it a four out of five. Well, there's a game that looks like it was designed by prison inmates. That's why it's so fun. Good, well, <laughs> stick around. Coming up, war is hell. Especially if you don't know what you're doing in Battlefield 1942. Okay, I just talked to this guy who told me I could save $400 on my auto insurance if I switched to his company. Did you get a real price comparison? Well, 
No, here, log on to thegeneral.com for an online quote. You get a low rate, low monthly payment, and a down payment for as low as $59. Wow, the general is cheaper. And you get instant proof of insurance. Aww. Hey. <laughs> the best car insurance rates are mine. Go to the general and save some time. I'm Otto Williams. Would an extra $1,000 come in handy right now? Then I'd like to talk to you about Money Mutual. It's your trusted source to over 60 lenders to get you up to $1,000 fast. That big medical bill? Paid. The car? Fixed. Breathing room till payday? Done. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month. No credit score required. Need cash tomorrow? Go to MoneyMutual.com today. I was promised many times this episode would never, ever see air. Apparently, there's no more trust left in the world. I was promised a pony. Now, up next, in minutes, we're going to have X-Play 1000. They're rolling out the red carpet. The celebrities are showing up. There's all the lights. Unfortunately, that's the Oscars. I'm still on that e, um, email list. That explains the jeggings. Got the gum. The ridiculously long-lasting gum. New Stride Uber Bubble. I was working in the automotive industry back in Detroit, and I was laid off from my position. And my outlook was not looking very good. I had no formal college education. I didn't have that first step that you need in order to be successful in this country in regards to a career field choice. I had to make a positive change, and uh, that negative became a positive. I chose ITT Technical Institute because they could get me the training that I needed and uh, help me get working in the career field that I wanted to join. I think my wife and children are very proud um, of the fact that I went back to school at 40 and uh, was able to be successful. Two years ago when I was laid off, you know, there's a lot of fear. What am I going to do to provide for my family? And uh, I don't worry about that anymore. I don't. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. Own a piece of G4. Download to own this show now. Welcome back to X Play. Ah, ah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Great. You're a genius. <laughs> Battlefield 1942. I love it. I play it a lot, but there are a few of you out there who don't seem to quite get the message. And I want all of you to get the hell out of my box. <laughs> we play a lot of Battlefield 1942. A lot of it. And we're starting to notice some disturbing trends. So there's some certain folks out there that we'd like to have a chat with. You know who you are. Position secured. First and foremost, some of you seem a little unclear about how to actually play the game. To win, you need to control flags. Flags are a control point. If your team doesn't have any control points, you die. We lost contact with an outpost. Flags, all together now. Flags! Now you got it. Flags are your sweet master. You need to go around and get as many flags as you can and not stand around doing something stupid. Idiot! For instance, plane camping. Every time I play a match, a good third of my team is out there on the airfield waiting for another plane to pop up. There's more to this game than just justifying that purchase of a flight stick. Flags. All together now. Flags. Come on, troops, go out there, do some fighting, and I promise you, I will sit in this anti-aircraft gun and blow up the planes as they spawn until someone goes and gets me a flag. Now. We've got him on the run! So let's not forget, this is a team game. There's no you in team. So if you're an engineer and someone has a broken tank, fix the tank. And if you're a medic and someone's crying out for healing, Go and heal them. Come on, let's plan some strategy. Get a small squad together here and there, because four of you acting together can easily steamroll over 12 idiots who are running around acting like they're Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
and so important, when friendly fire is on and a teammate accidentally kills you, let it go. Because when you kill him in revenge and you lose points for the teams, that makes me want to kill you. Ow! Watch it! Oh, shoot! Fellow Battlefield players, grab a flag and come together. Heed my words and we can achieve the holy grail of online gaming. An idiot-free multiplayer experience. I mean it. You know, I'll tell you, I'm not a big fan of the team-based games. You? No, because I don't play shooters to make friends. I play them to shoot things. All right, okay, but, but, but we, we still make a good team, right? I might think about keeping you around. All right, can I have a Coke? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's X Play for tonight. Catch us tomorrow night. We're here every night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome to X Play's one millionth episode. I'm your host. Morgan Webb, and with me is Adam Sessler. It's Adam Sessler. Adam Sessler! I'm stealing my pies! Where am I? The show started. Oh. Can you believe that we have had one million episodes of this show? Yep, I've been here for every single one of them. That's the spirit! Oh. Do you remember the old days? Yeah, it was some good TV. The thousandth episode was some good television. You know, the kind that you watched all the way through. Even those commercials. You know, plus we're so lazy, I think we're actually going to show you the thousandth episode again. What do you think, Adam? You think that's a good idea? A thousandth episode now, pies! That's like 500 plus hours of television. Have I been alive that long? Apparently. Anyway, I'm Adam Sessler. Who would have thought that a former banker, me, and a techie, her, <laughs> would be capable of such achievements? Certainly not the internet no. trolls, bastards. Yes. Today we've got an hour long special which will highlight some of X Play's best and craziest moments. Plus, we're going to have plenty of surprise guests and one Adam's not allowed to know about. It's that awesome. Coming up, you are going to see our very first television appearances, which were recently unearthed from the G4 Falls. It's only really much of a vault, it's more like a possum infested shed, but we got them. No, oh, yes. Plus, we're going to relive years of classic sketches the way they were meant to be seen in a montage devoid of any proper context. Yep. And later, we're going to look at Morgan's mini hairstyles over the years and unveil a brand new X-Play music video that fans of the show will not want to miss. Exactly. If you could pick one thing that defines X-Play, what would it be? A deep sense of shame. I was thinking of our brutally honest review. Oh, yes, yes, that, the bread and butter, bread and butter, yes. bread and butter. When a game is bad, we don't sugarcoat it, we tell you. Yeah, not only that, we'll be unnecessarily cruel. Yep, here are some of our most vicious moments. RPG Maker does exactly what you think it would do. It makes a crappy game. Why do we never get weary of giving a clown shoe kick to the financially retarded? This scene lacks anything beyond the interest of even the most devout juice box sucking short bus riding gamer. Screw rendition. You want the jihadis to talk? Try making them play some of these missions and you'll be eating yellow cake in no time. Mobile Suit Gundam Crossfire gets a one out of five for being shovelware of the highest order. And if you buy it, you're part of the problem. Rob Schneider starring Ashley Simpson singing Billy Crystal joking Snoozerama. They should have just titled this interminable slog, Interminable Slog, The Game. Let's just say we'd rather be dry humping a large mammal in the back of a Yaris. Ow! Airstrikes in a baby hanger. Yes, I are winner. I'm surprised the publishers aren't paying people not to review it. 
So in okay. all fairness to this atrocity of interactive entertainment, we have soaked it in butter and that. added some chives. Look at that, see that? I'm just kidding. This game sucks more bolt than RC on the weekend. Yet, here we are looking at trucks driving over terrain as barren as Jennifer Aniston. Imagine something fun then take away the fun part. This is one of the only games that's more fun when you're not actually playing it. It doesn't help that the game features a misery-inducing soundtrack so shrill, it may just make you miss Ace of Base. This says I need a tool. Well, I'm playing this game. That would make me a pretty big tool. Just one big steaming piece. No reason to say any more about this game, but I have some time to kill. <laughs> I have to say, maybe yes. it's because, you know, games have gotten better, but you know, back in the old days, it was like kicking grandmas with kittens strapped to your steel toe boots. Mm, that's an analogy. We've done a lot of comedy sketches over the years, and I'm sure some cynical people out there think it's because we have dreams of being actors. The truth is, it's the game company's fault. Yeah, it's too many crappy games. Plus, we need to fill time with something. Yes, that's Hollywood. It is. Here's our favorite moments. Hello, and welcome to Alley Play. I'm Adam Sessler. And I'm Morgan Webb. Today on Alley Play, we have this used needle. And we're taking a closer look at these discarded pants and this broken balloon. Oh. Previously on Sess Rider. Whoa. Get me to a hospital. Breaker 1-9, this here is Pink Possum running an aardvark bobtail down 5th Street with a pregnant roller skate bumper sticker. What's your 20 over? I'm giving your life right now a 1 out of 5. We got all the Spider-Man 3 games in today, and we're going to review all of them. Hang this on your door and no girl will ever enter, I promise you. Crazy, 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 Adam. Crazy, 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 Adam. <laughs> Where the hell are you supposed to be? Amelia Earhart. Duh. Naturally. Do you have leukemia? We love entertaining kids with leukemia. Well, that's ironic. We love making fun of kids with leukemia. Ah! Other newsers. Ah! Uh, no, 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 no. I will fight for you. Monkey? Are you drunk again? Yeah. Shut up! They're f***ing cards! They're cards! These are real! This is nothing! It's a bunch of cards for children! Oh! Fighting crime. Oh, this is fun! Uh... That's another sudden death round in the book. See you next time on Satellite Showdown. I am so glad you're letting me give you a makeover. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's TV magic. I'm here. I'm here. It is I, Shad Grim Gravy, with a cautionary tale. Mr. Sessler. Can we turn the console on now? Hello, I am Morgan Van Webb, and welcome to my web of destruction. Bring me back, my monkey! Come on, you mate, but rip his eyes out! What's that? No. Oh! Ah. Ah. And everybody had a great old time, but nothing really happened that somebody with a library card. Rock on. And prosper. Here's how we're gonna get the robot's brain. Morgan and I are gonna hold him down. You are both wearing power glove, which is wired to explode, unless you can name the top ten scariest games of all time. Do you think it's safe? <laughs> Morgan? It's so cold. It's so cold. Colder than the reception we get at a Dragon Ball Z convention? Not that cold. Morgan, you can't leave me here alone. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Hire another co-host? Ooh, there's that. Good call. And I f***ing hate all of these games. He's not afraid of asking the tough questions. So you like Xena Saga? Yes. What the f*** is your problem? You right there, Sessler? <sighs>
thousand episodes of awesomeness. Uh, if you guys are looking for a reason why California is going down the drain, look no further than Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Instead of fixing things, he's off kissing James Cameron's ass at the Golden Globes and recording this message of congratulations for x -Play. Hello, Adam Sexler and Mormon Webb. What's the matter? The CIA got you pushing too many pencils? <laughs> That's not my congratulations video. That's a line from my movie Predator, now available on Blu-ray and DVD. I want to congratulate you on 100,000 episodes of X-Play. It's like I always say, to succeed, you have to work hard. You have to have lots of games to review. You've got to get your guns and your machine guns and your grenades and you're blowing things up and crashing things and the enemy is smashing. Suddenly, Kyle Reese is there and he's on fire and then you teleport naked and you're like, why am I naked? Cohagen, these people need air. Give them air. And suddenly the laminations of the women are in your head and you can't think of anything. Grabbing Sinbad and you're throwing them around the mall and suddenly the baby grows inside your stomach and Danny DeVito is your brother. <laughs> that hooker's got three boobs and then I'm grabbing the biker guy and I'm throwing it on the griddle. Run! Run! And then run! And I'm gonna crush my enemies. Congratulations. I don't know if that was Maria Schreiber's husband. Hmm. There is so much more X Play 1000 on the way, including a super secret surprise guest. Adam is terrified about this. We're also gonna give some love to all of the strange characters we put on the air. I hope your definition of funny is as loose as ours. Plus, watch as Adam and Morgan cringe as they are forced to watch their very first appearances on television. And stay tuned for a brand new music video that puts all of this momentous occasion in perspective. X-Play 1000 continues right after this. What's going on, Adam and Morgan? It's Cliff Blazinski here from Epic Games. I want to wish you guys a very sincere congratulations on your thousandth episode of X-Play. Here's to another thousand more, and I will see you guys online where I'll be chainsawing your faces. X-Play 1000 is brought to you by Verizon Wireless, America's most reliable wireless. Something amazing is happening at Verizon Wireless that will change the way America talks. Something big, something bold, something new. Nice. Introducing nationwide unlimited talk from Verizon Wireless. Now $30 less than ever before on America's largest and most reliable wireless network. Now buy one Samsung Intensity and get one free. Verizon. Boys, welcome to the Trump Dome. Uh, this is just your office. Cool it, Johnny. Touchdown. Ready! Gentlemen, you're about to lose to the smartest. Set. Most classy. Lick. Highest quality. Handsomest DSRL champions ever. In fact, soon the Trump Organization will acquire the Manning name and turn it into a luxury Done. hotel. Done. Winner! Taste it, Trump! How does that feel, Donnie? You're fired. You're fired. Nice suit. You're a dashing man. I know it. A few years ago, I decided to push myself further. College, graduate school, degrees in aeronautics and engineering. And I learned that being my best means getting the best from everyone around me. Becoming an Army officer taught me to set high objectives and quickly rise to meet them. Kind of like a rocket. An Army officer learns to reach new heights and inspires others to do the same. Can you? Find out at GoArmy.com slash officer. in the house. It's first and ten at Papa John's, and as an official sponsor of Super Bowl 44, you get all large pizzas for just $10. Your choice of toppings, your choice of pizzas, $10. Order now at PapaJohns.com. Morgan, Adam, the X-Play team, congratulations on your thousandth episode. The Borderlands and Brothers in Arms teams at Gearbox Software love the show, so we wish you 1,000 more. Could switching to Geico really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Is Ed too tall, Jones? Too tall. Could switching to Geico really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Does a 10-pound bag of flour make a really big biscuit? Not again.
With GameFly, choose from over 7,000 titles. Play as long as you want and send them back when you're done. $8.95 to start. No late fees. GameFly.com. Games delivered. Product shown rated E through M. Entertain your mouth with the unique melon mango experience of Tic Tac. G4 celebrates Valentine's Day with romance free shows. Give it time, yeah. First, it's a marathon of cheaters. Then, it's off to Sin City for the 2010 Adult Entertainment Expo. It's amazing. Sasha Gray co hosts. Valentine's Day starting at 9 a.m. only on G4. You know, I was thinking, and if I had a penny for every episode of X-Play that's ever been on, I'd have almost enough money to go see a movie. Not like an IMAX movie or a first run movie, but like on Tuesday, first showing, I could totally go see a movie and then borrow some money for like a small soda. So that's a big accomplishment. A thousand episodes. Congratulations to Adam and Morgan and everyone at X-Play from all of us at Double Fun. Or you, you could always you could go to a Thunder Dick show. It's like it's like eight bucks, but it's five dollars with a flyer. Morgan can email you. She has your address. Welcome back to X Play 1000. We've got more than twice the number of shows than The Simpsons does, but they're super rich. There have been plenty of X Play characters over the years. Some hilarious and wonderful. Others just kind of confusing and off-putting. But our favorites. Make sure the camera's working all right. Can you hear me, X-Play? Can you hear me coming at you to the extreme? Extreme! That's right, suckers, it's me, Johnny Extreme! Yeah! And I'm coming to crush you like an elephant's balls. A few years ago, you gave my game, Johnny's Extreme Adventure, Ooh. a three out of five. Ah! And that's when I realized if I was going to find a show that was extreme enough to handle my game to the extreme, I was going to have to make that show myself. But why stop there? Why not take it to the max and create my own network? Take it to the max. And that's exactly what I did. So here it is, you folks. Kissers, Johnny Extreme TV. Are you tired of programming for pussies? Are you ready to watch some of the most amazing, face meltingly awesome footage you've ever seen? Well, get ready for Johnny Extreme TV. Yeah! I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about how to take it to the max. From what to where? Who's that guy? That's me. I'm Johnny Extreme. What to drink? Like this. Yeah! And what to watch? It's gonna feel like somebody's sucking your eyeballs through a flaming fire hose. All of your new favorite shows will be there. From Dr. Johnny's Medical Miracle. Making it to the max. Those are good looking cookies, yeah. And I got something else. Yeah. <laughs> and an all new season of Ball Punchers. Now you, now you, do it. Yeah. 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 It's always time to take it to the max on Johnny Extreme TV. Yeah. Yeah! The Johnny Extreme TV is almost ready to launch, but we still have a few holes in our programming schedule. Yeah! I thought I'd give X-Play a second chance. Now that you've actually made a thousand episodes, yeah! You just might be extreme enough for a slot on Johnny Extreme TV. Plus, you've already got an X in your name, and all we need to do is add some exclamation points. So it's time to get on the Extreme Express, you fuck puppets! Ah! Think about it, X-Play. I'll be waiting to the Extreme! That dude just got a zero girls he's ever touched out of five. All right, so so that just happened. Anyway, like I was saying, X-Play has had a ton of bizarre characters over the years, so much so that we actually had to break this segment into a two-parter to fit them all in. Now, some of them were great, some of them just completely forgettable, but hey, that's Deep Cable for you. Here's one. Hey, guys. Well, look who needs our help. What should he have said? Uh, don't stab me in the neck, I'm your contact. Damn it, Bob, this isn't a joke. <laughs> Run, oh, God! Geronimo, bitches! If you're gonna build a castle, put in some ramps or stairs or something. I don't care if you're a Dracula, put them in. Oh, yeah. Ah, I can oh. feel the evil. Oh, you feel that? Milkshake! And this lovely lady is my assistant, Tingle. Tingle, Tingle, Kululimpa! Keep dancing, you slut! Oh. <laughs> Shoot! Oh. Shoot! Oh. Shoot! Oh. Good boy, Tingle. Ooh. Hello? I, I can't talk right now. I'm at war. We're looking at Bourne. Ow. Go ahead. Why do you suppose?
knows Bowser keeps kidnapping the princess. Whatever it is, I'm sure they're having a swell time. Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again. Oh, find me six. Oh, God. If I have to kill one more worthless god, I'm going to myself. So why did you decide to leave politics? My apprentice threw me down a 280 mile shaft directly into the main reactor of the Death Star. Hi, Rodney. I totally scored a thousand on Xerox. I haven't seen something this embarrassing since I walked in on Neil Adams and Joe Cubitt role-playing Power Man and Iron Fist, if you know what I mean. Yeah, everyone, you know, stay right there. There's a lot more x Play 1000 coming up, so don't go anywhere. Mom! Sam! Dude, Swedes! Indie Games begins in 60 seconds. Spit out your stride gum and chew another piece already, or we'll find you. Got the gum. The ridiculously long-lasting gum. New Stride Uber Bubble. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What's up? We're shaking. Popping. Cracking. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Brother. Dude. Dude. What's up? What's up? Hey. Bro. Hey. Hey. Daddy. Dog. Sweetie. Buddy. Beautiful. Aww. Buddy. Now you can call who you want, when you want, for a whole lot yeah. less. AT&T introduces unlimited calling nationwide for only $69.99. AT&T. This Valentine's Day, buy any smartphone after mail-in rebate and get any messaging phone free after mail-in rebate. Welcome to Indie Games, a minute's worth of free fun. Now, some of the coolest new browser games I've seen lately actually began life as school projects. Continuity is my latest addiction from four grad students at Sweden's Gothenburg University. Continuity is deceptively simple. We've all played sliding tile puzzles before. The arrow key and spacebar navigation makes it super easy to pick up. But as new levels unlock new challenges, I found that I just could not put the game down. It already has a huge fan following with a Twitter feed and a Facebook group, and it's really the greatest thing to come out of Sweden, well, since those meatballs at Ikea. Them's tasty. That's it for now. Hit me up at g4tv.com slash indie games for links to this and other great stuff. Until next time, I'm Kevin Pereira, and what do you want for nothing? There's a suicide bomber inside the embassy. From the director of Taken. We've got you working with our top operative. So death do us part. His new partner doesn't play by the rules. That's not how we do things here. Well, that's how I do things. He's a bad influence. What the? And the only thing keeping him alive. It's this crazy partner they got me working with. John Travolta. Jonathan Reese Myers. Wax on, wax off. What are you, the karate kid or something? From Paris with Love. Tell me we're not a perfect match. Rated R. In theaters everywhere Friday. If you're as outraged as I am about distracted driving, then we need to start our own movement to stop it. Make your car a no-phone zone. Go to Oprah.com to sign our no-phone zone pledge. Then email it, tweet it, post it on Facebook. Pass it on. Progressive is proud to work with the Oprah Winfrey Show to make our roads safer for everyone. Go to Oprah.com slash no-phone zone today to take the pledge. Taking action to make our world a better place. Now that's progressive. This baby boy was born yesterday. He doesn't know much. His brain is brand spankin' new. But even he knows the quarter pound BK double cheeseburger for a buck is a very special deal. He may not be a genius, but we think he's showing a heck of a lot of promise. I'd suck my thumb, but it's gritty. Really gritty. Try the BK double cheeseburger, bigger than McDonald's for a buck. An obvious deal, even if you were born yesterday. They're back, your international sexy ladies. An all-new season of exotic ladies from all over the world. 
Getting up to the craziest and sexiest things you can imagine. Joining your favorites from season one will be a horde of hotties from new countries. <laughs> season two of the International Sexy Lady Show premieres March 1st, only on G4. Every 60 seconds, someone, somewhere, is making the switch to Tempur-Pedic. Now, it's your turn. Call now for your free information kit, including a temper material sample, along with a DVD and catalog. Traditional mattresses use metal springs that can cause pressure points, causing you to toss and turn. Only the Tempur-Pedic mattress automatically adjusts to your body while keeping your spine in perfect alignment. Plus, because Tempur-Pedic doesn't transfer motion, you won't disturb your partner when you get out of bed or shift positions. Best of all, Tempur-Pedic will let you sleep on one of their sleep systems for an incredible 90 nights before you make your purchase decision. If you want the ultimate in comfort, if you wish to get more sleep but can't, it's time you make the switch to Tempur-Pedic. Call 1-800-353-4018 for your free information kit. That's 1-800-353-4018. Call today. Hi, this is Todd Howard here at Bethesda Game Studios. On behalf of myself and everybody here, I want to congratulate the folks at X-Play on 1,000 episodes. Really a remarkable accomplishment. To Adam, to Morgan, everybody behind the scenes, Wade, everybody at G4, just it really is amazing. And I hope you guys know how much you've done for us developers, for the fans out there, and for helping make the industry as a whole as popular as it is today. And we hope you have 1,000 more. Congrats. on a very modest budget. Nothing says real TV show like having a big crazy studio and a monster set. And we've had a few different ones over the years. Some of them we miss, some of them a little less so. Can you guess which? One, two, three, go! It's hard to believe X-Play's been around long enough to go through four sets, but it's the truth. Time to take a walk down memory lane and look back at our ever-changing televised terrarium. This is our very first set. You notice we come off the, the TV in the beginning? It's a CRT. Yeah, I know. But I think that was typical back then. No, it was. You see a couple plasmas in the back, but they were really expensive. And also, like, I love in the beginning where we come walking out from nowhere. So. Now, as you can also tell, that was not a set designed solely. Actually, it was not designed for X-Play. No. That's where they shot Tech Live. We're trying to pretend that it's not somebody else's set, so we had to lower the lights way down. Also reflecting the fact that we shot this at like 10 o'clock at night. Hello and welcome to X-Play. Here's the famous black and white camera. Yeah, the black and white because, because we didn't invent it. <laughs> I think we were about a few years behind on the use of it, but what was ever its purpose for anyone? The black and white and the shaky cam. It was supposed to make it look more frenetic because there was a shot here and then there was a shot to the side and one was in black and white and it's crazy. But is Matt Damon gonna hit me in the throat? I, I just don't understand. This was our second set. It was an actual set that was made for us. No, there's also the bar. We had a bar. We had a bar. Did we have any alcohol? No, we did not. Did we have a coffee mug? Our coffee table? That was pretty sick. I'm so glad you're able to join us today. There's also that arcade cabinet back there. Now, yes. if memory serves me right, that arcade cabinet dates back to 1998 in GameSpot TV. We had that thing forever. The original game in it was Rival Schools from Capcom. Remember it? No, you don't. It sucked. Then there's the third set, or as I like to call it, The Void. It, it is really dark. All of a sudden, we're back in the dark. And we were in these tiny little pools of light. Tiny. That you could not deviate from, otherwise you were in complete blackness. And then there was the giant globe in the background. When it was delivered, nobody had actually measured the door in comparison to the globe. And yes. so it actually did not fit through the door, and they had to take it apart. And you can see all the little balls on the floor there. Now, yes. Now, people might think, oh, well, you must have had something to hold those balls down there on the floor. No, no, no. Also, there's the game reviewing thingy. That was, I think, our most dangerous set. So this is actually our current set. For some reason, they must like us more now because they have lit it for us. Yes. It's really great. Actually, if, if, you know, John Tess showed up, it wouldn't be terribly surprising. We'll be right back. Best set ever. To clarify, if John Tesh did show up, it would be terrifying. 
Our next segment is an in-depth look at Morgan's many hairstyles over the years. And there have been a lot. I assume that having me enter this piece is someone's idea of a cruel joke. Well, it is. When you need your hair to reach levels of unbelievable fabulousness, you go to the experts. Meet Emily Riggle and Devin Laveau, two of the best hair and makeup artists in the business. This pair keeps me looking good every day, so who better to talk about my tangled hair history? Versatile. Yes, she she's very it. much a chameleon. The platinum. Yeah. I love how it brings out the features. Yes, this is when she went really short, almost like a pixie cut. Uh, this is when she went red. Red, the vibrant, fiery red. And a bob. This is when she she dyed it black. Yeah. I think for the first time. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a little sugar and spice going on. She's the sugar, the hair cuts the spice. She wore her hair like this for quite a long time. I love it because it's kind of Earth Mother. This was the start of her yeah. getting lighter. We got to shake it up. This is Morgan's current look. I love it. This is her look. It's been this way for a while, and yeah. we'll see. See what the future holds. What happens next? Earth Mother was not what I was going for. You know what I call this style? This the desperate cry for help. 1,000 shows, believe me. No one is more surprised than us, the two of us. Especially because we've made some really bizarre calls over the years. Yeah. When you generate that much content, a lot of questionable ideas get greenlit for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. And we have evidence to prove it, unfortunately. So here's part two of our look at x plays ludicrous comedy characters. Sorry. It's time for the in-flight meal. My boot in your ass. You owe me two packs and some quality time! Wee wee wee! I love the hockey! Funny I gag! For Rome! James Aloysius Chocolate, you bring that hat back here right now! You're dead, Mr. Chocolate, you hear me? I knew you're around here, Mr. Chocolate! <laughs> I need that hat. Whoa! <laughs> What does this have to do with Madden? That's a good question. I'm not sure if I know the answer. Boy, you best take your hands off her before I stick a needle up your skinny little ass. Mm. I'm not gonna kill myself over a game of cards. <laughs> what else? Yeah, yeah, to the extreme. Woo. We're gonna have something. Oh, oh, yay! I'm a super villain. Don't you recognize me? What are you selling? Nothing. Come back anytime. Oh, okay. All right. Welcome. Oh, hi. Look <clears throat> really good on you. Bring oh, Jesus! <laughs> I got it right here, Doc. Just don't forget we got it for him. Yeah. All the best. I will pull your entrails through your eyes and use them as reins to ride your damned soul to Hades below! Dude. <laughs> you guys play Pokemon? Pokemon? This is Yu-Gi-Oh town, mother Wrong good, Holmes. Yeah. Why? But I'm an intern! I don't have health insurance! Don't go anywhere because we haven't even gotten to the humiliating stuff. Wait, that wasn't humiliating? No, no, I'm talking about Adam and Morgan's first television appearances ever. You're gonna see a montage of some of my best moments, but I'm new enough that it really doesn't sting that much. Also, surprise guest, you're watching Next Play 1000. Yeah, it's weird, right?
Crunch time, Wheat Thins. Right here, right now. Hiding amongst your friends won't help you. You and your tasty whole grain. This can only end one way. Wheat Thins, toasted, whole grain, crunch. The crunch is calling. Extreme power of Energizer Ultimate Lithium, the world's longest lasting AA battery and high tech devices. Energizer, keep going. Papa's in the house. It's first and 10 at Papa John's. And as an official sponsor of Super Bowl 44, you get all large pizzas for just $10. Your choice of toppings, your choice of pizzas, $10. Order now at papajohns.com. I'm Anto Williams. Would an extra $1,000 come in handy right now? Then I'd like to talk to you about Money Mutual. It's your trusted source to over 60 lenders to get you up to $1,000 fast. That big medical bill? Paid. The car? Fixed. Breathing room till payday? Done. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month. No credit score required. Need cash tomorrow? Go to MoneyMutual.com today. Your imagination and creativity guide you. But where can they take you? To a design career where companies need talented people with good ideas. Make the Art Institutes the first stop in your journey. We're a creative community of faculty, mentors, and students who share your passion and push you and your ideas forward to the creative career you really want. There's an Art Institute school near you with design degree programs to help you create a fulfilling future. Call us or log on today. Look closely at History in the Making. This $50 Buffalo gold piece is the purest gold coin ever struck by the U.S. government. It's the first U.S. coin ever struck using .9999. That's four nines, pure 24-karat gold. Its design is based on the famous Buffalo nickel of 1913 to 38. Wildly popular with investors and collectors, the U.S. government had to stop production because of a shortage of specially made gold blanks. It's no wonder the price of this edition is going through the roof. Now you can reserve your own copy of the $50 Gold Buffalo, clad in 31 milligrams of pure gold. National Collectors Mint's private non-monetary minting recreates James Earl Fraser's American Buffalo against a mirror-like background on one side and his iconic Native American Indian head stands out in stunning relief on the other. The final issue price was to be set at $50 per proof, but during our special release, this 24-karat pure gold-clad masterpiece can be yours for only $19.95. With gold skyrocketing past $1,000 an ounce, price can only be guaranteed for seven days. Each new 2010 $50 Gold Buffalo Tribute Proof comes with an individually numbered certificate of authenticity, verifying that each piece is clad in 31 milligrams of pure 24 karat gold, is proof struck, and is based on the famous design of James Earl Fraser's Buffalo Nickel. There's a strict limit of five proofs per caller. Distribution will take place in registration number order. Earliest reservations receive the lowest registration numbers. So you must hurry. Avoid disappointment and future regret. Call now. To order your 2010 $50 Gold Buffalo Tribute Proof, call 1-800-705-8087. That's 1-800-705-8087. Strict limit of five proofs per caller. So call 1-800-705-8087. If this is what you think the life of a campus cop is, think again. Because when college life gets out of control, these are the cops who try to keep a lid on the chaos. Get drunk! Ride along with the men and women who patrol college towns and universities across the country. Shut your party down, now. Campus PD, all new Wednesday at 11. Part of G4's Junk Food TV. I'm Ted Price from Insomniac Games, and I just wanted to say, Adam, Morgan, everybody at X-Play, congratulations on 1,000 episodes. That is an amazing achievement. And of course, from all of us over here at Insomniac, thank you for supporting us and our games over the years. We love you. Welcome back to 
Wasteland 1000 presented by Verizon Wireless. Now, as much as we like to suppress the evidence. And we would. Yes, if people listen to us. It's Thank time you. to look back at our very first episode. Yay. Yeah, there are a couple things to look out for. Okay, the black and white handheld camera, which is so early, MTV. Somebody say road rules? No. No. Okay. Notice my hair. And the random walk-in. Why did we walk up? I mean, who knows, right? Who knows? Beautiful, beautiful hair. And the couch. I like sitting. I miss those golden locks. Now, with a brand new format, but the same wax hair, here's Adam Sussler. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Disembodied Voice. You're welcome. Yes, and you're welcome to Extended Play. We're gaming. Uh, and... Adam, that's X-Play. Got it. X-Play, X-Play, X-Play. We're going to purge that Extended Play. Long live the X-Play. Shorter, powerful, perky. It's a little bit cute, you know, little X-Play. And we have Morgan Webb right here. Morgan Webb playing games, you know, hanging out. Why? Why? Why are you here? They didn't tell you they hired me for the new show? No, why'd they do that? There was a meeting. You know, I'll tell you, I'm not a big fan of the team-based games. You? No, because I don't play shooters to make friends. I play them to shoot things. All right, okay, but, but, but we, we still make a good team, right? I might think about keeping you around. All right, can I have a Coke? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's X-Play for tonight. Catch us tomorrow night. We're here every night. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'd comment on that if I didn't feel like throwing up. I can't believe they made us watch that. Yeah. I'm sorry we made you watch that. Thanks for sticking in there with us. And thanks so much for choosing as your number one pick, you myopic weirdos. Okay, yeah. time for some more long lost highlights. We've unearthed Morgan's very first TV appearance, which yes. I know fans of Tech TV are gonna love to see. Yes, here is my debut on the screensavers. Now, the reason this came about was because we were actually launching in Tech TV Canada that uh -huh. day, and I was the most Canadian staff member they could find. Because they actually used a test. They drew some blood and they went, look, there's that much that's just kind of passive and mellow about her. So she's I do Canadian. have I do have Canadian family, not born in Canada, but whatever. The internet's decided that I am. And so, so, it must so, be so they just kind of rolled you out there going, you're going to really click with our friends to the north. Yep. Yes. And it worked. Morgan oh. Webb is here and uh, she, you're Canadian. I am Canadian. Dual citizenship. I have dual citizenship. You're one of each. Yes. Okay. Today yes. it has come to my attention that maybe a few Americans don't know as much as perhaps they should about Canada. So is this going to, we'll everything? We'll a crash course Excellent. on Canada. Okay. Number one. Number one. This is Canada. <laughs> Next, language. Language. Canadians speak English, except or... for the Quebecois who speak French. Okay. So everything in Canada, street signs, websites, everything, is going to be in French and English. No. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the fact that Canada uses the metric system. Just the like metric system! Every other country in the world, the except for system. the United States. You look up curling, everybody. You're going to be interested in curling. I love curling. curling. That's the thing with the brooms. I yes, like it's, it's pretty popular it's in Canada. Fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. The best part about showing that was that everybody in here was asking if my hair was a helmet, if that was my real hair. Screw you guys all, it was my hair. I did it myself though, so that kind of explains why it looks Just like to that. think, that friendly discourse about us being in Canada yes. begat AOTS. I mean, really, on the evolutionary chart of television, that, 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 that's quite something. All right, we've changed a lot over 999 episodes. Quite staff right there. Just look at Adam. Present day Seth seems a little grumpy at times. For proof, just watch us our soapbox, which you can download every Tuesday at g4tv.com slash soapbox. Write something inflammatory enough and I might curse at you. I'm not the only one with a clip from way back when. We've dug up a beauty of Seth. I love that. The Adam Gold would have shrugged off angry viewer emails. He was happy. Look at this handsome young gent when he first appeared on GameSpot TV. Welcome to GameSpot TV, your ultimate guide to computer and video gaming. I'm Adam Sessler. We're going to take a look at Unreal, a first-person shooter that's pushing the limits of the PC to completely immerse gamers in one of the most realistic 3D action worlds ever created. And I like to pump pixels. That's good. Now, let's say I'm a casual gamer, right. and I'm out in the market, I'm looking for a PC. Is this something that I need to be uh, keeping my eye on? That is the most handsome professional bowler I have ever seen, that Adam Sessler. Now, uh, all right, I was a late addition to the X-Play family, but I immediately felt at home, especially after all the forum trolls notified me that I was gay, not funny, and an idiot, all things I heard growing up. Now, hate all you want, people, but as this montage will prove, I am an essential part of this show. 
After the break, we've got an X Play world premiere. After the break, when X Play returns, 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 we'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Stay with us. For now, let's send it back over to Adam. Morgan, can you believe what my hair looked like back then? <laughs> it was ridiculous. Ah, oh, that's the X Play I know. Matter of fact, right now, I'm just gonna do my job and toss it right back over to you guys. Thanks, Blair. All right, we get a lot of emails from viewers, and honestly, many of them are forgettable. Yes, once in a while, we get one that's really scary and unsettling. But never anything as funny as this anonymous letter we received a while back. This is X Play's best viewer mail ever. This viewer mail, mail. we're not going to say who wrote this because we got to stop encouraging this stuff, but we really did receive this. We are not making this up. Ready? Adam, your shirt are so ugly, my penis falls off and run out the door. You know, I'm aware of this. You know why? Because your penis showed up at my place. And you know what? You buy me a shirt, and I'll give it back to you. So what do you think about this, Morgan? I think you should keep it. You're getting good use out of it. Okay. I actually, I actually don't agree. I'm just going to start licking butter again. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, lick it up. <laughs> I like your shirts. I don't like the red one with the white stripes. It makes you look like a candy cane. I like candy canes. You know, I worked out at SF General. Right. Okay. Here's a fun fact. Adam actually bronzed that penis and is wearing it under his shirt right now. Stick around, the back padding is far from over. When X-Play 1000 continues, we're gonna debut a brand new X-Play music video, plus a surprise guest that can make this the greatest show ever. We'll be right back. X-Play 1000 is brought to you by Verizon Wireless, America's most reliable wireless network. Testify! Next, on Attack of the Show, Steven Seagal will be in studio to give us a lesson in ass-kicking and to talk about his new films. Plus, Weston Scott shows us what it's like to have a gun battle while flying a helicopter in lethal defense. It's Attack of the Show, next. Something amazing is happening at Verizon Wireless that will change the way America talks. Something big. Something bold. Something new. Nice. Introducing nationwide unlimited talk from Verizon Wireless. Now $30 less than ever before on America's largest and most reliable wireless network. Now buy one Samsung Intensity and get one free. Verizon. Okay, guys. He put it on. Featuring a smash hit, On Fire, and Drop the World with Eminem. On sale at Best Buy for $9.99, $11.99 for Deluxe. I was a little skeptical before I started using Dove. I was dancing with this guy. I was like, oh no, sweat, um, hair, prickles. Now I don't have to worry about anything showing. I mean, do you see anything? And that's the thing, too. It's smooth. I don't have to shave as often. I have one less thing that I really have to worry about. It feels fabulous. <laughs> I would give it to everybody. I would give it to anybody. I don't have any more pricklies. <sighs> Most automobiles only use insulation to reduce noise. But we take a different approach. We use microphones to detect unwanted engine sound, then transmit opposing frequencies to eliminate it. Literally fighting sound with sound. Active sound control, available in the Acura TSX. The most innovative thinking you'll find, you'll find in an Acura. How it feels to chew five gum. This winter, the world's greatest athletes are coming to Canada, along with two of gaming's greatest superstars. Use your Wii Balance Board or play with up to four friends. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Available now. Rated everyone. Believe it or not, we have too many classic clips, even for an hour special. I believe it. Go to G4TV.com for extended cuts of our X-Play's 1,000 Best of segments. We'll be right back. 
Do you remember where you were? When that guy face planted off a vending machine? When the fat chick ate it? When you met man's best friend with benefits? You were watching Web Soup because you're a winner. A winner who gets all the hot chicks. The all new season of Web Soup premieres March 3rd only on G4. Miss it and you'll kick yourself in the nuts. Ask me. Even if you think your mattress is just fine. Ask me what it's like to get your best night's sleep every night. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? It's not a Sealy or a Simmons or a Serta. Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Ask me about staying asleep. These are actual Tempur-Pedic owners. Ask someone you know. Check out Twitter. Try your friends on Facebook. You'll hear it all, unedited. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Ask me if it's a good value. Just ask me. There are over 4 million Tempur-Pedic owners, and they're more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me why I feel better every morning. Ask me why someone who's never had an ache or a pain is in love with this bed. Start asking real owners. Ask me how we took the first step. Take the first step. Call today for your free information kit with DVD, 1-800-343-5352, or visit TempurPedic.com. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. All of us here at the Stupid Fun Club, we want to make people understand how big that number is. That's the one with three zeros behind it. And that's a big number, or 10 to the third power. It's more than the number of neurons inside of a sea slug's brain. More than the number of total titles released for the Sega Dreamcast. That is more than the number of people carried by the Hindenburg airship. So, congratulations to G4. Thank you. Yes. He should really be a superhero called the contextualizer. It is his superpower. Puts it in perspective. Yes. Welcome back to X Play 1000. We had some amazing celebrity guests over the years. We had Kato Kalin, we had Tony Little, and we had lots of sports people. Yeah, all those sports guys. Yeah. They're strong. But never the one guest Adam has had his heart set on since we began X Play today. It is about to change. Come on, really? Please welcome television icon Rip oh Taylor! But you got the job. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, we finally made it, didn't we? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, my God, Morgan, his breath. Jesus. <laughs> How are you, Precious? I'm, I'm just fine. How this are you? is Precious. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, have I had a day. I got some announcements to make. Okay. I want to thank the show, first of all, for sending a wonderful limousine. Thank God it missed. <laughs> I have more to tell you, but it's not laughing at some of this trash. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a wonderful day. My Metamucil kicked in about 4.30. I feel fine now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I made a killing in the market. I shot my butcher. Yay! <laughs> anyway, we'll do some more jokes in a second. We have a surprise for you, my darling. Tell those people your name, please, darling. Laura. Laura. Hi. Oh, hi. To celebrate this momentous occasion, congratulations, TV participant. Yay! Oh, <laughs> oh I love my two Now you can tell. <laughs> so after a thousand shows, yes. they recognize that, that we're on we TV. That we participated. Yes. Yay! Yes. And it's vodka and prune juice called a pile driver. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> No, really, congratulations. It's very serious about that. Because today was a bad day for me. The Pillsbury Doughboy passed away today. Oh. Yeast infection. Oh. <laughs> yeah, then I tried group sex last night. I didn't know who in the hell to thank. <laughs> Can you hear me, anybody else in the room? Hello. <laughs> My uncle died playing the crossword puzzle. We buried him six down and three across. <laughs> Well, they all can't be gems, you know. No, congratulations. A thousand shows, and they said it wouldn't last. Congratulations, yes. Adam. I want to thank Regis and Kelly for having me here today. <laughs> I 
I'm on the wrong show, for God's sake. Here. No, it's all, oh God, please. Oh, I always knew there was a tendency. But anyway, listen. <laughs> And my twin sister forgot my birthday. I've had a bad day today. <laughs> what do you call a nun that's had a sex change? A trans sister. <laughs> yeah. All right, I don't know if we can top that, but we're we're gonna try for just a second. What do you say? Yes. So without without one of our best episodes was a one we did called the X Play Musical. We actually did a musical. Yeah. Oh, good. And the songs were written by a very talented guy. Named Jonathan Mann. Yeah, he yep. wrote us a new song to commemorate this thousandth episode. Oh, you want to play so it? We have it now. Yeah. Oh, good. Video. Okay, good. Yes, and today on the counter today, I opened a massage parlor for yeah. shut-ins called Feels on Wheels. Thank you. <laughs> Is it almost over now, Adam? It was such a pleasure being here today. Oh, you, you, have, you have no idea what a pleasure it was to well, have now, you here. Now, finally, hold this just a second, okay. Mark. Okay. Yeah. This is the final award of the day. Oh! Would you like anything before I go? Another blanket would be wonderful, my dear boy. You can find them over there in the supply closet. Sure thing, Mr. Sessler. He's such a nice, young, 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 mm. young boy.
gotta tell someone. Tell them what? Ah! Oh my god, you scared me. You know, I think we have thought of something that you can do for us. What? 